a plan to the Korean Peninsula, uh, change and across permanent, uh, the broader our, our the permanent Pacific. positioning or stationing of uh, today, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula the currently. Is a uh, but, uh, what we're ally. doing together. Uh, not only to, uh, on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, and our uh, allies in Japan. Space, international uh, order in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what uh, you know now, Minister what's Lee going and on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work today. together to ensure that we, uh, we provide the, the right kind of uh, deterrent message. And so, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of a strategic at assets of on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in out on a routine basis. The United States remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. Our extended deterrence commitment is firm. It includes a full range of our nuclear, conventional, and missile defense capabilities. Mr. Lee and I also talked about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months to deepen our, our cooperation and bolster our shared security. Just within the past year, uh, we have conducted a very successful summit between our presidents that charted a shared vision for our alliance's future. In July, we deployed our fifth generation fighters to the Republic of Korea. So and in late to, uh, September, to the, answer, uh, the USS Ronald Reagan, Reagan conducted its first port call test. I can, uh, I can to the state ROK the in five that, years. Um, has for the third underground facility in North Korea, we're they are to ready to conduct a uh, nuclear test at that to area. Our but when they will carry out the uh, nuclear to test, there is currently uh, still a curiosity as uh, North Korea will have to take we're into account the political on, purpose on, on and uh, to, to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to, and to answer the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition you know, decades, to North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the tests anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North this Korea's alliance will. is founded on that shared sacrifice. So we will confront the challenges of the future the same way that we have for nearly 70 years, by standing shoulder to shoulder. And, uh, proud I think my question is similar to I'm those, I mean, enormously CNN proud and, and of what we've colleagues, accomplished but, together, uh, and I'm very grateful. Even when South Korea and the United States the are talking about Korea's extended deterrence at the uh, SCM, so thank at you, and point, let me turn uh, it over to Minister Lee and, for and his comments. Shot artillery shells into the ocean. So, uh, and it, even when the U.S. Uh, as, uh, Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier was in South First Korea, all, still no profile of missile. So the question is if the deterrence uh, works when it comes to North Korea's conventional Thank you very much for your sincere condolences to the tragedy happening in Korea. The attacks, you know. So there's still concern of whether or not also, the deterrence uh, of the alliance is Thank you for your effort fine. for the so peace and security in the Korean Peninsula, 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 Peninsula and development of rock U.S. alliance and your support. Thank you very much for that. measures beyond rhetorical Today, the 54th Security Consultative Meeting, hosted for the first time since the inauguration of the UN administration, we once again affirm the robustness of the Iraq U.S. military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, reaffirm that Iraq U.S. alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, uh, human rights, question. and yes, the rule of law. I, I believe, uh, our Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial uh, meetings this year to work on the details of the agreement on defense areas as agreed upon during the May uh, Rock U.S. presidential uh, summit. And, uh, and to be Today was my third time to meet uh, Secretary Austin, and we made a lot uh, of achievements troops, during this 54th uh, to a, a high level of, uh, of First, uh, of, uh, Secretary Austin and I assess the daily advances uh, of EPRK a nuclear and missile threats as a grave uh, security uh, challenge the to the peace and stability uh, and, uh, not only on the Korean Peninsula recently, and in the Northeast Asia, in but for again, the international community. And in order to practically deter and respond to uh, such threats, uh, we agree you know, to you, you further strengthen the alliance capabilities and posture. Of, uh, commitment and, and, uh, and combat, uh, combat capability. Secretary Austin. Again, 
committed uh, to the provision of extended sure deterrence that, uh, to the uh, Republic of Korea, leveraging the full uh, range of South military Korea. capabilities, and, uh, including not only nuclear that, and conventional forces, but missile defense We're capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, device. cyber, and, yes, and electromagnetic we'll capabilities. In that, and we'll continue to work to make sure Secretary that Austin and I affirm that any together, nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. This is a strong warning against the DPRK. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliances' capability and posture in respective areas, including information sharing, consultation process, joint planning, and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK advancing nuclear and missile device. Uh, either in particular, uh, Secretary against, uh, and I will uh, work on response uh, options towards all possible nuclear use in the scenarios US. by the DPRK. Yes, I do believe that. To this end, Secretary uh, and I noted that progress in revising the tailored deterrence strategy, or TDS, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by annually conducting deterrence strategy committee or DSC-TTX under the scenario of DPRK nuclear use. In addition, Secretary Austin pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment in and around the Korean Peninsula. Along with the efforts of the Alliance to deter and respond to DPRK nuclear threats, Secretary Austin and I pledge to encourage DPRK to choose denuclearization and the path for a brighter future. We also pledge to continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization of North Korea. And how the OPLAN is developing on top of those agreements that were made in the Secretary Austin assessed that the ROC government's audacious initiative is a practical approach and when the old plan was going to be completed. And um, as for our plan to provide my answer, to provide my answer when you're developing the old plan, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop given the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it's difficult to say uh, when it will exactly be completed. However, what I can say open. is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to expedite the uh, upgrade. As stated, However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation to due to uh, confidentiality, so I will DPRK keep my answer to decides to, to denuclearize. Okay. One final, uh, and the ROC uh, Ministry of National here. Defense and Again, the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the types of things that we're deterring. During the meeting, that, there are uh, earnest discussions and cooperation between the ROC uh, and the U.S. Of and our partners for the promotion uh, of regional security of and the measures of bolstering multilateral cooperation. We remain committed to maintaining a, in order to a free and open DPRK indo nuclear and missile region. threats, so, Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the ROC U.S.-Japan security cooperation, for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior level policy consultation, in information sharing, training, and personnel exchanges. Our hearts go out to the and families and I, of all the victims from across to South Korea early next year, the and around ASD the world, level policy consultation body called Defense Trilateral Talks, or DTT. And we stand together with the people the of South years. Korea during this Secretary time of national and I mourning. also shared a strong sentiment on the importance of the rules-based international order. And it's highly unfortunate to that the DPRK the has chosen to interrupt this Indo solemn Pacific period. Region. With the illegal in particular, and Secretary Austin expressed much interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy uh, ballistic framework, last night, which is the ROC government as is well currently as developing. Additional the Republic of Korea, today. as a responsible global pivotal I've state of the international community, Lee, will more closely cooperate with the United States the Vigilant only Star, ally of our nation, which in order to overcome global security challenges. Combined training exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. And we'll continue to work closely Next year together to marks develop the 70th options anniversary of the ROC US alliance the while pursuing States the goal of global comprehensive strategic alliance. Secretary now, Austin and I concur to plan to the and hold of, uh, various joint events in celebration the of the 70th anniversary me. for future advancement of the alliance. As you know, it's the annual the capstone event will for serve the as an opportunity US for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices made in the battlefield by the ROC and US service members and to consult on the challenges which alliance 
challenge faces today and to deepen and our cooperation to envision and the path forward for Rock U.S. Alliance. Next year will mark the 70th anniversary of the signing by reaffirming the, the unwavering US, U.S. defense commitment Rock to the Mutual Republic defense of Korea. Treaty efforts to strengthen the, the capabilities to impl implement the extended deterrence, as well as the robust combined defense decades, posture based on the capability and an resolve of our two and nations through the, the 54th Korean Peninsula, ASEAN, Secretary Austin and ISS that we have demonstrated values and trust of the rock today, Alliance to the people of both nations the ROK and a great is message a of warning to the DPRK ally, and the robustness of the alliance of to the international the community. And a defender of the Lastly, space Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department well, of Minister Defense Lee for their warm hospitality an towards myself today. and the ROC delegation. Thank you very much. We talked about the DPRK's Secretary continued Austin, provocations and destabilizing Ladies and actions. gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive translation and for the time, question and answer portion, so would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. Uh, first question will come from Reuters. The United States Stewart. remains fully committed to the Thank defense you. of the Secretary ROK. Austin, do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean missile tests show the U.S. Firm. ROK alliance needs and to adjust its deterrence strategy. Uh, and on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian forces will be able to retake Kherson city and, and that the Russian forces are preparing to Mr. leave? Lee and I also and, talked um, about the tremendous Mr. Lee, progress you called for a shift in strategy away uh, from trying to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but security. what would a shift from denuclearization look like? Just the and do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Our presidents that charted a shared vision for our alliance's future. Thanks, Phil. Uh, on uh, on July, the first question, in terms of whether or not uh, a fifth generation uh, we need to, to adjust our strategy. I'll just say first September, that, uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times, Reagan conducted his that first we, you know, our commitment to, to the ROK defending the years. ROK is ironclad. On the peninsula, uh, we're we strongly to condemn uh, the, D to the DPRK's uh, irresponsible to fight uh, and reckless uh, activities. As we said before, these kinds of activities on, are destabilizing to, to the region, potentially. Integrated deterrence so we call on to them to, uh, that to cease that, continues to that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious the dialogue. Peninsula and throughout the Indo on the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, you know, for decades, uh, US take um, and ROK the remaining territory on the west side of the, side by side of the, to uh, the Dnieper the River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan. I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Sacrifice. Most importantly, the Ukrainians so believe that they have the, the capability to do the future, that. The same way We've seen that we them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, by standing uh, shoulder to effort shoulder to, uh, to take back allies. their sovereign territory. I I'm think you'll see them continue to press uh, until together, they secure the, uh, the territory the on, the, of Korea's on the west side of the, of the river. So thank you. So to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. Thank you for your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula, Peninsula and development of, the of the tactical nukes of the United and States your Thank to you very state much our government's stance of uh, denuclearization policy so today, on the, uh, the, the Peninsula. The 54th uh, Security Council no meeting, meeting hosted for the first time since the inauguration now, of the UN administration. We once again affirm the robustness of the Iraq US military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, we affirm that Rock U.S. Alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreement on defense areas as agreed upon during the May Rock U.S. presidential summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th First, Secretary Austin and I assessed the daily advances of DPRK and nuclear and missile threats as a great security challenge to the peace and stability not only of the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, but for the international community. And in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and posture. 
and reduce the tensions between the two Korea. Secretary do you Austin still support the committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Republic of Korea, leveraging the full range of military deal? capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, on but a, also on advanced non-nuclear capabilities, uh, such as space, uh, yes, cyber, I do think it's, uh, and electromagnetic it's capabilities. Uh, would, uh, Secretary Austin and I affirm uh, that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use well, of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong Un yes, regime by the effective. overwhelming and decisive response I would point of the alliance. Out to you that uh, we have recently uh, gone back to uh, this is a strong warning against a number the of exercises that are focused on also uh, Secretary Austin and I pledge increasing to further our readiness and, and our ability to be able to fight tonight. In As a matter of fact, areas, including right now we have sharing, one of the largest process, exercises joint that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. To the uh, there's some over 240 aircraft that uh, they're uh, in particular, part of that exercise and, I will work and they're on doing response uh, options you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training DPRK. events, conducting a number of high-end types end, of training events. And all of that is designed to that ensure that, in revising that we, the we have the ability the strategy uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, to put uh, to if, the if called to do so. And so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, this our ability to redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula. So, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth generation UK fighters UK. recently. Uh, you've also seen us uh, uh, in addition, uh, Secretary Austin pledged to effectively move a carrier to into uh, into port there uh, recently, and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. But it could be that, uh, and that of asset deployment uh, in and around the Korean Peninsula. You know, our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think Along we've been, uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain Secretary Austin and I pledge to encourage DPRK to choose denuclearization and the path for a brighter future. We also pledge to continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization of What kind of behaviors would we? Behaviors in the U.S. and South Korea. Secretary Austin assessed that the Iraq government's audacious initiative is a practical what is approach and expresses its support for it. The U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring the Iraq government's audacious well, initiative we, we is along the same see, line uh, as the U.S. approach to the you know, DPRK, an uh, approach of deterring to DPRK threats based on device. overwhelming combined defense uh, capability and, lately, and posture, as you've seen, while in parallel uh, seeking for a diplomatic solution by keeping the window North dialogue North Koreans have, uh, have engaged in activity uh, such as an inter... Uh, as testing stated, an intercontinental ballistic missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery the uh, into, uh, in, into the ocean. Uh, and, and so and the Rock all of this of uh, activity the is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, during you know, the meeting, I think, there are uh, earnest I think discussions on cooperation it's possible that they the could continue the to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or in order uh, to respond to, attack, to DPRK uh, nuclear uh, missile threat, Secretary and I affirmed to continuously advance the ROC U.S. Japan yeah, security yeah. cooperation, for which uh, we agreed to activate Secretary, trilateral sir, senior level ago, policy consultation, information sharing, training, and personnel exchanges. Assets, and Secretary and I also pledged to resume early next year the ASD level policy consultation body called Defense Trilateral Talks, or DTT, which has been suspended for the past year. Secretary and I also shared a strong sentiment on the importance of the rules-based in international order and pledged to closely cooperate well, you've with seen the us, uh, recently in, uh, re Indo-Pacific redeploy region. fifth generation uh, in particular, uh, Secretary uh, fighter Austin aircraft. Much uh, interest you've seen in us uh, in the Pacific strategy. Uh, Framework, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. The Republic and, and again, of Korea is a responsible uh, we, global to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change only permanent, uh, our in order to our, our permanent positioning or stationing of, uh, of assets on the, uh, on the peninsula currently. Uh, but uh, what we're doing together. Uh, not only to, uh, bil on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan. Uh, in, in each and every case, lines. we'll assess uh, what, uh, and I you know, to plan what's and going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, and we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, 
deterrent message. The events will so serve as an opportunity your question, for us to uh, no new deployment the of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving and, and out to consult uh, on, on the challenges on which basis. Alliance faces today and <laughs> to envision <laughs> the path forward for ROC U.S. Alliance. <laughs> By reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the extended deterrence, as well as a robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of our two nations through the 54th ASEAN, Secretary Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated values and trust of the Rock U.S. alliance to the people of both nations and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance to the international community. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense for their warm so to, uh, hospitality to towards myself and the ROC delegation. Asking whether thank North you very Korea much. is ready for a nuclear Secretary test, Austin, I can, uh, Minister, I can Lee, state the statement you, that, um, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be searching to consecutive in North Korea. For they are ready to conduct a nuclear so test at that area. Your headsets, but when they will carry out uh, the first question uh, nuclear will come test from is currently still a curiosity as North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and uh, to North exactly Korea estimate when the they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficult process as well. Justice and and to answer the question about uh, China's Russia effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, the uh, there's been a time, the time when, uh, and despite and, uh, Chinese opposition Lee, to North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, North Korea still carried out the tests anyway. So it's difficult to say that China has a decisive effect in North Korea choosing North Korea's will. And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula. Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Uh, on, uh, on the first question in terms of whether or not uh, uh, and, uh, we need to adjust our strategy. I'll just say first CNN that, uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times, that we, you know, our commitment to uh, defending the ROK is ironclad. Uh, we strongly condemn uh, the, uh, the DPRK's uh, irresponsible uh, and reckless uh, activities. As we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, potentially. So, we call on them to uh, to cease that that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, take uh, the remaining territory on the west side of the of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan. I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, to take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press. Uh, until uh, they secure the, uh, yes, the territory uh, on, believe, the, uh, on the west side of the, of the river. Are so to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. Uh, you know, one of the things that sends a strong uh, deterrent message is our ability to work uh, uh, together uh, and, uh, and to be interoperable uh, in our ability to train uh, our troops uh, to uh, a high level uh, of, uh, of uh, capability and also maintain uh, a, a combat credible force uh, uh, in, in the region. The redeployment of tactical uh, and, uh, nukes of the United States recently, to state our government stance of our denuclearization policy the on the major exercise that we have Peninsula. ongoing. I'd like to say that there is no uh, change in our denuclearization policy. You, know, you, you mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration of uh, commitment and, and, uh, and combat, uh, combat capability. Again, uh, we are focused on making sure that uh, Nobody Does attacks uh, South I Korea, and uh, we're Secretary committed to that. Austin. Our commitment is ironclad. So we're also is, committed to um, deterring uh, anyone from US using a nuclear deterrence. device. And yes, um, I do believe well, we've been affected in that, and we'll continue to work to make sure that September. we're and working together, to building increasing uh, capability, uh, and, uh, and increasing our ability to, uh, to, to work together. Clearly, has continued saber rattling and provocations. But do you still think that the current extended deterrence arrangement has been effective in deterring North Korea? And what kind of North Korean behavior do the U.S. and South Korea seek to deter? And my second question is on the Inter-Korean Military Agreement. 
North Korea has repeatedly violated the inner Korean I, I comprehensive don't, military no, agreement. It, I, I it has fired that, around uh, 1,000 artillery shells through the inner Korean maritime buffer zone. Uh, um, do you think the inner Korean comprehensive military much, agreement is still uh, effective? And we're just uh, against, tensions uh, between the two uh, Korea. In the do you still support the, in, do you, in, do you in the inner Korean military yes, pension reduction that. agreement, or should we abandon the deal? 작게 발전 관련한 질문을 하셨는데. Uh, on, a, on a second question, I certainly, uh, yes, I do think it's, uh, it's effective, and it certainly uh, would uh, invite a uh, comment from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, we have recently uh, gone back to uh, conducting a number of exercises that are focused on uh, uh, increasing our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have one of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there are some over 240 aircraft that uh, they are uh, part of that exercise, and they're doing uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. And all of that is designed to ensure that that we, um, we have the ability the about how uh, to defend uh, the peninsula and when uh, the if, was going if to be called completed. to do so. And, um, and so I think, uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, this, uh, you it's know, our ability to it's, uh, uh, that redeploy or deploy strategic the, um, assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do so here with uh, fifth generation uh, fighters recently. You've also seen us move a carrier into port there recently, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. That I can divulge. There's um, a limitation to the uh, military confidentiality, uh, so I'll keep my uh, answer to this. And one you know, uh, our neighbors in the north uh, there may be concerned here, about again, our, in terms of our increased focus on readiness. So, yes, I do think we've been, uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain free that type of activity against any of our allies or partners in the, in the region. We remain committed to maintaining a, a free and open Indo-Pacific region. What kind of behaviors would we... Thank you very much. ...behaviors to the U.S. and South Korea seek to deter? Expect to deter? What is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see... Uh, Koreans have uh, have engaged in activity uh, such as an inter uh, testing an intercontinental ballistic missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, in, into the ocean, uh, and and so all of this activity is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, you know, I think uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to. to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack uh, uh, South Korea. but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan. Condolences for uh, a terrible tragedy. In each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, 
what's going on and we'll, uh, we'll, to the families, we'll work the together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. Including so, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets with the on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. Now, yeah, it's highly unfortunate that the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period with the illegal and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile last night, as well as additional missile launches today. I've consulted with Minister Lee, and we've decided to extend Vigilant Storm which is our long uh, scheduled combined training uh, exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. And we'll continue to work closely together to develop options uh, to protect the United States and our allies in the region. Now, let me turn to the so work to, uh, of the uh, uh, security consultant is meeting. ready for a nuclear test. I can, uh, As you I can know, it's the annual that, capstone um, event for the has been U.S. Third underground facility Block in North Alliance. Korea. They are ready to conduct uh, and it nuclear tests at that area. And brings our defense leaders area. together to discuss shared the, challenges uh, and opportunities. There is currently uh, still a curiosity as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and uh, to Next exactly we'll estimate when they will carry out the nuclear tests is a difficult for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had on North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the tests anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North Korea's will. The ROK is a tremendously capable ally and a provider of security in the region, Both, uh, Secretary Austin and, Minister and a defender and of the rules-based international for, order Minister Lee. that keeps us and, all uh, secure. I think my question is similar to well, well, Minister Lee and I had and, an and outstanding colleague, discussion but, uh, today. Even when South Korea and the United States are We talked about, about the DPRK's continued provocations uh, and destabilizing point, uh, actions. Foreign missiles and, and sharp artillery shells and at this time of heightened tension, so, uh, and even when the U.S. Uh, is ironclad. Uh, Reagan aircraft carrier was in South Korea, the United still, States remains fully committed so to the defense of the ROK. Our extended deterrence commitment is firm. And it includes so a full range of our nuclear Deterrence, conventional uh, alliance really working and missile fine. defense so capabilities. Did you actually discuss that issue uh, at the SSCM? Uh, Mr. Lee and I also and, and talked about the tremendous any, progress uh, that we've made in recent months to deepen our, secure, and, and, our cooperation uh, and bolster uh, uh, our shared uh, security. Just within the past year, we have conducted a very successful summit between our presidents that charted a shared vision for our alliance's future. In July, we deployed fifth-generation fighters to the Republic of Korea. And in late September, uh, the USS Ronald yes, Reagan conducted uh, believe, its first port call uh, activities to the ROK in five years. Uh, you know, on the peninsula, the we're returning to large-scale exercises message is to strengthen our, our combined to readiness and uh, our together, ability to fight tonight uh, and, uh, and to be necessary. interoperable. Uh, and our ability we're to train to building uh, on, our on, troops, on these efforts to strengthen uh, to a, a high level of, uh, of, uh, and to ensure of, uh, that this alliance continues to bolster security uh, a, a and stability on the Korean force, Peninsula and throughout uh, the uh, Indo-Pacific in the region. Uh, and uh, and in most recently, you know, for you decades, focus on that US in a major way again. And ROK service members have fought that we have ongoing side by side uh, to I, defend the ideals know, you, of freedom. You mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration of uh, this alliance is founded and, on and, that uh, shared combat, uh, sacrifice. combat capability. Again, so we will uh, confront we the challenges of the future sure that, the same way that we uh, have for nearly nobody 70 attacks. Years. Uh, South Korea by standing and, uh, shoulder we're to shoulder. To that. Our commitment is ironclad. As proud allies, we're also committed to deterring I'm an uh, anyone from using proud a nuclear of what we've device. Together, and I'm very and yes, grateful. I do believe uh, we've been the effective in that. Republic of Korea will continue to work to, to make sure. So that thank you, and let me turn it over to Minister Lee for his comments. Building increasing uh, capability uh, and uh, and increasing our ability to, uh, to to work together. So. First of all. Thank you very much for your sincere condolences to the tragedy happened in Korea. Criticism of 
Thank you for your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula, Peninsula and development of ROC-US alliance and your support. Thank you very much for that. I believe that they are deterred from attacking North Korea, South Korea, excuse me. And I also believe they are deterred from employing a nuclear device. Either we once again affirm the robustness of the ROC-US military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Yes, I do believe that. Furthermore, reaffirm that ROC US alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreement on defense areas as agreed upon during the May ROC US presidential summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th CM. First, Secretary Austin and I assessed the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a great security challenge to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, but for the international community. And in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and postures. The question was regarding the development of OPLAN and how... Um, Secretary Austin SPD committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Republic um, of Korea, and, and leveraging the, the full range of military capabilities, of including not only made, nuclear um, and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, and, um, cyber, as for and electromagnetic capabilities. When you're developing the OPLAN, it's not a one-and-done deal. Secretary Austin and I affirm that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and results in the end of Kim Jong Un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. In the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to expedite the upgrade. However, as for the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's a limitation due to military confidentiality. So I will keep my answer to this. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK. Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in response to the threats posed by the DPRK
The ROK In order to is respond a to DPRK nuclear ally. missile threat, Secretary and I are formed to continuously advance the Iraq US Japan security cooperation for which we agreed to activate trilateral order. senior level policy consultation, information sharing, training, now, and Minister personnel Lee and exchanges. I had a, an outstanding and Secretary discussion and I, today. I also pledged to resume we early talked about this the year the ASE level policy consultation body called Defense actions. Trilateral Talks or DTT, and which has time, been suspended for the past years. Secretary Our and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the rules based United States remains order fully committed and to the defense to of the ROK. cooperate for the peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Commitment is firm. In particular, Secretary Austin expressed much interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy framework, which is the ROC government is currently developing. The Republic of Korea is a responsible global pivotal state of the international community will more closely cooperate with the United our States, and the only ally our of our security. nation, in order to overcome global security challenges. Just within challenges. the past year, we have conducted a very successful summit between our presidents that charted a shared vision for our alliance's this year future. marks the 70th anniversary of the ROC in U.S. July, alliance while pursuing the goal of global comprehensive uh, strategic alliance. To the Secretary of Austin Korea. and I concur to plan and, and hold September, various joint events in the celebration USS of Ronald the 70th Reagan anniversary its first for port future advancement of the alliance. To the, ROK in five the events years. will serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the, the noble sacrifices made in the battlefields by the ROC and U.S. service to members our and, and to consult our on the challenges which the alliance faces today. And to envision We're to the path forward on, on, on for ROC-US alliance. To strengthen integrated deterrence By reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to, to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the, the capabilities to and implement the extended deterrence, as well as the robust combined defense posture you know, based decades, on the capability US and resolve of our and two nations to the 54th SCM, Secretary side Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated values and trust of the ROC U.S. alliance, this alliance to the people of both nations on that and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness so of the alliance the challenges of the future to the, the international community. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department I'm of Defense for their warm hospitality towards myself and the ROC delegation. Thank you very much. For the Republic of Korea's Secretary partnership. Austin, Minister Lee, thank so you, thank gentlemen. You, and let me turn it Ladies over and to gentlemen, Minister we'll be Lee switching to comments. consecutive translation for the question and answer portion, so would ask you to kindly Hello, remove your I'm headsets. Uh, first question will come from first lawyers, all, Phil Stewart. Thank you. Uh, Secretary Austin, do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean missile tests show the, the U.S. ROK alliance needs to adjust its deterrent strategy? Uh, also, and on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian you forces will be able to retake and Kherson and City and, and that the Russian forces are preparing to leave? And, to, uh, and your support. Minister Thank Lee, you very much you've for called for a shift in strategy away uh, from trying to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but what would a shift from the denuclearization look like? And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank you. Of the combined defense posture. Thanks for uh, on, uh, on the first question in terms of whether or not uh, it's developing into a global uh, we need to adjust our strategy. Based on shared values, I'll just such say as first that, uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times, and the rule of law. that we, you know, our commitment to and defending and the ROK held two is ministerial meetings this year to work uh, on the details of the agreement. Uh, on defense the, uh, areas, the as agreed upon during uh, the May Rock U.S. presidential uh, summit. Reckless, uh, Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, before, and we these made a lot of achievements are during this the region, potentially. So First, we call on them to, uh, to cease that, Austin and I that type the of daily activity and of to begin DPRK to engage in nuclear and missile dialogue. threats as a grave security challenge to the peace the and stability can, not only on the Korean uh, Peninsula and in the Northeast uh, Asia, take, uh, but for the international community. The remaining territory and in order on the to practically deter and respond to such the, threats, uh, we agree to in, further uh, strengthen in, the alliance in capabilities Kyrson. and posture. I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. The terms to We've seen the them engage in a very leveraging the full but range of military uh, capabilities, uh, including not only nuclear to, and conventional uh, forces, but missile defense their capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, uh, cyber, and electromagnetic the, uh, the capabilities. 
on the west side of the of the river. Secretary so the Austin and I confirmed that, that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong Un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. 우리 정부의 한반도 비핵화 정책에 대해서는 변함이 없습니다. 그리고 고려하고 있지는 않습니다. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen our alliance's capability and posture in respective areas, including information sharing, consultation process, joint planning and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK's advancing nuclear and missile threats. In particular, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored deterrent strategy, or TDS, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by annually conducting deterrent strategy committee tailored to or DSC TTX under the scenario of DPRK nuclear use. Clearly, North Korea has continued slavery rattling and provocation. In addition, but Secretary Austin pledged to effectively respond to any deeper provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment in and around on the North Korean military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the Inter-Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement. It Along has with fired the around 1,000 artillery shells to the Inter-Korean Maritime Buffer Zone. On the other hand, the Inter-Korean Comprehensive DPRK Military Agreement is still effective and reduces the tensions between the two Korea. Do you still support the Inter-Korean Military Tension Reduction Agreement, or should we abandon the deal? Secretary Austin assessed that the Rock government's audacious initiative is on a, a on the second question. I certainly, uh, yes, I do think Rock it's, uh, it's effective. And it's along the same line uh, as the U.S. Would, uh, approach to the DPRK, an approach of deterring DPRK my, threats my based on overwhelming here, combined defense Lee as well. capability and posture, in terms while of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence. By keeping yes, the I do think we've been effective. Open. I would point out to you that uh, we have recently. Uh, as stated, both countries will adhere to, to the principal uh, DPRK policies through close cooperation until the day that are DPRK on, decides uh, to denuclearize. Uh, increasing our readiness and, and our ability to be able to fight and tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have uh, one of the largest exercises the that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there are some the over 240 aircraft the that uh, are uh, part of that exercise, and they're doing uh, you know, a number of high in types of, uh, uh, types of training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure that, that we, we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if, if called to do so. And so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, this uh, you know, our ability to uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth-generation fighters recently. Uh, you've also seen and us, I uh, also share the strong uh, sentiment on the importance uh, of the rules-based international move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently, the and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong region. signal as well. In it particular, could be that, uh, Austin expressed that, much interest in uh, the Indo-Pacific strategy. You know, our neighbors in the north the there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been effective, of the and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain with the United effective. States, the only ally of our nation, in order to overcome global security challenges. The U.S. and South Korea specifically seek to deter. What what kind of behaviors would we? Behaviors due to Next year and South marks Korea. the 70th Safety anniversary deter. of the ROC U.S. alliance while deter. pursuing the goal of global comprehensive what is the strategic alliance. Behavior that Secretary US Austin and, South and I concur to, to plan and hold various well, joint we, we don't events to see, celebration uh, of the 70th anniversary you know, for anyone, future days uh, make a decision to employ a the nuclear device. The events will serve as an opportunity uh, for us to commemorate the noble seen, sacrifices made uh, in the battlefields by the ROC and U.S. service North members and to consult on the challenges which the alliance faces today. And inter, uh, 
to envision testing an intercontinental uh, ballistic US missile, alliance. a number of short range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery the uh, into, uh, in, to the into the ocean. Uh, and, and so all of this uh, activity is uh, potentially well destabilizing. And so, you know, again, you know, I think, uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we, we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack And the robustness of the alliance to the international community. A question for Lastly, you, Senator, I once sir, again extend my sincere gratitude to, to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense for their warm hospitality towards myself and the ROC delegation. Thank you very much. Secretary Austin, Minister Lee, thank you, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive translation for the question and answer portion, so I would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. First question will come from Reuters. Thank you. Secretary Austin, you've seen us recently. Uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, 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 fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent, uh, our permanent positioning or stationing of, uh, of assets on the, uh, on the peninsula currently. Uh, now, what we're doing together, uh, not only to, uh, bi on a bilateral basis, but also uh, on our, in our uh, on the allies in Japan, in terms of whether uh, or not, uh, in each and every case, uh, we need we'll to assess, adjust uh, our strategy. What, uh, you know, I'll just what's say going first on, and we'll, that, uh, we'll, you've heard me say this we'll a work together times, to ensure that we, that we uh, provide the right kind of. Uh, the defending the ROK so, is to answer your question, uh, no new deployment uh, strongly of uh, strategic assets uh, on a permanent basis, but the, uh, you'll the see DPRK assets moving in uh, irresponsible uh, on, on a routine basis. Uh, and reckless uh, activities, yeah, as we said Hukan before, Hukan these kinds of activities Hukan are destabilizing Hukan to the region, Hukan potentially. Hukan so Hukan we Hukan call Hukan on them to, uh, to cease Hukan that, Hukan that type of activity Hukan and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, uh, take uh, the remaining territory on the west side of the, of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan, I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, to take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue so to, to press uh, to the uh, answer, until they secure uh, the, uh, the territory on the, on the west side can, of the, uh, of the river. The so to answer um, your question, I do think they have the facility in North Korea, they are ready to conduct uh, the nuclear test at that area. But when they will carry out the uh, nuclear test is currently uh, still a curiosity as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and uh, to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to state North Korea carrying out the nuclear test, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North Korea as well. Tactical nukes on the Korean Peninsula. Our Thank you. Our final question will go to Yan Hap, Song Hong Song. Uh, next we'll go to Korea Herald, Doug Yong Ji. To report both uh, Secretary Austin and from the Korea Herald. Um, I have two questions, questions for, for Secretary Austin. Austin. And, uh, my first question, my is, question is similar um, to the effectiveness I mean, of the U.S. expanded deterrence. Uh, um, North Korea has to form a lot of modern protein missiles of different uh, types in late September. Uh, and North Korea has threatened to start targeting fast and fast to the territory with so, tactical uh, and 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 weapons. The US, uh, Clearly, North Korea has continued cyber wrestling and provocations. But do you still think that the current expanded deterrence arrangement has been effective in deterring North Korea 
and what kind of North Korean behavior the US and South Korea think should be carried. And my second question is on the inter-Korean military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the inter-Korean comprehensive military agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells through the inter-Korean maritime buffer zone. Um, do you think the inter-Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the do you, do you support inter-Korean military tension reduction agreement, or should we abandon the deal? On a, on a second question, I certainly, uh, yes, I do uh, think it's, uh, it's yes, effective, uh, and it certainly I believe, uh, uh, would uh, activities are effective in invite uh, comment from my, uh, my colleague here, one of the things Minister that Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, uh, together, yes, I do think we've been effective. Uh, and, uh, and to be I would point out to you that uh, uh, our ability to train we have recently uh, troops, uh, uh, to a higher gone back to uh, of, uh, conducting uh, a number of exercises uh, that are focused a, a on combat uh, credible uh, force. Uh, increasing uh, our readiness in and our ability to uh, be able to uh, fight tonight. As a matter of fact, recently you've seen right now we have on one of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, that we have in recent history. Uh, uh, there are some you know, over 240 aircraft that uh, are, uh, are part of that exercise, and, and, combat, and they're doing uh, a, you know, a number of high-end uh, types uh, of uh, we are focused uh, training on events, sure conducting a number of high-end types of training events. And all of that is designed to ensure that we have the ability uh, also to defend to uh, the peninsula uh, if, if called to do so. Device. And so and I yes, think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, and we'll continue uh, to this, uh, you know, to our ability sure to uh, redeploy or together, deploy strategic assets to the uh, peninsula, as you've seen us do uh, and, uh, here with uh, fifth generation fighters to, uh, recently. Uh, you've also seen us move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well but it could be Criticism that uh, that uh, you know your, our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness so yes I do I think believe we've, that, uh, we've been effective they are and we will continue to look at this and uh, ensure that we remain effective uh, and I also believe they are deterred from employing a nuclear device uh, either uh, against uh, uh, the uh, in the peninsula or against our homeland here in the, in the U.S. What, what kind of behaviors yes, would we? Behaviors do the U.S. and South Korea expect to deter? Uh, what is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, you know, anyone uh, make a decision to employ a nuclear device. Uh, and lately, as you've seen, uh, North Koreans have, uh, have engaged in activity uh, such as an inter uh, Testing an intercontinental ballistic missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, in, into the ocean, uh, and, and so all of this uh, activity is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, you know, I think uh, I think. It's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack from security consultative meeting last year um, and and how the OPLAN is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in you, SCM. Secretary the question sir, is about how the uh, process ago, was going and when the OPLAN was going to be completed. And um, as for OPLAN to provide my answer, when, when you're developing the OPLAN, it's not a one-and-done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop given the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that we will, in the process of developing the OPLAN, we are seeking to expedite the uh, uh, you've seen us uh, However, recently uh, 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 redeploy re fifth generation with, um, uh, limitation uh, due to, um, uh, fighter aircraft so uh, and you've seen us one final exercise uh, our strategic uh, uh, assets again, uh, from time to time, and, and again, uh, we, to deter. answer your question, we don't have point out that, uh, uh, we're a plan to, to uh, uh, change type of activity permanent uh, uh, against our, our permanent our positioning or stationing of, uh, in the region. of assets on the, uh, on the peninsula currently, uh, free but, and open in uh, what we're region. doing together. So, 
Thank you very much. Uh, not only to, uh, bil on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan. Uh, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. 네, 북한이 핵실험 충돌가 되어 있느냐 하는 질문에 대해서는 어, 북한은 3번 경비에 대해서는 핵실험 준비가 완료되었다라고 평가를 하고 있고 어, 다만 언제 할 것인가 하는 부분은 그것은 어, 북한의 어떤 정치적 일정까지 고려하는 가운데 할 것이라고 보기 때문에 어, 예측하기 더 어렵다 하는 점을 말씀드리고 Is for the terrible tragedy and, uh, that occurred in Seoul my this past is weekend. To voters, I mean, the CNN Our hearts go out to the families of all the victims from South across Korea South Korea talking about extended and around the world, as, uh, as CM including point, uh, two young Americans. And, and, artillery shells and we stand and together with the people of so, South uh, Korea and, and during this time US, of national uh, mourning. Uh, Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier was in South Korea, now, still no fire on missile. So it's highly the unfortunate the, that the DPRK uh, has chosen to interrupt this solemn period forms of with the illegal and you know. destabilizing so launch of an intercontinental the continental, uh, of their line uh, ballistic missile five. last night. So, did you actually discuss as well that as issue, uh, additional the missile launches uh, today? today. And, and did you come up with any? Uh, I've consulted with Minister Lee, and we've decided to extend vigilant storm which is our long uh, scheduled combined training exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. And we'll continue to work closely together to develop options to protect the United States and our allies in the region. Now, let me turn to the work of, uh, uh, to answer your question, the security yes, consultated uh, I believe uh, our Activities As you know, it's the annual capstone of it for the U.S. Uh, you know, rock alliance. One of the things that sends a strong deterrent, and it brings our defense leaders our together to, to work, discuss shared uh, challenges together, and opportunities, uh, and uh, and to be and to deepen our cooperation uh, and our ability to train uh, our troops. Next uh, year, we'll mark the 70th a, a anniversary of, uh, of the signing of, uh, of the U.S. capability and also rock maintain, mutual defense uh, treaty, a, a combat and the establishment uh, of our alliance uh, in, in the region. Uh, and, uh, For nearly and seven decades, most recently, you've seen this focus alliance on has that been a major of again, peace and security on the Korean exercise Peninsula that we have ongoing and across uh, I, the broader you know, you, end you of mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration today, of uh, a commitment. And, and the uh, ROK and combat, is a uh, tremendously capable ally. Again, uh, we are focused on making sure that in the region. Uh, nobody attacks and a defender uh, of the rules based international and, uh, order. We're committed to that. Our commitment is our all secure. And we're also committed to deterring now, Minister Lee and I had an, an outstanding device. discussion today. And yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective. We talked about that, the DPRK's we'll continue continued provocations sure and destabilizing actions. Working together, building increasing uh, And at this time of heightened tension uh, and, uh, and increasing our, our ability to, uh, to, to work together. So. 
The United States remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. And our extended deterrence commitment is firm. It includes a full range of our nuclear criticism of conventional and missile defense capabilities. Mr. Lee and I also uh, talked about the tremendous it, progress you know, it, that we've made I, in recent I believe months that, uh, they to are deepen our, from attacking our cooperation North Korea, and bolster uh, Korea, excuse me. our shared security. Uh, and I also believe they are deterred from employing Just a nuclear device. Just within the past device. year, we have uh, conducted either, a very successful uh, summit against, uh, uh, the between uh, in the peninsula our presidents or against that charted our a shared in vision in the, in the for US. our yes, alliance's future. In July, we deployed uh, fifth-generation fighters to the Republic of Korea. In late September, the USS Ronald Reagan conducted its first port call to the ROK in five years. On the peninsula, we're returning to large-scale exercises to strengthen our combined readiness and our ability to fight tonight if necessary. We're committed to building on, on, on these efforts to strengthen integrated deterrence and to ensure that this alliance continues to bolster security and stability on the Korean Peninsula and throughout the Indo-Pacific. You know, for decades, U.S. and ROK service members have fought side by side to defend the ideals of freedom. So the question this alliance was is founded the on that shared and a how, sacrifice. Um, the endorsed SPD so we will and SPG confront the challenges of the future the same way that we have for um, nearly and, 70 years. And how the OPLAN is developing on top By of those uh, agreements that were made shoulder, um, in SCM. The question is about allies. how the uh, process was going I'm and when the OPLAN was going to be completed. And um, as for OPLAN to provide my answer, when you're developing the OPLAN, it's not a one and done deal. It's something that you continue to develop given the taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say when it will exactly complete it. However, what I I can say all, is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to Thank expedite the uh, upgrade. Your sense, your condolences However, uh, to as the for uh, the specifics of the Korea. information that I can divulge, there's a um, limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so Thank I will you for keep your my effort answer to for this. The peace and security in the Korean peninsula. And one final peninsula uh, and development uh, of uh, note here, alliance. again, in and terms of our deterrent efforts and the types of things that we're deterring, Today, I would point out that uh, we're committed to deterring that type of activity. The inauguration uh, of the UN administration, of our allies, we once again affirm the robustness of the Iraq US military alliance and the steadfastness and open of the combined region. defense so, posture. Thank you very much. Furthermore, we affirm that Iraq US alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, weekend. human rights, and Our the hearts go out to the families of all the victims from across Secretary South Austin Korea. Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreement Americans. on defense and areas as agreed upon the during the May Rock US presidential summit. Morning. Today was my third time to meet Secretary now, Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this It's highly unfortunate that the DPRK exam. has chosen to interrupt this solemn First, period. Secretary Austin and I assess the daily advances of DPRK of nuclear and missile threats as a grave security uh, challenge to the peace and stability not as only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast today. Asia, but for the international community. And in Mr. order Lee, to practically deter and respond to, to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities which and is posture. A long schedule combined training exercise. Secretary Austin to further committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Republic of Korea, we'll leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, now, such as space, cyber, we'll to the and electromagnetic of, uh, capabilities. The Security Consultative Meeting. Secretary Austin and I affirm you know, that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, the including the use of tactical Rock nuclear Alliance. weapons, is unacceptable and results and in the end of Kim Jong Un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response and of the alliance. And to deepen our cooperation and friendship. Next year, we'll mark this the 70th is a strong anniversary of the signing the DPRK. of the U.S. Also, Secretary Austin Treaty. and I pledge to further strengthen the alliance's capability and alliance. posture in respective areas, including information sharing, decades, consultation process, joint planning, an and execution to effectively and deter and respond the to the DPRK's advancing and nuclear and missile the threats. Broader 
Indo-Pacific. In particular, Secretary and, today, and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, of security Secretary in the and I noted that progress and in the revising the, the tailored deterrence strategy, or TDS, and pledged secure. to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS uh, by Mr. the Lee 2023 and SCM an and prepare today. response options by annually conducting the deterrence strategy continued provocations and destabilizing actions, or DSC TTX, under the scenario and of this time of heightened nuclear tension, use. Our alliance is ironclad. In addition, Secretary Austin pledged United to States effectively respond to any to the defense of the ROK. by employing U.S. strategic efforts to the level equivalent to constant firm. deployment through increasing the and frequency and intensity of strategic of asset deployment in and around the Korean Peninsula. and missile defense capabilities. Mr. Lee and I also talked Along about the, the tremendous of the progress that we've made in recent in response months to, DPRK nuclear to deepen our, our Austin and I and pledge to encourage our shared DPRK security. to choose denuclearization as a path for a brighter year, future. We, have we also pledge to very continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization of North Korea. A shared vision for in this context, future. Secretary Austin assessed in that July, the law government's audacious initiative is a practical approach and expresses support for it. Rock government's in audacious September, initiative is along the same the line as the U.S. Reagan approach to the DPRK, an approach of deterring DPRK threats based on years. overwhelming combined defense capability and on posture, while in parallel seeking exercises. for a diplomatic solution by keeping the window of dialogue open. And our ability to fight tonight, if necessary. We're committed As to stated, building on, both on, countries on these will adhere to, to the principal DPRK policies through close cooperation until the day DPRK decides to, to denuclearize, and, stability on the and the ROC Ministry of and National Defense the and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. You know, for decades, During the meeting, the US there were earnest discussions on cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. and our partners for the promotion the of regional of security freedom. and on measures of bolstering multilateral cooperation. This alliance is founded on that shared in order to respond sacrifice. to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, so Secretary and I affirm to continuously the advance the ROC plus Japan security cooperation, for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior-level policy consultation, information sharing, training, I'm and personnel exchanges. Proud of what we've and Secretary and I have also pledged to resume early next year the ASD-level policy so consultation body called Defense Trilateral Lee Talks, or DTT which has been suspended for the past years. Secretary Hello, and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance First of the rules-based international order and pledge to closely cooperate for the peace and Thank stability in the much in for your Pacific region. condolences to the tragedy happening in particular, Korea. Secretary Austin expressed much interest in also, the Indo-Pacific strategy Thank you for your framework effort for the peace and security which is the ROC government is currently developing. Peninsula and development of the Republic of Alliance Korea is a responsible global Thank you very state much of the that. international community will more closely Today, with the United States, the, 54th the only ally of our meeting, hosted in order to overcome the global inauguration of the UN administration, we once again affirm the robustness of the Iraq US military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense Next posture. year marks the Furthermore, 70th anniversary of the Iraq US alliance that while pursuing Rock the goal US of global comprehensive is developing strategic into a global alliance. comprehensive Secretary strategic Austin alliance and I on concur to you plan such and as hold liberal democracy joint events human and rights celebration of the 70th the anniversary law. for future advancement of the alliance Secretary Austin the and I held two ministerial meetings this year to commemorate to work the, on the details of the agreement in the battlefields by the Rock Defense areas as agreed upon and during the to May Rock on the US challenges which summit. alliance faces today. Today and was my third time to meet Secretary to Austin, Austin, and we made a lot the path of achievements for Rock during US this alliance. 54th SCM. First, by reaffirming the unwavering Secretary Austin, Austin and I assessed the, the daily advances of, of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a great security challenge to the peace well and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, and resolve for the international community. And in order to practically Turn and respond to such threats, and I agree to we have demonstrated the, the alliance capabilities of the and alliance to the people of both nations and a grave message of warning to the DPRK Secretary Austin and the robust committed to the, the provision of extended to the international to the Republic community. of Korea, leveraging the full range of military Lastly, capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense Secretary capabilities, and the but also the advanced non nuclear capabilities, such as space, cyber, and electromagnetic capabilities.
Secretary Austin, Minister Lee, thank Secretary you, Secretary Austin, and Ladies I affirm we'll that any nuclear tech by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear portion, weapons, so is unacceptable and result in the end uh, of Kim Jong Un regime by the, the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. Thank you. Uh, Secretary Austin, do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean missile tests show the U.S. ROK alliance needs to this adjust is a its strong warning strategy. against the DPRK. Uh, and on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian forces also, will be able to Secretary retain Austin Kherson City? Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to and, further and strengthen alliances' capability and posture and, uh, in respective Mr. areas, Lee, including information sharing, and consultation and process, uh, joint planning, to and execution to effectively deter and respond uh, to the DPRK's advancing nuclear and missile threats. And, like? threat. and, and threat. do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? In particular, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. Thanks, to this end, uh, on, uh, Secretary on and I noted that progress in not, revising uh, the tailored uh, deterrent strategy or TDS and pledged to put to efforts to complete the that, revision uh, of the TDS by the 2023 times, SCM that we, and prepare response options by annually conducting the deterrent the strategy committee table top exercise uh, we strongly or condemn, DSC uh, TTX under the scenario the, uh, of the DPRK's uh, uh, irresponsible uh, and reckless uh, activities. In addition, Secretary Austin we said before, to these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, potentially. US strategic assets so the so level we call on them to, uh, to cease that, that type of activity and, and to begin to engage in serious in dialogue. The on the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, uh, take um, Along with the efforts of the, the alliance remaining to territory on the west side of the, threats, of the uh, Dnieper and River I and, uh, pledge to in, encourage in the DRK to choose I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but context, effective uh, Secretary Austin uh, effort to, uh, that the to government's take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press. Uh, until they Rock secure the, uh, the initiative territory is along on, the, the same line on the west the side of the, of the river. The DPRK, so to answer your question, I do think DPRK they have the threats based on overwhelming combined defense capability and posture, while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic solution by keeping the window of dialogue open. As stated, both countries will adhere to the principal DPRK policies through close cooperation until the day DPRK decides to denuclearize. And the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will back up the efforts to its strength. During the meeting, there were earnest discussions on cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. and our partners for the promotion of regional security and on measures of fostering multilateral cooperation. In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the ROC US Japan security cooperation, for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior level policy consultation, information sharing, training, and personnel exchange. And Secretary and I also pledge to resume early next year the ASD military policy consultation body called Defense Trilateral Talks or DTT, which has been suspended for the past year. Secretary and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the rules-based international order and pledge to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. In particular, Secretary Austin expressed much interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy framework which North is Korea the ROC government is currently by, like, developing. The, Korean comprehensive the Republic of Korea agreement. is a responsible global pivotal state of the international community while more closely the inner Korean cooperating with the United jobs. States. Um, do you think the, the inner Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the inter do you, do you support inner Korean military tension reduction agreement or should we Next abandon year the deal? marks the 70th anniversary of the ROC US alliance while pursuing the goal of global comprehensive on the, on the second alliance. question I certainly Austin, uh, and I yes I do think it's, uh, and it's effective and it certainly in uh, of the 70th would, uh, anniversary for future advancement invite of the alliance. Uh, comment from my my colleague here Mr. Lee as well in terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence Yes, I do think we've been effective. And to consult on the I would point out to you that uh, today. And we have recently to envision uh, the path forward for gone Rock back US to uh, conducting a number By of exercises that are focused on uh, the Republic of Korea 
increasing our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, as well as the right now we have one of the largest exercises the that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there are some over 240 aircraft that, uh, that uh, are uh, part of that exercise, and they're doing a number of high-end types of training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure that that we Lastly, we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, uh, if, if called to do so, and so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, this you uh, you know, our ability to uh, redeploy Thank or deploy you, strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth generation fighters recently. So ask you uh, you've also seen us. Uh, uh, first question will uh, come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. Move a carrier into uh, into you, port uh, there uh, recently, uh, and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty North strong Korean signal as well. The US but it could be that uh, uh, that strategy. Uh, and on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian forces will you be know, able to our neighbors in the north there may be concerned and, about and our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think uh, we've been uh, we've been effective, you've called and for we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but what would a shift from denuclearization look like? And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? What, what kind of behaviors would we? behaviors due to U.S. and South Korea. Thanks, Phil. Uh, on, uh, on the first it's question in terms of whether or not uh, what is the desired uh, we need to that adjust the US our South strategy. Korea are trying to bring about. Just say first well, that, certainly uh, we don't want to see this a number of times uh, that we you know, anyone are uh, making a decision to employ defending we are okay is ironclad. Uh, and lately, uh, as you've uh, seen, we strongly uh, condemn uh, the, D the North DPRKs Koreans have, uh, irresponsible, have engaged in activity uh, in reckless uh, such as uh, activities. And inter uh, as we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing ballistic missile, the region, a number of short-range ballistic missiles. So we uh, call on artillery uh, to uh, cease uh, that, uh, that type in, of activity the ocean and to begin uh, to engage and, and so in serious dialogue. All of this are, uh, activity on the issue is of whether or not the Ukrainians can, so, uh, you know, again, you know, uh, take, I think, uh, uh, I think. The remaining territory it's possible that they the could west continue to, the, to do that of kind of the, thing, uh, but Dnieper certainly River we and, are focused uh, on in, making sure in that they don't choose I to employ a nuclear weapon that they or have the capability uh, to choose that. to attack. Most importantly, uh, uh, the Ukrainians Korea. believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, to take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press. Uh, until they the secure the, uh, the territory on the, on the west side of the, of the river. So to answer your question, I do think they is, have the capability. Is this a change in U.S. posture in the region? And, and Minister, sir, do you believe a North Korean nuclear test is imminent and is China playing a constructive role in preventing them from carrying out such a test? Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time, and, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent, uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of, uh, of assets on the, uh, on the peninsula currently. Uh, but. Now, what we're doing together, uh, not only to, uh, bilater on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan, uh, in, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out. Uh, on on a routine basis. They were rattling and provocations. But do you still think that the current expanded deterrence arrangement has been effective in deterring North Korea? And what kind of North Korean behavior do the U.S. and South Korea seek to deter? And my second question is on the inter Korean military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the inter Korean comprehensive military agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells for the inter Korean maritime buffer zone. Um, do you think the inner Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the do you, do you support inner Korean military tension reduction agreement, or should we abandon the deal? 
on a on the second question, I certainly so to, uh, uh, to the yes, answer, I do think uh, it's uh, it's effective, and I certainly uh, would. I can, uh, uh, I can state a statement that um, invite uh, comment from my, my colleague here, Korea, uh, Minister Lee, as well. To conduct, uh, the nuclear in terms of the effectiveness the of the, our deterrence, the, uh, yes, I do think we've been effective. Uh, so I would point as, uh, out North to Korea you that uh, we'll have to take into account we have recently and to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. Conducting to the question about a number uh, of exercises and that are focused Korea. on if we traditionally uh, look at the uh, uh, influence that China had increasing our readiness past, in our uh, ability to be able to fight when, uh, tonight. As a matter of fact, to North right Korea now we have one tests, of the largest uh, exercises uh, that we've seen anyway. in, uh, so, uh, in recent history. China has, uh, uh, there are some over 240 uh, aircraft in, uh, in that uh, are a part of that exercise, and they're doing a number of high-end types of uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure that that we we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if if called to do so. And so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, this uh, you know, our ability to uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth-generation fighters recently. Uh, you've also seen us. Uh, 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 so the question is if the move a carrier uh, into uh, into port there uh, uh, recently, and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. So it could be that uh, uh, that the alliance really uh, fine. So. Did you actually discuss that issue? You know, your, our neighbors uh, in the north there may be concerned today, about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. What, what kind of behaviors would we? Do the US and South Korea to expect to deter? What is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring uh, to about? To answer your question, yes, well, certainly uh, we, we don't want to see uh, activity you know, or anyone in the make a decision to employ uh, a nuclear know, device. One of the things that sends uh, a strong and lately, as you've seen, message is uh, our ability to work. Uh, together, North Koreans uh, have uh, and, uh, and to be have engaged in activity uh, uh, and such our ability as to train and uh, uh, our troops. Uh, testing an intercontinental ballistic missile, of, uh, a number of short-range ballistic of, uh, missiles, capability, uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, uh, in, into the ocean. Force. Uh, and, and so in the region. All of this uh, uh, activity uh, is uh, recently, potentially destabilizing. And so, major way you know, again, I point to the uh, you know, major I think, uh, that we have I think ongoing. It's possible uh, I, that they could continue you know, to, to you do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused of, uh, on making sure and, that and, they uh, don't choose combat, to employ a nuclear uh, weapon or uh, again, choose to attack. Uh, we are focused uh, on making South sure Korea. that uh, nobody attacks uh, South Korea, and uh, we're committed to that. Our commitment is iron sir, sir, the minister We're also a committed to deterring to uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. By employing US yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective in that, and we'll continue to work to make sure that we're what working together, to building to increasing uh, and is, capabilities, is this a in uh, and, uh, in the and increasing and, our and ability minister, to work Do you believe a North Korean nuclear test is imminent, and is China playing a constructive role in preventing them from carrying out such a test? Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, 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 fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, I, I believe uh, we, that, uh, to answer your question, we don't have uh, Korea, uh, a plan to. Uh, and I also change believe they are permanent, uh, from employing a nuclear device. Our, our, our permanent uh, positioning or stationing uh, of, uh, against, uh, of uh, assets the, uh, on, the, uh, on the peninsula or currently. Our uh, here but in the, in the US. Uh, what we're doing together, yes, I believe that. Uh, not only to, uh, bi on, a, on a bilateral mm -hmm. basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan, uh, uh, in each and every case, SMK we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, what's going on and we'll. Uh, we'll We'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis.
최신 아시 언제 할 것인가 하는 하고 있다는 점 말씀드리고 어, 이 작게 보고는 사실 구체적으로 설명드리기가 제한될 것으로 보기 때문에 있습니다. 어, 그래서 예측하기는 어렵다 하는 점을 말씀드리고 더 구체적인 답변은 네. 중국의 영향에 대한 점을 말씀드리는 맞습니다. 중국이 북한과의 관계에서 기본적으로는 영향력이 있다고 보지만 중국의 의사와 무관하게 북한이 핵실험을 했던 그런 과정으로 경험을 본다는 것 그것이 중국의 영향력이 절대적으로 미칠 것이다 라고 보기는 어렵다는 점입니다. And um, as for so old plan to, to provide my answer, to provide my answer uh, when you're developing the old plan, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that can, uh, I can continue to develop, given the, the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So they are ready to say uh, when uh, it will exactly complete it. However, what I can when say they will carry is that the, uh, we will nuclear test the process is currently the old plan. We are seeking to North Korea. We will have to take into account the political purpose for the specifics of the information that we have to carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us. And to answer the question about Chinese effect and influence on North Korea. One if we traditionally look at the uh, uh, influence that China here, had in North Korea in the past, in terms of our uh, there's been a time when, uh, the despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, that, uh, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the tests anyway. Uh, so uh, it's difficult to say that China has a uh, decisive uh, effect in, um, in, in, in choosing North Korea's We remain well. committed to maintaining a, a free and open Indo-Pacific region. So thank you very much. I think my question is similar to Reuters, I mean, the CNN and, and my colleague, but uh, and even when the U.S. Uh, S. Uh, Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier was in South Korea, still no profile and missile. So the question is if the deterrence uh, works when it comes to North Korea's uh, conventional forms of propagation or low intensity attacks here. So there's still concern of whether or not the deterrence uh, of the alliance really working fine. So did you actually discuss that issue? Uh, attacks uh, South so Korea. Condolences and, uh, for the terrible tragedy to that. Our commitment is ironclad. That occurred in Seoul. We're also committed to deterring uh, anyone from Our using go out to the device. families of all the and victims yes, from across believe, South uh, Korea. We've effective in that, and we'll continue and to around the world to make sure that, including we're two young Americans, working together, building increasing and we stand uh, together with the people of South and, Korea uh, during this and time of national mourning to, uh, to, to work together. So. Now, it's highly unfortunate that the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period with the illegal and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile last night, as well as additional missile launches today. I, I don't. It, you know, consulted it, with I, I believe that uh, we decided they are to deterred from attacking extend North Korea, uh, South Vigilant Korea, Storm. Uh, and I also believe they are deterred from deploying a combined device, training exercise, uh, either uh, against to further bolster uh, uh, our readiness in the in peninsula or, or against our homeland here in the, in the and U.S. We'll continue to work yes, closely together that. to develop options to protect the United States and our allies in the region.
지난해 SMP, SPD, 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 As you know, it's the annual capstone event for the U.S. Rock Alliance. And it brings our defense leaders together to discuss sheer challenges and opportunities and to deepen our cooperation and friendship. Next year, we will mark the 70th anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Rock Mutual Defense Treaty. and the establishment of our alliance. For nearly seven decades, this alliance has been an anchor of peace and security on the Korean Peninsula and across the broader Indo-Pacific. And today, the ROK is a tremendously capable ally and provider of security in the region. And how he will find the rules based on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCN. The question secure. is about how the uh, process was going now, and when the old plan was going to be completed. And um, as for old plan to provide my answer, to provide my answer, when you're developing the old plan, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop, given the um, take into account the environment of, of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that we will, in the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to expedite our the uh, upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's a, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so I will keep my answer and missile to defense this. Capabilities. And one final uh, uh, note Lee here, and I also again, talked in terms about of our tremendous deterrent progress efforts that we've made in recent months that we're deterring. to deepen our, I secure, point out our that, cooperation uh, we're and bolster our shared security. Uh, that type of activity just within uh, the past year, we have conducted a very successful summit region. We remain committed between to maintaining our presidents a, that charted a, a free and open Indo-Pacific region. Our alliance's so, future. Thank you very much. Secretary Austin, in July, you, we deployed uh, fifth-generation fighters for the, the terrible Republic tragedy that occurred in Seoul in late September, this past weekend. The USS Ronald our Reagan go conducted out to the first families port of call all the victims from across to South the ROK Korea in five years and around the world. On the peninsula, we're returning to large-scale exercises to and we stand together with the people of South Korea during this time of national mourning, if necessary. Now, we're committed to building on, it's on, highly on these efforts to strengthen the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period and to ensure that this alliance with its continues to bolster security destabilizing launch and stability of an on the Korean Peninsula and throughout the ballistic missile last night. As well as additional you know, for decades, missile launches U.S. Today. and ROK After service members have fought Lee, and we've decided side to by side to defend the ideals of freedom. Vigilant Storm, which is this our alliance is founded on combined, combined training exercise sacrifice. to further so bolster our readiness the and of the future the same way that we have for nearly and seventy we'll continue years. Continue to work closely together to develop options shoulder to shoulder to protect the United States and our allies in the region. I'm enormously proud now, of what we've accomplished together, and I'm very grateful the work of, uh, for the Republic of Korea's the Security Consultative Meeting. So thank you, and let me turn it over to As Minister you know, Lee it's the annual capstone event for the U.S. Rock Alliance. Hello, I'm Rock Minister. And it brings our defense leaders together to all, discuss sheer challenges and opportunities. And to deepen Thank our cooperation and friendship. Thank you very much for your friendship. sincere condolences to the tragedy happened in Korea. Next year, we'll mark the 70th anniversary of the signing also, of the U.S. Thank you for your effort Rock for the Mutual peace and security Defense Treaty. Peninsula and, and development of Rock U.S. Of alliance. alliance and your support. Thank you very much for that. For nearly seven decades. This Today, alliance has been an anchor of the peace and security. The 54th Security Consultative Meeting hosted for the first time since the inauguration the of the UN administration. We once again affirm the robustness of the Iraq U.S. military alliance the and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, of security we affirm that Rock U.S. Alliance is developing a into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values secure. such as liberal democracy, human Minister rights, and, and the rule of law. Outstanding discussion today. Secretary Austin we about and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreements 
on defense areas as agreed upon during the May Rock U.S. presidential summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th SCM. Our extended deterrence first, commitment is firm. Secretary Austin and I assess the and daily advances of DPRK nuclear, nuclear and missile threats as a grave security challenge to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Mr. Northeast and Asia, also but for the international the community. And in, in order to practically deter and respond to, to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities security. and posture. Just within the past year, we have conducted a very Secretary successful Austin summit committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Republic of Korea, leveraging the full range of military future. capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, cyber, and electromagnetic September, capabilities. The USS Ronald Reagan conducted its first Secretary port Austin call and I affirmed that any nuclear attack by years. the DPRK, including the use of tactical the nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and results in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and, and decisive response of the alliance. If necessary. We're committed to building on, on, on these efforts to strengthen This is a strong warning against the DPRK. And to ensure that this alliance continues also, to bolster Secretary security Secretary Austin and I pledge and to further strengthen alliance's Peninsula capability and, and posture in respective areas, including information sharing, consultation you know, process, decades, joint planning, US and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK's advancing side nuclear side and missile to defend threats. The ideals of freedom. In particular, Secretary and I will this work on response options on towards all possible nuclear sacrifice. use scenarios by the DPRK. So we will confront to the this end, of the future the same Secretary way that we have and I for noted that years. progress in revising the tailored deterrent strategy or TDS and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS I'm by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by annually conducting the current strategy committee tabletop exercise so let me turn it over to or DSC TTX under the scenario of DPRK nuclear use. Hello, I'm Brock, Minister of Defense. In addition, Secretary First Austin all, pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing Thank you very strategic much assets for your to level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment also, in and around the Thank Korean Peninsula. Thank you for your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula. Peninsula and development of Rock U.S. Alliance, and Along your with the efforts Thank of the Alliance to that. deter and respond to DPRK nuclear threats, today, Secretary Austin and I pledged to encourage DPRK to choose for the first time since the inauguration and the path for a brighter future. We also pledged we to once continue again our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization of and the steadfastness of the combined in defense context, posture. Furthermore, Secretary Austin assessed that the Rock government's audacious US initiative is, is developing into a global and comprehensive strategy. Strategic alliance based on shared values, Rock such government's as liberal democracy, is along the same rights, line as the U.S. The approach law. to the DPRK, an approach of deterring DPRK threats based and on overwhelming I held two combined ministerial meetings a shared to work on the details of the agreement, while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic solution on defense by areas the as agreed upon open. during the May Rock U.S. presidential summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made as a lot stated, of both countries during this adhere to the principal DPRK policies through close cooperation until the day. Secretary Austin DPRK and I assess the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile and the Rock threats Ministry as a great national security challenge the to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the North the meeting, Asia, there but for the international community. And in order to practically and deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and, capabilities and, capabilities and, capabilities and, capabilities and posture. Cooperation. In order to respond to DPRK nuclear Secretary missile Austin threats, Secretary committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Iraq, US, Republic Japan of Korea, leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, and and cyber, and electromagnetic to capabilities. Early next year, the ASD level policy Secretary Austin and I affirmed that any nuclear attack TTT, by the DPRK, which including the use of tactical nuclear year. weapons, is unacceptable. And, and result in the, the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the, the overwhelming and decisive order, response of the alliance. to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. In particular, Secretary this Austin is a strong warning much against the Indo-Pacific strategy framework. Also, 
Secretary which Austin is the rock and I pledge to further strengthen alliances, the capability, and posture in respective areas, including the information sharing, consultation process, joint planning, and execution, to effectively the only respond LI to the DPRK in order to advancing overcome nuclear global and missile security threats. challenges. In particular, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. Next year marks to the 70th end, anniversary of the ROC Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored alliance. deterrent strategy TDS and I concur and to plan to put efforts and hold to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 the SCM and prepare response options the by annually conducting deterrent strategy will serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices or made in the battle TX by the ROC and the service of members, DPRK and use. to consult on the challenges which Alliance faces today. In addition, and Secretary Austin to pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK for ROC publication alliance. by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level by reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic efforts to strengthen the in and around to impl the implement the extended deterrence, as well as the robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of along with the efforts of the Alliance to deter and respond to DPRK nuclear Secretary Austin Secretary and I said that we have demonstrated values and trust of the ROC to choose the denuclearization and the path for a brighter future. And a great future. message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness to achieve of the alliance denuclearization to the international of community. In this context, lastly, I once again extend my sense that the ROC government to audacious Secretary initiative Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense and for their warm hospitality towards myself and the ROC government's audacious Thank initiative is along the same line Secretary as the U.S. Austin approach Minister to Lee. the DPRK, an approach of deterring we'll DPRK threats based on overwhelming combined the defense capability and, and posture, portion, so while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic solution uh, by keeping the window of dialogue open. Thank you. Uh, Secretary Austin, do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean As missile stated, tests show the U.S. Will to the okay alliance needs to adjust DPRK its deterrence strategy? Uh, and on Russia, until is it your assessment that Ukrainian DPRK forces will be able to retake Kherson City? And, and that the Russian and the Rock Ministry of lead. National Defense and, and to, uh, the U.S. Department Minister of Defense Lee, will backstop the effort You've called for a shift in strategy strength. away uh, from During trying meeting, to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but what the would a shift from denuclearization look like? The and do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the Rock U.S. Japan security cooperation for which we agreed to activate trilateral just our strategy. Policy consultation, I'll just say first sharing, that, uh, training, and you've heard me say this a number of times, that we, in our commitment to, to defending the ROK is ironclad. We strongly condemn the DPRK's irresponsible and reckless activities. As we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, potentially. So we call on them to to cease that, in particular, that type Secretary of activity and to begin to engage in, in serious dialogue. Framework, On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians the can the Republic of Korea take, is a responsible um, global pivotal the remaining state of territory the on the west side of the, of the, the, uh, the Dnieper States. River in, uh, the only in, ally of our in Kyrgyzstan. In order to I certainly believe that they have the challenges. capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but Next effective year marks the 70th uh, anniversary uh, effort of the Rock to, uh, US alliance to while take back the their sovereign territory. I think alliance. you'll see them continue Secretary to press and I uh, until they secure and the, uh, the territory on the, on the west side of the, of the river. So to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. The events will serve as an opportunity for us yeah. to commemorate the noble sacrifices yeah. made yeah. in the yeah. battlefields yeah. by the Rock and U.S. service yeah. members yeah. and to consult on the challenges which Alliance faces today and to envision the path forward for ROC US Alliance. By reaffirming the unwavering US defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the extended deterrence, as well as our government stands of denuclearization policy on the Republic and resolve our two nations through the 54th SCM. Secretary Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated values and trust of the ROC US alliance to the people of both nations and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance to the 
the international I community. Two questions for Secretary Austin. Lastly, I my once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense for their um, warm hospitality towards myself and the Rock delegation. Thank you very much. September. And nursery has threatened to strike targeting. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive translation for the question and answer portion. So we'd ask you to kindly remove your headsets. First question will come from the current extended deterrence arrangement has been effective in deterring North Korea. And what kind of North Korean behavior the U.S. and South Korea needs to adjust its deterrence strategy? And my second question is on the inner Korean military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the inner Korean comprehensive military agreement. It has fired around. You call One thousand armed militia for the inner Korean maritime battle zone. Do you think the inner Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective? And, and reducing do you believe tensions the between the two Korea, do you still support the do you, do you support inner Korean military Thank tension you. reduction agreement, or should we abandon the deal? Thanks, Phil. Uh, on uh, on the first question, in terms of whether or not uh, on, a, on the second uh, question, we need to I adjust uh, our strategy. Uh, yes, I do think it's uh, say first it's effective. That, uh, uh, you've heard me say this a number uh, of times. Would, uh, that we, you know, our commitment to uh, comment from my, defending my colleague the ROK is to we as well. Uh, in we terms of the effectiveness uh, of the, our deterrence, the, DR, yes, the DPRK is uh, irresponsible. I would point out uh, to you that uh, activities we have recently, we, we said uh, before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing back to, to the region, uh, potential conducting. So a we call on them to, uh, to that cease are focused that, on that type uh, of activity uh, and to begin to increasing engage our in readiness and dialogue. our ability to be able to fight on the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians right now can, we have uh, one of the largest exercises that we've seen take, in uh, um, in recent the remaining history. territory uh, on the west side of over the over 240 the, aircraft the Dnieper River but, uh, in, uh, they're in, uh, a part in of that Kyrgyzstan. exercise I and certainly doing, believe uh, that they have a the number of high-end types most of, uh, importantly uh, training events conducting a number of high-end types of training events and all We've of seen them engage in a very methodical but effective. We, uh, we have the ability uh, effort to, to defend uh, the to peninsula, take back uh, their sovereign if, territory if called to do so. I think you'll see. And them so I think uh, I think this increased focus uh, on the uh, this uh, uh, you know, territory, our ability to uh, on the west side uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with fifth generation fighters recently. You've also seen us. Uh, move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently, and, uh, and I think that's, uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. But it could be that, uh, 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 you know, your, our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So, yes, I do think we've been, uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. On the Korean Peninsula, I'd like to say that there is no change in our denuclearization policy, and that for now we do not have a we are currently not thinking to redeploy attack on the Peninsula. Thank you. What, what kind of behaviors would we? Behaviors do the U.S. and South Korea Seek to deter. Um, it, expect I to deter. Two questions for the Secretary. Austin. What is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea um, are um, trying to bring about? Of the US well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, um, has so far you know, anyone uh, make a decision um, to employ a nuclear, nuclear device. And uh, has and lately, to as you've seen, um, with tactical, North Koreans have, uh, have engaged in activity uh, such as an inter, uh, that the current testing an intercontinental ballistic missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into, uh, in, into the ocean. Uh, and, and so all of this activity is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, you know, I think, uh, it I think it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly um, we are focused on making Korean sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack uh, uh, do you still support the do you, do you support the Inter-Korean Military Tension Reduction Agreement, or should we abandon the deal? Secretary, sir, the minister said just a moment ago, that you pledge to effectively respond to any on the, on the second question, I certainly, uh, yes, I do think it's uh, it's effective, and it certainly uh, would uh, invite uh, comment from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, 
Uh, you've seen us. We uh, have recently, recently uh, uh, re redeploy fifth generation gone back uh, to uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen a us, number uh, of exercises uh, that are focused on. Uh, exercise our strategic uh, increasing assets, our readiness uh, from time to and time. our ability to and, be and able and to again, fight tonight. As a matter of uh, fact, we, to answer your question, right now, we, don't we have, have one of the uh, largest exercises that we've seen uh, in, uh, change in recent history. Permanent, uh, uh, there are some uh, or 200 position air stationing of uh, that uh, their uh, assets uh, on part the of uh, peninsula currently, and they're uh, doing uh, uh, you know, what a we're doing together. Types of not only training on a bilateral basis, but also with our and all of that is designed to ensure that. That we in each and every case will assess uh, uh, to defend uh, the peninsula, you know, what's going uh, on, if, and we'll call uh, to we'll, do so. We'll work so together to ensure that this we increase focus uh, on providing the right kind of this, uh, you know, our ability message. to. So uh, to answer your question, question or deploy uh, no new deployment of a strategic asset, as you've seen us on a permanent basis here but with you'll uh, see fifth generation fighters uh, recently uh, on, on a routine basis. You've also seen us. Uh, uh, move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently, and uh, and I think that uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. But it could be that, uh, that uh, uh, you know our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been affected, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. Uh, what, what kind of behaviors would we uh, expect to deter? What is the bizarre behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring up? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, you know, anyone uh, make a decision to employ a nuclear device. They are ready to uh, lately, conduct uh, nuclear seen, tests at that area. Um, but when they will carry out the uh, nuclear North tests North Koreans have, is currently uh, still a curiosity have engaged as, in activity uh, uh, such as to take into account an the political uh, purpose and uh, to exactly testing an intercontinental ballistic tests missile, tests missile a number of short-range ballistic missiles, and to missiles, the question about uh, Chinese uh, firing artillery uh, into, uh, into the ocean. If we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had uh, in North Korea in the past, all of this activity is potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, North Korea Still, you know, uh, carried out the I think anyway. uh, so, I think uh, it's difficult to say that China it's possible has that they could continue to, to do that kind in, of thing, uh, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack uh, uh, South Korea. A question for each of you, Secretary, and, uh, sir. The minister I think my question is similar to what you pledged to effectively in respond in the DPRK publication by the U.S. Uh, even when South Korea and the United States are talking about extended the terms of the uh, CM at this point, point uh, not go far enough to shut out the Korean shells and the ocean. Is this a change so, uh, in U.S. posture? Even when the U.S. has run away from North Korea and South Korea, still is imminent and is China playing a constructive role in preventing them from carrying out the process? When it comes to North Korea's. You've seen us recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of uh, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula currently uh, but uh, what we're doing together uh, not only to, uh, bil on, a, on a bilateral basis but also with our our uh, allies in Japan uh, in each and every case we'll assess uh, what the uh, you know, uh, to your what's question, going on, yes, and we'll, uh, we'll, believe, uh, we'll work together to ensure that we are uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent uh, message. You know, one of so, the things to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of a strategic asset on a permanent basis, uh, together, but you'll see assets uh, moving and out and, and uh, on, on a routine basis. Uh, and our ability to train uh, our troops uh, to a, a high level of, uh, of uh, uh, capability and also maintain uh, a, a combat credible uh, force uh, uh, in, in the region. Uh, and uh, and uh, you, most recently, you've seen us focus on that in a major way again. I point to the major uh, exercise that we have ongoing. Uh, I, you, know, you, you mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration uh, of uh, commitment and, and, uh, and combat, uh, combat capability. Again, 
Uh, we are focused on making sure that uh, uh, nobody attacks uh, South, South Korea, Korea. and uh, we're uh, committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. We're also committed to deterring uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. And yes, so I do to, believe uh, uh, we've been effective in that, and we'll continue to work North Korea to make sure for that we're I can, uh, I can working state together, statement that, building um, increasing uh, the third underground facility in uh, North and, uh, Korea. They are ready to conduct uh, to, uh, nuclear to, to tests at that area. But when they will carry out the uh, nuclear test is currently uh, still a curiosity, as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and uh, to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficult for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. Uh, and I also so, uh, believe it's difficult to say that China has a decisive uh, effect uh, either, in, um, uh, in against, choosing uh, North Korea's uh, will. Uh, in the peninsula or against our homeland here in the, in the U.S.? Yes, I do believe that. Uh, so the question was regarding the development of OPLAN and how uh, the endorsed SPD and SPG from security consultative meeting last year um, and, and how the OPLAN is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about how the uh, process was going and when the OPLAN was going to be completed. And um, as for OPLAN to provide my answer, to provide my answer uh, when you're developing the OPLAN, yes, uh, it's not a one and done uh, deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop. Given the um, taking into account the environment uh, of the know, situation, so the it's difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that uh, we are in the process uh, of developing and, uh, the OPLAN. We are seeking to expedite uh, the uh, upgrade. To train, uh, However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information uh, that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation uh, due to uh, military confidentiality. Uh, so I will keep my answer to one final uh, credible force uh, note uh, here, uh, again, in, in terms region. of our deterrent uh, in uh, the types of things. Most that recently, deterred. you've seen us focus on that point in a major out that, way. Again, uh, we're committed to the deterring major exercise that we uh, have that type of activity uh, uh, against you know, any you other the carrier. Allies, that is a serious demonstration. Of we remain committed to maintaining and, uh, and combat uh, a free and combat open Indo Pacific region. Again, so, uh, Thank you very much. We are focused on making sure that uh, nobody attacks uh, South Korea, and uh, we're committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. Thank you. We're also committed to deterring uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. And increasing our ability to, uh, to, to work together. So. Criticism of I don't, it, you know, it, I, I believe that uh, they are deterred from attacking North Korea, uh, South Korea, excuse me. Uh, and I also believe they are deterred from employing a nuclear device, uh, either uh, against uh, in, uh, in the peninsula or against our own.
발전시키는 그런 노력을 하고 있다는 점을 말씀드리고 어, 이 작게 부분은 사실 구체적으로 설명드리기가 제한된 부분이 있습니다. 그래서 대한 더 구체적인 답변을 하지 않도록 how the Oakland is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question was about how the uh, process weekend. was going and when the Oakland was Our going to be completed. To the and um, all the as for Oakland to provide, my answer, to provide my answer, when you're developing the Oakland, the it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue Americans. to develop given the, um, take into account the environment the of the situation. Of so it's this difficult time to say uh, when morning. it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say now, is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the Oakland, we are seeking to expedite to the uh, upgrade. Period. However, uh, as for uh, the With specifics the of the information that I can have, there's a limitation to due to military confidentiality, so uh, I will keep my answer to this. Night. And as well One as final, uh, additional uh, missile note launches here, today. again, in terms of our deterrent I efforts and the with types of things that we've deter. decided to I would point out that uh, we're committed to storm, deterring uh, that type of activity uh, schedule uh, combined training any of our allies or partners in the, in the to region. Further bolster we remain our committed to and maintaining a, a free and open and Indo-Pacific region. We'll continue region. to work closely so, together to develop much. options to protect the United States and our allies in the region. Condolences for the terrible tragedy. Now, let me turn to the work of this uh, past weekend. The security Our cards go out to the families of all the victims from across you know, South Korea. As you know, it's the annual capstone event for and around uh, the world, US rock including alliance. two young Americans. And it brings our defense leaders and we together, stand together to with the people of South Korea during this time of national mourning, and to deepen our cooperation now, and friendship. It's highly unfortunate that Next the DPRK year we'll the has chosen to interrupt of the signing period of the U.S. with the illegal and mutual destabilizing launch of an intercontinental and the establishment of a ballistic alliance. missile last night. For nearly well seven decades, additional this missile alliance has been today. an anchor of peace and security. I've consulted with Mr. Lee, and we've decided to the broader extend Indo-Pacific. vigilant storm. And Which today, is our long uh, schedule combined the training is a tremendously capable ally to further bolster our readiness and provider and of security in the region. And we'll continue to work closely together to space international order to protect the United States secure. and our allies in the region. Now, Minister Lee and I had a, now, an outstanding discussion. Let me today. turn to the work of. Uh, we talked about the DPRK's the continued provocations me. and destabilizing actions. As you know, it's the annual capstone event for the and at this US time of heightened tension. Rock alliance. Our alliance is iron And it brings climate. our defense leaders together to discuss the shared States challenges remain fully and committed to the defense of the ROK and to deepen our cooperation our and deterrence. And commitment is firm. Next year, we'll and mark the 70th full anniversary of, our of the signing and conventional of the U.S. and missile Rock defense mutual defense treaty. And the establishment. Mr. Lee of our and I alliance. also talked about the tremendous progress that we've made in seven recent decades months. to this deepen our, has been an anchor our cooperation of and, and security on the Korean Peninsula security. and across. Just the within the past year, we have conducted a very successful summit today between our presidents the that charted is a tremendously capable ally. Our alliance's future and a provider of security in the in region. In July, we deployed. And a defender a of the rules space international to the Republic of Korea. That keeps us all secure. And in late September, now Minister the USS and I had Reagan an conducted his first discussion court call today. to the ROK. We talked about the DPRK's years. continued provocations On and the peninsula, we're returning actions. to large scale exercises. To and strengthen at this time, our combined readiness and our ability to fight our alliance is iron if necessary. The United States we're committed to building on, to on, the on these of efforts the to strengthen integrated deterrence, extended deterrence, and to ensure that firm. this alliance continues to bolster and security and a full range of our nuclear on the Korean Peninsula and, and throughout the Indo-Pacific and missile defense capabilities. You know, for decades, Mr. Lee and US I also talked about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months side to deepen by side our to defend our the cooperation and bolster freedom. our shared security. This alliance is founded Just on within that the shared past year, we sacrifice. have conducted a very successful summit. So we will confront the challenges of the president the same way that we have for nearly for 70 years. Our alliance's future by standing shoulder to shoulder. In July, we deployed allies. 
uh, fifth generation I'm fighters to the Republic proud of, Korea. of what we've accomplished together, and I'm very grateful. And in late September, for the Republic of Korea, the USS Ronald Reagan conducted its first so thank port you. Call and let me turn it over to Minister to the Lee for his in five years. On the peninsula, we're returning Hello, to large-scale exercises to strengthen our combined all, readiness and our ability to fight tonight, if necessary. Thank you very much for your sincere we're committed condolences to, on, to the on, tragedy on these that efforts happened to strengthen integrated deterrence also, and to ensure that this alliance continues to bolster the security and, the and stability peninsula on the and Korean development Peninsula of and throughout the Indo-Pacific. And your support. Thank you very much for that. You know, for decades, Today, the U.S. The and ROK service members have fought meeting, hosted for the first time side by the side to defend the, the ideals of freedom. We once again affirm the robustness of the Iraqi U.S. military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. So we will confront the Furthermore, challenges of the future the same we way that we have for nearly 70 Iraq years. The U.S. alliance is developing into by a global comprehensive to strategic shoulder, alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human I'm rights, enormously and the proud rule of, of law. We've accomplished together, and I'm very grateful. Secretary Austin for the of and I Korea's held two ministerial meetings this year so to work on the details of the agreement. Lee for his comments. On defense areas, as agreed upon during the May Rock U.S. Presidential Hello, Summit. Rock Minister of Defense. Today was my third time to meet First Secretary all, Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th season. Thank you very much for your sincere First, condolences to the Secretary Austin, and I assess the daily advances of DPRK nuclear also, and missile threats as a grave security challenge for the to the peace and, and stability, Peninsula, not only on the Korean Peninsula and, and, and of in the Northeast Asia, but for the international Thank community. You very much for that. And in order to practically deter and respond Today, to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and for the first time since the inauguration of the UN administration, we once again affirm the robust committed to the, the provision of extended deterrence to the, the Republic of Korea, of the leveraging the full posture. range of military capabilities, Furthermore, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile Rock defense US capabilities, but also advanced to non nuclear capabilities, capabilities such, such as space, based on shared cyber, values, such and as electoral democracy, human rights and the rule of law. Secretary Austin and I affirm Secretary that any Austin nuclear attack and I by the DPRK, two including the use of technical nuclear work weapons, on the is unacceptable and result in the end of defense Kim areas regime as agreed upon during the May and decisive response of the alliance. Summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th This season. is a strong warning against the First, DPRK. Secretary Austin also, and I assess the daily Secretary advances Austin and of DPRK the nuclear strength and, and missile alliance as a great security and challenge in respect to the peace and stability not only on the consultation process, in the joint planning Asia, and execution the international to effectively monitor and respond and to the in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios Secretary by the DPRK. Austin, committed to the provision to of extended deterrence to Secretary the Republic and I noted of Korea, progress in the full revising range of military capabilities, deterrence strategy, not only nuclear TDS, conventional forces, and but missile defense, defense capabilities, the but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, and cyber, response options and electromagnetic conducting capabilities. deterrence strategy committee tabletop exercise. Secretary Austin and I affirm or that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including DPRK the use of technical nuclear, nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end in of addition, Kim Jong-un regime Secretary by the Austin overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. DPRK provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the this frequency is a and strong warning strategic against assets deployment DPRK. in and around the Korean Peninsula. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in Along respective areas including alliance, information sharing and consultation process, joint planning Secretary and execution Austin and I to effectively to deter and respond to the DPRK to choose advancing nuclearization and the path for a brighter future. We also in pledge particular, to continue Secretary our cooperation and I will to work on response options for all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. In this context, to this end, Secretary Austin assessed Secretary that the Rock noted that audacious progress in revising the tailored and turn strategy or TDS and pledged Rock to put government's to audacious complete the revision of the along TDS the same line as the U.S. approach SCM to the DPRK and prepare response and options by annually conducting threats based on strategy and combined defense capability and posture while in parallel seeking for TTX diplomatic solution by keeping the window of dialogue open. Use. In addition, 
Secretary Austin pledged to effectively As respond stated, to any countries will adhere to the principle of DPRK U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent until the day deployment. DPRK decides the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment. And the ROC Ministry of the National Korean Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. During the meeting, there were Along earnest the efforts of the alliance to deter and the respond to the, the U.S. and, and our partners for the Secretary promotion Austin of regional and security and a measure to bolster DPRK to choose denuclearization and the path for a brighter future. In order to future. respond to DPRK, DPRK nuclear, nuclear and missile threats, cooperation, Secretary and I affirm the continuously advance the ROC U.S. Japan security cooperation for context, which we agreed to activate Secretary trilateral Austin senior level that policy the ROC government's audacious information sharing is a practical approach and personnel exchanges for it. And Secretary and I ROC government's audacious to resume is along the same year, line as the U.S. approach to the DPRK, an approach of entering trilateral talks or DTT, based on overwhelming combined which has been suspended in posture, while in parallel, and I also shared the strong by sentiment keeping on the window of dialogue of the rules-based international order, and pledged to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in the in the Pacific region. As stated, both countries will in adhere to the principle DPRK of DPRK policy much interest close in cooperation the until the day DPRK framework. decides to which is the ROC government is currently developing. And the ROC Ministry the of National of Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the international community will more closely cooperate During the meeting, with the United there States. There are earnest discussions the only and ally cooperation between, between the ROC and the in order to overcome and our global security for the promotion of regional security and on measures of bolstering multilateral cooperation. In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, next year Secretary marks the 70th anniversary of the ROC U.S. Japan security cooperation for which we have reached strategic alliance. Trilateral Secretary senior Austin level and I concur to plan and hold various training, training events and celebration of the 70th anniversary of the ROC U.S. Japan security cooperation for which we have reached strategic alliance. Secretary and I also pledge to resume early in the year. The ASEAN level policy conference body called Defense Trilateral Talks by the ROC and U.S. Service members, which has been suspended for the past year, and to consult on the challenges facing the ROC and U.S. Service members, which has been suspended for the past year, and to consult on the challenges facing the ROC and U.S. Service members, which has been suspended for the past year, and to consult on the challenges facing the ROC and U.S. Service members, which has been suspended and, and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the rules based international order the path forward and for ROC to closely cooperate alliance. for the peace and stability in the in the Pacific by region. reaffirming the unwavering U.S. In defense commitment to Secretary the Republic of Austin Korea, expressed much effort to strengthen the, the capabilities to Im implement the framework, framework as which well is the ROC government's combined defense posture based on the, the Republic of Korea as a responsible global nation state of the international community will more closely cooperate with the United States that we have demonstrated the of our nation of Iraq, in order to overcome to global of both nations challenges. and a grave message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance to the international community. Next year, Lastly, marks the 70th anniversary again of the ROC my U.S. Alliance gratitude while pursuing the goal of global and comprehensive the Department of Defense for their Secretary warm Secretary Austin and I concur to the ROC plan and hold very, very much. joint events in celebration Secretary of the 70th Austin, anniversary Lee, thank for you, future advancement Ladies of the and Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive translation for the question and answer portion, so I would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. Our first question will come from Reuters Phil Stewart. And to consult on the challenges which Alliance faces today. Secretary Austin, do you repeat it and Increasingly regular to North Korean missile the tests show the U.S. For ROC -US ROK alliance. alliance needs to adjust its deterrent strategy. Uh, By reaffirming the your unwavering U.S. defense commitment will be able to the Republic of Korea, Korea efforts to strengthen and, and the, the Russian forces are preparing to, to leave. implement the extended uh, deterrence, as well Lee, as a robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of our observations through the 54th ASEAN. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the ROC plan and hold very much. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the ROC plan and hold very much. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the ROC plan and hold very much. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the ROC plan and hold very much. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the ROC plan and hold very much. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the ROC plan and hold very much. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the ROC plan and hold very much. Secretary Austin and I also share the strong sentiment on the Lastly, uh, I once again to extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at uh, the Department of Defense for their times, warm hospitality towards we, myself and the ROC delegation. To thank you very much. Defending the ROK Secretary is ironclad. Uh, we strongly condemn the DPRK's irresponsible and reckless activities. As we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, potentially. So we call on them to uh, to cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can take the remaining territory on the west side of the, of the, uh, the Dnieper River in, uh, in 
uh, in Kyrgyzstan. Sort of shift from the I certainly USA believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, do you believe the USDs consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank We've you. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective, uh, thanks, Phil, uh, uh, on effort uh, to, on the first uh, question to in take terms back of their sovereign not, territory. Uh, I think uh, you'll see them to continue to press strategy uh, until they secure to the, first uh, the territory. That, uh, you've heard me say this on the west times. side of the of the river. That we, so you know, our commitment question, to I do think they have the defending the ROK is ironclad. Uh, we strongly <laughs> condemn. Uh, the, DR, the DPRK's uh, irresponsible uh, and reckless uh, activities. As we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, potentially. So we call on them to, uh, to cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, uh, take uh, the remaining territory on the west side of the of the uh, now, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan. I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, My first question effort is, to, uh, um, to take back their sovereign the territory. territory. I think you'll see them continue um, to press uh, until they secure the, uh, the, the territory on the, on the west side of the, of the river. So to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. Clearly, North Korea has continued favorable playing and provocations. But do you still think that the current expanded deterrence arrangement has been effective in deterring North Korea? And what kind of North Korean behavior do the U.S. and South Korea seek to deter? And my second question is on the inter Korean military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the inter Korean comprehensive military agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells through the inter Korean maritime buffer zone. Do you think the inter Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea and North Korea? And do you still support the inter Korean military agreement? Do you still support the inter Korean military agreement? Do you still support the inter Korean military agreement? Do you still support the in, do you, do you support inter Korean military tension reduction agreement or should we abandon the deal? Um, I have two questions for the on, a, on the second question, I certainly, question is, uh, um, yes, I do think it's, uh, it's effective and it certainly uh, um, would uh, so invite uh, comment from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, we have recently uh, gone back to uh, conducting a number of exercises that are focused on uh, uh, Increasing our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have one the of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there's some over 240 aircraft that uh, are part of that exercise, and they're doing uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure that, that we, we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula. Uh, if, if on, a, on the second so. question, and so I think uh, I think this increased focus yes, on readiness, think it's, uh, uh, it's this, uh, you know, our ability to uh, uh, redeploy uh, or deploy strategic assets uh, to the peninsula, as you've seen a colleague here, here with uh, fifth Lee generation well. fighters recently. In terms of the uh, effectiveness of the, uh, our deterrence, uh, yes, I do uh, think we've been effective. Move a carrier I point into, uh, to into you port that, uh, there uh, recently. We have recently. That sends a pretty strong signal as well. Gone by it to could be that uh, conducting that, a number uh, of exercises that are focused on you know uh, our neighbors uh, in the north there may be concerned about our, our readiness, our increased our ability to be able so to yes, fight I tonight. Do think As a matter of fact, been, uh, we've been effective right now, and we will been continue one of the to look at this and ensure that we we've seen effective. in uh, in recent history. Uh, there are some over 240 aircraft that uh, they're uh, a part of that exercise, and they're doing uh, you know, a what number kind of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure that that we we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula. Uh, if well, certainly we don't do so. want to see, and so uh, I think uh, I think this increased you know, focus on readiness uh, make a decision uh, this, uh, to employ our ability to redeploy. 
or like deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, uh, as you've seen us do here with uh, North Korean generation have, fighters uh, recently. have engaged uh, in you've activity, also seen us, uh, uh, such as uh, an inter. Uh, Move a carrier into a continental ballistic air, missile, uh, recently, remember, short and, uh, range ballistic and I think missiles, uh, that sends a pretty strong uh, firing artillery as well. uh, into uh, it could be in, that, into the ocean. Uh, that, uh, and, and so uh, all of this uh, activity you know, is our uh, neighbors in the north there may be concerned so, about our, you know, again, our increased focus on you know, readiness. So, yes, I, think, I do uh, think we've been, think uh, we've been effective. It's possible that they can continue to look at this and ensure that we remain thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack uh, uh, South Korea. What, what kind of behaviors would we? Behaviors do the U.S. and South Korea Secretary, Secretary, sir, to deter? The minister said just a moment ago. Expect to deter. To effectively respond to any DPRK what is the bizarre behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see what strategic you know, assets anyone to deploy uh, make a decision to employ is, is a, a nuclear device in the region? Uh, and, and lately and Minister, sir, as you've seen you north korean uh, nuclear test is imminent and is china playing a north koreans have uh, preventing them have engaged in activity uh, such as uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re Redeploy a fifth generation ballistic uh, missile, uh, a number of short range ballistic aircraft missiles uh, you've seen us uh, uh, firing artillery uh, uh, into uh, in, exercise ocean, our strategic uh, uh, assets and, and so from time to time. All of this are, uh, and, and again, is, uh, we, uh, potentially to answer your question, we don't have, so, uh, you know, again, a plan you know, to I think, uh, uh, change I think permanent it's possible uh, that they could continue to, uh, to our permanent do that kind of thing, or stationing but of, certainly uh, we are focused on making sure on the, uh, on the that they don't currently. choose to employ uh, a nuclear weapon or uh, what we're doing uh, together to attack, not only on a bilateral basis, but also with our allies in Japan. Uh, in each and every case, sir, we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, you what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work US together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. Nuclear test is imminent, and is China playing a constructive role in preventing them from carrying out such a test? Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent, uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of uh, of assets on the, uh, on the peninsula currently, uh, but uh, what we're doing together, uh, not only to, uh, bil on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan, uh, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out on a routine basis. North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and uh, to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out a nuclear test, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North Korea's will. I think my question is similar to what you were to the main CNN and, and my colleague, but uh, even so when South Korea denies these are talking about uh, extended discussions whether North Korea uh, is ready for a nuclear test, point, uh, I can, uh, uh, I can state the statement that um, as for the third underground facility so, uh, in North Korea, and, and they are ready to uh, conduct uh, the nuclear uh, test at that area. But when they will carry out the nuclear test, there is currently a curiosity as North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about Chinese effect 
and influence on North Korea. If we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out a nuclear test, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a um, decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North Korea's will. I think my question is similar to uh, to answer your I mean, question, CNN yes, uh, and my I believe but, uh, uh, our even when South Korea are talking about and extended deterrence at the uh, uh, SCM yeah. at this one point, one of the things uh, that sends a strong deterrent message is our ability, our ability to work so, uh, uh, and together even when the US, uh, uh, and, uh, and to be interoperable in our ability to train uh, so our troops the question is if the deterrence of uh, works when it comes to level, North Korea's uh, of, uh, conventional forms of, of uh, capability and also maintain so, so uh, there's still a, concern a whether or not the deterrence uh, of their lines uh, really uh, working in, fine. In uh, and uh, and you, issue, most uh, recently, you've seen us focus uh, on that in a major way. Again, I point to any, um, major exercise that we have ongoing. Uh, I, and, and, you, know, uh, you, you mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration of uh, commitment and, and, uh, and combat, uh, combat capability. Again, uh, we are focused on making sure that uh, nobody attacks uh, South Korea. And uh, we're committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. We're also committed to deterring uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. And yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective uh, in that. And we'll continue question. to work yes, uh, to I make sure that, that our we're activities working together, are effective building and increasing uh, capability. Uh, you know, uh, and one of the uh, things that sends increasing a strong our ability to, uh, to message to is our ability to work uh, together uh, and, uh, and to be interoperable. Uh, and our ability to train uh, our troops uh, to a, a high level of uh, criticism of, of uh, capability and also maintain uh, a, a combat credible force uh, uh, in, in the I region. It, you know, and, uh, and I, I believe most that recently uh, you've seen us focus on that in a major way again. Uh, uh, South Korea, excuse me. Major exercise. Uh, and I also believe they are deterred uh, from employing a nuclear you know, device. You, you mentioned the carrier. Uh, either that is a serious uh, demonstration against, uh, of uh, the commitment in, in the peninsula and, uh, or against combat, our homeland uh, here in, uh, in the U.S. Again, I guess I do believe that. Uh, we are focused on making sure that. Uh, Nobody attacks uh, South Korea, and uh, we're committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. We're also committed to deterring uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. And yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective in that, and we'll continue to work to make sure that we're working together, building increasing uh, capability, uh, and, uh, and increasing our ability to uh, conduct the war together. 보안 발전시켜 나가는 uh, 과정이기 때문에 uh, 단정적으로 uh, 언제까지 uh, 완료한다라고 uh, 말씀드리기는 uh, 좀 제한되고 uh, 다만 uh, 어, 가속화해서 uh, 최신화시키는 uh, 그런 노력을 uh, 하고 있다는 점 uh, 말씀드리고 uh, 어, 이 작게 부분은 사실 구체적으로 uh, 설명드리가 제한되는 uh, 부분이 I, I don't. It... You know, it, I, I believe that uh, they are deterred from attacking North Korea, uh, South Korea, excuse me. Uh, and I also believe they are deterred from employing a nuclear device, uh, either uh, against uh, uh, the uh, in the peninsula or against our homeland here in, in the U.S. And how the OPAN is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about how the uh, process was going and when the OPAN was going to be completed. And um, as for OPAN to provide my answer, Sir, when you're developing the old plan, it's not a one-and-done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop, given the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly be completed. However, what I can say is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to expedite the uh, upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so I will keep my answer to this. And one final uh, uh, note here, again, in terms of our deterrent efforts and the types of things that we're deterred, I would point out that uh, we're committed to deterring uh, that type of activity uh, against 
any of our allies or partners in the, in the region. So the we remain committed to maintaining a, a, a free and open um, Indo-Pacific region. So SPD and SPG from Security Consultative Meeting Council last year um, and, and how the O-Plan is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about how the uh, process was going and when the O-Plan was going to be completed. And um, as the O-Plan was going difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to expedite the uh, upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so I will keep my answer to this. One final uh, uh, note here, again, in terms of our deterrent efforts and the types of things that we're Continue to work closely together to, to develop options for the terrible tragedy to protect the United that States and our Seoul allies this in the past region. weekend. Our hearts now, go out to the families of all the victims the from across of, uh, South Korea. The security the consultative world. meeting, including two young As Americans. As you know, it's the annual capstone event for the. And we stand US together with the people Rock of South Alliance. Korea during this time of national mourning, and it brings our defense leaders together to discuss now, shared challenges and opportunities. It's highly unfortunate that the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn friendship. period. With the illegal next year, and we'll mark the 70th anniversary of the signing continental of the U.S. Uh, ballistic missile Rock Mutual Defense Treaty, as well as in the establishment missile launches of our today. Alliance. I've consulted with Minister seven Lee, decades, and we've decided this to alliance has been an anchor extend of peace and security storm. on the Korean Peninsula, which is our long schedule the broader combined training exercise. And today, to further bolster our readiness and interoperability, the ROK is a tremendously and capable we'll continue ally. to work closely together to develop a options provider of security in the region, to protect the United States and our allies, and a defender in the of the rules-based international order. Now, that keeps us all. Let me secure. turn to the work of. Uh, now, Minister Lee and I had an outstanding me. discussion today. As you know, it's the we annual talked about the DPRK's for the continued US provocations and Alliance. destabilizing actions. And it brings our defense leaders and together time to of heightened discuss tension, shared challenges and opportunities. Our alliance is ironclad. And to deepen our cooperation, the United States friendship. remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. Okay. Next year, we'll mark the 70th anniversary of the signing. Commitment of the firm. U.S. Rock and mutual includes defense defense the full treaty. range of our nuclear and the establishment and conventional of our alliance and missile defense capabilities. For nearly seven decades, this alliance has and been an also anchor talked of about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months and to deepen our secure broader cooperation and bolster our shared security. And today, just within the, the past year, year is a we tremendously have conducted a very successful ally. summit between and a provider our of presidents security that charted and a shared vision for. And a defender of the rules-based international order. In July, we secure. deployed a fifth-generation well, fighters Lee to and the Republic I had of Korea. An outstanding discussion today. And in late September, we talked about the, the DPRK's continued provocations and destabilizing actions to the ROK in five years. 
And at this time of heightened tension, on the peninsula, we're returning to large scale exercises. Ironclad. To strengthen our combined readiness, the United States and remains fully to committed to the defense of the ROK. If necessary. And our extended deterrence we're committed to building on, on, on these efforts to strengthen and includes a full range of our nuclear and to ensure and that this alliance continues to bolster defense defense security and stability on the Korean Peninsula. Mr. And, Lee and I the also Pacific. talked about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months. You know, for decades, to deepen our U.S. our cooperation and, and bolster our, okay service our members shared have security. Fought side by side to just within the, the past year we have conducted a very successful summit this alliance between is founded our on presidents that, that charted a shared sacrifice. vision for our alliance so we will future. confront the challenges of the future the same way In that July, we have for nearly we 70 years uh, fifth generation by fighters to the shoulder Republic to shoulder of Korea as proud allies and in late September I'm in the USS Ronald Reagan, Reagan conducted his first together and I'm very grateful to the ROK the and five years partnership so On thank the peninsula, you, we're we returning to, to large-scale exercises to strengthen our combined readiness and our ability to fight Hello, tonight I'm Rock Minister if of Defense. necessary. First of all, we're committed to building on, on, on these efforts to strengthen thank integrated you very deterrence much for your sincere and to ensure to that this alliance continues to bolster security and stability also, on the Korean Peninsula and throughout the Indo-Pacific. Thank you for your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula. Peninsula and you know, development decades, of the U.S. alliance US and your support. And Thank you very much for that. service members have fought side by Today, side to defend the ideals the of freedom. The 54th Security Consultative Meeting hosted for the first this time since the inauguration of the UN administration. Sacrifice. We once again affirm the robustness so of the Iraqi military the alliance the and the steadfastness of years. the combined defense posture. By Furthermore, shoulder to shoulder, we affirm that Rock US alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. So thank you, and let me turn it over to Secretary Minister Lee Austin for his comments. Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the Hello, agreement I'm Rock Minister of defense. on defense areas as agreed First upon all, during the May Rock U.S. Presidential Summit. Today was thank my third time to meet Secretary Austin, your and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th SCM. First, also, Secretary Austin and I assessed the, the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a grave US security alliance. challenge and your to the peace and stability, not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, but for the, the international community. And in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance we capabilities again and the robustness posture. of the Iraq U.S. military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined posture. committed to the provision of extended deterrence Reaffirm the Republic of Korea Iraq, leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, democracy, but also advanced human rights and the rule such of as law. space, cyber, and electromagnetic Secretary Austin capabilities. And I held two ministerial meetings this year Secretary to work Austin on the details and I also of the agreement that any nuclear attack by the on DPRK, defense areas, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, Iraq is unacceptable and result in the end of today Kim was my third time to meet overwhelming and decisive response of during this 54th SCM. First, Secretary Austin and I assessed the daily advance strong warning of DPRK against nuclear and missile threats as a grave security also, challenge to the Secretary peace and stability, and not only on the Korean Peninsula and alliance's in capability Asia, and posture, but in with respect to areas community. including information and in sharing, order to consultation process, and response to joint planning threats, and execution we agree to, to further strengthen the alliance capabilities the and posture. advancing nuclear and missile threats. In particular, Secretary, Austin, Secretary and I will work on provision of extended deterrence to the nuclear Republic use scenario by the leveraging DPRK. the full range of military capabilities, this end, including not only nuclear Secretary and conventional and I forces, noted but that missile progress in revising the tailored non-nuclear strategy or TDS space and cyber to put up and electromagnetic the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM. And Secretary Austin and I affirm that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong-un regime DPRK by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. In addition, 
Secretary Austin pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing this is a strong warning against the level DPRK. equivalent to constant deployment. Also, the Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliances' capability and posture in respective areas, including information sharing, consultation process, joint planning, and execution Along to effectively the deter and respond to the DPRK advancing nuclear and missile Secretary Austin and I pledge to encourage in particular, DPRK Secretary and I will work on responsibility in the past for all brighter possible future. nuclear use scenarios to by the continue our cooperation to achieve a complete to this end, denuclearization of Secretary North Korea. and I noted that progress in, in revising context, the tailored the turn strategy or TDS the rock government pledge to put up initiative to as a the revision of the TDS by the and its 2023 SCM and prepare response rock government by annual initiatives along the same line as the U.S. approach to the DPRK, an approach of deterring DSC TTX based on overwhelming combined defense capability and posture, while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic solution by keeping the window of dialogue open. to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level as stated, to both countries will adhere to the principle of DPRK and policy strategic through close cooperation in and around until the day the Korean DPRK peninsula. decides to denuclearize. And the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Along Department the of Defense of the will back to deter and respond to DPRK nuclear threats. During the meeting, there are and earnest I discussions to in cooperation between the ROC and the and U.S. and our partners and the promotion of regional security and on measures that all continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization in order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats. In this context, Secretary and I affirm the continuous advance of the ROC government security initiative for which we agree to activate and bilateral senior level policy consultation, rock government audition initiatives along the same line as the U.S. approach to the DPRK, and I, I an approach of deterring to resume early next year, overwhelming the combined ASD defense capability and posture, body called while in parallel seeking for diplomatic TTT, solution by keeping the window of dialogue for open. the past years. Secretary and I also shared a strong sentiment on the importance of the rules-based international order. As stated, order. both countries will adhere to the principles of the stability in, policies in, in the post cooperation region. until the day DPRK in particular, decides Secretary to denuclearize. Much interest in the in the, the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Department of which Defense, the ROC government is currently developing. The Republic the meeting, of Korea is a response to global discussions and cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. and will more closely cooperate with the promotion of regional security. The and only ally of our nation in order to overcome global security challenges. In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirmed to continuously advance the ROC US Japan security cooperation for Next which year, we agreed to mark the 70th anniversary of the ROC US policy alliance consultation, while pursuing the goal information of global sharing, comprehensive training, strategic and personnel exchanges. Secretary Austin and, and I concur to I plan and hold to resume early next year the ASD the anniversary policy consultation for future body advancement of the defense alliance. trilateral talks the event will serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices made in the battlefield and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the rules based to consult on the challenges and which the alliance faces today for the peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. The path forward for ROC in particular, Secretary Austin expressed much interest in by reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense framework, which is the ROC government efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the as a responsible global as well as the robust combined the will more closely cooperate and resolve States, our two nations the only ally of our nation, SCM, in order to overcome Secretary global security Austin and challenges. ISS that we have demonstrated values and trust of the ROC U.S. alliance to the people of both nations and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the Next robustness year, of the alliance the 70th anniversary to the, of the international ROC community while pursuing the goal of global comprehensive Last strategic week, alliance. I once again Secretary extend Austin my sincere and I concur to plan and hold and various joint Department of Defense for the warm Anniversary towards myself and the ROC delegation. Of the alliance. Thank you very much. The event will Secretary serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices and we'll made in the battlefield to by the ROC and U.S. service for members the question and, and answer to consult so on the challenges to which the alliance headsets. faces today uh, first question and will come from Reuters, to Phil envision Stewart. the path forward Thank for you. ROC Secretary U.S. Austin, alliance. Do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean by reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the extended deterrence as well as the robust combined defense and that the Russian forces are preparing to leave. And to, uh, our Minister Lee, you call for a shift in strategy SCM. away uh, from trying Austin to stop North Korea from developing that we nuclear have weapons. Uh, but what would a shift from denuclearization look like? And, and do you believe the 
U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula. To the international community. Lastly, Thanks, Phil. I once again um, extend my yeah, sincere on the first question in terms of whether or not uh, uh, we need to adjust our strategy. I have to say first Thank that, you uh, and you've heard me say this a number Secretary of times, Austin, Minister Lee, that we, you know, our commitment and to we'll be switching defending to the ROK is ironclad. Question and answer portion, uh, so we strongly you condemn the DPRK's irresponsible. Uh, and reckless uh, Austin, activities. And as we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, to potentially. Its deterrent strategy. So we uh, call on them to, uh, to cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage and, and in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can take the remaining territory on the west side of the, of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan, I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. Uh, we've seen the them first engage in a very in terms of water not, uh, but effective. Uh, uh, we need to adjust our strategy. To, uh, to, Take back their sovereign territory, that, uh, and you've heard me I say this a number of times. To press that we uh, until they are secure the, uh, the territory defending the, the ROK on the west side of the, of the river. So uh, uh, we strongly I do condemn think they have the, uh, the, DR, the DPRK's uh, irresponsible uh, and reckless uh, activities. As we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region potentially. So we call on them to uh, to cease that that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, was regarding the redeployment of tactical uh, take of the, United States um, to the remaining our territory on the west side of the, the, of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan, I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, um, to take to back their sovereign territory. I think you'll My see them continue to press is, um, um, uh, until they secure the, the, uh, the territory on the, on the west um, side of the, of the river. So to answer your question, um, I do think they have the and North Korea has threatened to strike targeting South Korean territory with tactical nuclear weapons. Clearly, North Korea has continued cyber wrestling and provocation. But do you still think that the current extended deterrence arrangement has been effective in deterring North Korea? And what kind of North Korean behavior do the U.S. and South Korea seek to deter North Korea? Thank you very much. And my second question is on the anti-Korean military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated anti-Korean comprehensive military agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells to the inner Korean maritime buffer zone. Um, do you think the inner Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the do you do you support the inner Korean military tension reduction agreement, or should we abandon the deal? My first question is on, on the effectiveness of the U.S. On, a, on the a second question, I certainly, uh, 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 yes, I do think it's, uh, it's effective, and it certainly uh, would uh, invite uh, comment from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, we have recently uh, gone back to conducting a number of exercises that are focused on North Korea has repeatedly increasing our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have one of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there's some over 240 aircraft that uh, are uh, part of that exercise, and they're doing a, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. And all of that is designed to ensure that that on the, we, on the we second have question, the ability, I certainly uh, to defend uh, the yes, peninsula. Yes, I do think it's, uh, uh, it's if, effective. If called to do so. 
And so uh, I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness. Invite uh, uh, this, uh, comment from you know, our ability to here, uh, redeploy well. or deploy strategic in terms assets of the effectiveness to the of the, our do. deterrence here with yes, uh, fifth generation fighters recently. I would point out also to you this, that uh, uh, we have uh, recently. Uh, Move a carrier into uh, into gone port back there, to uh, recently, and, uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a, a number of exercises well. that are focused but on. It could be uh, that uh, uh, that increasing uh, our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, neighbors in the north there may be concerned about one of the largest exercises that we've seen. So yes, I do in, think uh, we've been uh, in we've recent been history, and we will continue uh, to look at this over and 240 ensure that we aircraft that they are part of that exercise. And they're doing, uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. What, what kind of and all of that is designed to ensure that, that we, we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula. Uh, if, if called to do so. And so I think, uh, I think this increased focus on readiness. Uh, this well, certainly uh, our ability to see, uh, uh, redeploy you know, or deploy anyone, strategic uh, assets to the peninsula, as you've seen a nuclear device here with uh, fifth generation uh, fighters, lately, as recently. you've seen. Uh, you've also uh, seen us. Uh, uh, North uh, Koreans have uh, moved a have carrier into, uh, into port uh, there, uh, such uh, as recently, an and, uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong testing an intercontinental well. ballistic it missile, could be a number that, of short range uh, ballistic that, missiles, firing artillery into. You know, in, in our neighbors in the north there may be concerned uh, about so our, our increased focus on uh, readiness. So, yes, I do think is, we've been uh, potentially we've been destabilizing. And we will so, continue to look you know, at this and ensure that you know, we remain effective. I think, uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or what, what kind of uh, behaviors would attack we, uh, uh, South Korea. U.S. and South Korea seek to deter? Expect to deter? A what is the region. desired Secretary behavior sir, that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring to along? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, assets, you know, anyone uh, make a decision to employ a nuclear device. Uh, and lately, you as you've seen, is this a change in U.S. posture in the region? North Koreans have, uh, Minister, sir, have engaged in activity uh, such as China an inter a role in preventing them from testing an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile, uh, you've a seen number of short-range uh, ballistic missiles, uh, re uh, re firing artillery fifth generation into, uh, 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 into uh, the fighter ocean, aircraft. Uh, and you've seen this, uh, all of this uh, uh, activity is exercise uh, our strategic uh, so, assets uh, from you know, again, time to time. You know, and, and again, I think, uh, uh, we, I think to answer your question, it's we don't possible have, that they could continue uh, to, to a plan do that to, kind of thing. But uh, certainly, we are focused on making sure uh, that they don't choose uh, to uh, permanent nuclear positioning or stationing of uh, uh, choose to of assets uh, on the uh, uh, on the peninsula currently. So. Uh, but uh, what we're doing together. Uh, not only to, uh, bil on a, on a bilateral basis, but also sir, with our, our uh, allies in Japan. Uh, in, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what the you know, what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent uh, uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of uh, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula currently. Uh, but uh, what we're doing together. Uh, not only to, uh, bil on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan. Uh, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. But when they will carry out the uh, nuclear test is currently uh, still a curiosity as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and uh, to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, China
Chinese effect and influence on North Korea. If we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out a nuclear test, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a decisive uh, effect in, uh, North, in choosing North Korea's will. And uh, I think so my question is similar to the to answer, uh, I mean, asking CNN whether North Korea is ready for a nuclear uh, test. Even when uh, South Korea uh, states are talking that, about um, extended deterrence, as for the third uh, underground facility in North point, Korea, uh, they are ready to conduct a uh, nuclear test at that area. area. But when they will carry so, uh, out the uh, uh, nuclear test US, uh, is currently uh, uh, still a curiosity, as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about Chinese effect and influence on North Korea. If we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out a nuclear test, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a um, decisive uh, effect in, um, in choosing North Korea's will. And uh, I think my question is similar to voters, I mean, the CNN and my colleague, but uh, even when South Korea and the United States are talking uh, about the your question, yes, uh, uh, I believe uh, at this point, uh, our uh, North activities North are affected and, and the uh, the ocean. Uh, you know, So one uh, of the and things that the US, a strong uh, uh, well, message is our ability to work Korea, still uh, uh, together so uh, the question and, is if uh, and the to be interoperable uh, uh, and our North ability uh, to train uh, our troops or low uh, you know. to so a high level of, uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, capability and also so maintain uh, you a, a combat credible uh, force uh, in the region. And most recently you've seen us focus on that in a major way again. I point to the major exercise that we have ongoing. Uh, I, you, know, you, you mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration of uh, commitment and, and, uh, and combat, uh, combat capability. Again, uh, we are focused on making sure that uh, nobody attacks uh, South Korea. And uh, we're committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. We're also committed to deterring uh, to answer uh, anyone question, from using yes, uh, a nuclear I believe, device. Uh, our yes, I do believe uh, we've been are effective in that, and, and deterring. we'll continue to work uh, to make sure that one of the things that sends a strong working together and building increases is our, our ability to work uh, and uh, uh, together and increasing uh, our ability and, to, uh, and to be to interoperable so. uh, and our ability to train uh, our troops uh, to a, a high level of. Uh, of uh, of uh, capability and also maintain uh, a, a combat of force uh, uh, in, in the region. Uh, and uh, and in, most recently, you've seen us focus on that in a major way. Again, I don't. I point to the you know, it, major exercise. I, I believe that, that uh, they are deterred uh, from attacking I, you North Korea. You, you uh, mentioned South the carrier. That is a serious uh, And I also believe of, they uh, are deterred from employing and, a nuclear uh, device. Combat, uh, uh, combat either capability. Uh, against again, uh, 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 we are focused uh, on making sure or that against our homeland uh, here in, uh, in nobody the attacks. Yes, I do uh, believe South Korea. And uh, we're committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. We're also committed to deterring uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. And yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective in that. And we'll continue to work to make sure that we're working together, building increasing uh, capability, uh, and, uh, and increasing our ability to uh, to work together. So, uh, 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 보안 발전시키 나가는 과정이기 때문에 단정적으로 언제까지 완료한다라고 말씀드리는 건 제한되고 다만 어, 가속화해서 최신화시키는 그런 노력을 하고 있다는 점 말씀드리고 이 작게 구체적으로 설명드리기가 제한되는 부분이 있습니다. 그래서 uh, and I also believe they are deterred from employing a nuclear device, uh, either 
uh, against uh, the uh, the uh, in the peninsula or against our homeland how, here in, um, in the U.S. He endorsed yes, SPD and that. SPG from security consultative meeting last year um, and, and how the old plan is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about how the uh, process was going and when the old plan was going to be completed. And um, as for old plan to provide my answer, to provide my answer, when you're developing the old plan, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop, given the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to expedite the uh, upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality. So I will keep my Again, in terms of our deterrent 있습니다. efforts and the types of things that we're deterring, I would point out that uh, we're committed to deterring uh, that so type of activity uh, against plan and any of our allies um, the and partners in the, in the region. We remain SPD committed from to maintaining a, meeting last year, a free and open um, Indo-Pacific region. And how the OPAN so is developing on top much. of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about how the uh, process was going and when the OPAN was going tragedy. to be completed. And um, as for old plan to provide my answer, weekend. to provide my answer, when you're developing the old plan, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop, Korea, given the um, taking into account the, the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to Americans. say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, when we stand together with the people of South that, Korea uh, will, during this time of national In the process of, of developing morning. the old plan, we are seeking to expedite the now, uh, upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the, the information DPRK that I can have false, there's um, a limitation due to our military confidentiality, so I will keep my answer to this. Destabilizing mm -hmm. launch One of final uh, uh, continental uh, note here, uh, again, missile in launch terms launch. of our deterrent efforts and the types well of things that we're deterring, I would point today. out that uh, we're committed to I've deterring with Minister Lee, uh, that type of activity uh, against any of our allies storm, or partners in the Indo region. Is we remain committed to maintaining a, training a free and open Indo Pacific region. So to further bolster our readiness much. and interoperability. Austin, Lee, we will continue to work closely together to develop options to protect you, the United <laughs> States and our allies in the region. Now, let me turn. <laughs> And it brings our defense leaders together to discuss shared challenges and opportunities and to deepen our cooperation and friendship. Next year, we'll mark the 70th anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Iraq Mutual Defense Treaty and the establishment of our alliance. For nearly seven decades, this alliance has been an anchor of peace and security. for our alliance's future. Condolences for the terrible tragedy in July we that occurred in Seoul this past weekend. fifth generation fighters to the Republic of Korea. Our hearts go out to the families of all the victims from across September, South Korea. The USS and Ronald Reagan world, conducted its first port including call to, young Americans. to the ROK in five years. 
And we stand together with the people of South Korea during this time of national exercises to strengthen our combined readiness now, and our ability to fight. It's totally unfortunate that the necessary. DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period. We're committed period to building on on, on these the efforts to strengthen destabilizing launch of an intercontinental and to ensure that this alliance continues to bolster security as well as stability on the Korean Peninsula and throughout today. the Indo-Pacific. I've consulted with Minister Lee, and you know, we've decided decades, to US extend and our vigilance so service on. members have fought, which is our long by side to schedule to defend combined the training of exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. On that shared sacrifice. And we'll continue to work closely so together to develop the challenges options of the future the same way that we have for the United States years. and our allies in the region. By standing shoulder to shoulder, now, let me turn to the work of uh, I'm enormously proud of what we've me. accomplished together, and I'm very grateful. As you know, it's the, the annual capstone event for the U.S. So Rock thank you, Alliance. and let me turn it over to Minister Lee for his comments. And it brings our defense leaders together to discuss yeah, shared challenges and opportunities. Hello, I'm Rock Minister of Defense. And to deepen our cooperation all, and friendship. Next year, we'll mark the thank 70th anniversary of the signing condolences to of the, the U.S. Tragedy happened in Korea. Rock Mutual Defense Treaty. Also, and the establishment thank of you our for alliance. your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula. For nearly seven decades, and development of this alliance has alliance been an anchor of and peace and security thank you very much on the Korean that. Peninsula and across today, the broader the Indo Pacific. The 54th Security Consultative Meeting, and hosted today, for the first time since the inauguration of the, the UN ROK administration, is a tremendously capable we once again affirm the robustness of the Iraq US military alliance and the, the steadfastness of the combined and defense. And a defender posture. of the rules based Furthermore, international order reaffirm that keeps us that all secure. The Iraq US alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values today. such as liberal democracy, we talked human about the rights, DPRK's and the rule of law and destabilizing actions. Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial this meetings this year tension, to work on the details of the agreement is ironclad. on defense areas as agreed upon during the, the May Rock U.S. Fully presidential the summit. Of the ROK. Today was my third time to meet Our Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements firm. during this 54th It includes a full range of our nuclear first. The conventional Secretary Austin and I assess the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a great security challenge about the to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast secure, Asia, but for the international and community. And in order security. to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to year, further strengthen the alliance capabilities and posture. Between our presidents that charted a shared vision for Secretary Austin our alliance's committed future. to the provision of extended deterrence to in the July, Republic of Korea, leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including not only Korea. nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, September, but also advanced non nuclear capabilities Ronald such Reagan as space, cyber, and electromagnetic to the ROK capabilities. In five years. Secretary Austin and I affirm that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the necessary. end of Kim Jong un regime by the overwhelming We're and decisive response on, of the on, alliance. On these efforts to strengthen integrated deterrence and to ensure that this alliance continues to bolster this security is a strong warning and stability the on the Korean Peninsula and throughout the Indo Pacific. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen you know, alliance's decades, capability US and posture in respective and areas, ROK including information sharing, consultation process, side by joint side planning, to and execution to effectively freedom. deter and respond to the DPRK's advancing this nuclear is and missile threats. On that shared sacrifice. In particular, Secretary and I so will, will work on response the options of the towards future, all the possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To by this end, shoulder to shoulder, Secretary and I noted that progress hours. in revising the tailored deterrence strategy, or TDS, and, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision the of the TDS of by the 2023 SCM so and prepare you, response and options by annually Lee conducting the deterrence strategy committee tabletop exercise. Hello, or DSC TTX under the scenario of DPRK First of all, nuclear use. In addition, thank you very Secretary much Austin pledged for your to effectively respond to, to any the tragedy application by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level also, equivalent to constant deployment thank you for your through increasing for the frequency and intensity, and intensity of strategic asset peninsula and in and around the Korean Peninsula. And your support. Thank you very much for that.
Today, through the, along with the efforts of the Alliance, they concur in response to the first time since the inauguration Secretary of the Austin and I pledge to encourage we want the DPRK to choose the robustness of the nuclearization and the path for a brighter and the steadfastness We also pledge of the to continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization of North Korea. that Iraq U.S. alliance context, is developing into a global Secretary comprehensive Austin strategic alliance that the based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and, expresses and the rule of law. Rock government's audacious Secretary initiative Austin is along the same line held as two the ministerial meetings this year to work on the an details of the agreement threats based on, overwhelming on defense areas as agreed upon during the May Rock US while in parallel summit for a diplomatic solution. Today by was my the third time to meet Secretary open. Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th SCM. First, as stated, both countries Secretary will Austin and I assess the daily DPRK advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a grave security challenge side to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and the Iraq and Ministry of the National Asia, Defense and the U.S. But for the Department of Defense community. will backstop And in order to practically strength. deter and respond to During such meeting, threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities the and posture. And our partners for the promotion of regional security and on measures of Secretary Austin committed to the provision of extended deterrence to, to the Republic, to Republic of Korea, leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities. For which but we also advanced non-nuclear capabilities senior such as space, cyber, and electromagnetic training capabilities. and personnel exchanges. And Secretary, Secretary and I Austin and I affirmed that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, the including the use of technical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable trilateral and results in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming the and decisive response Secretary of the alliance. and I also shared a strong sentiment on the importance of the rules-based international order and pledged to closely cooperate for the peace this and stability is a strong warning in the Pacific region. In particular, also, Secretary, Secretary Austin, Austin and I pledge to further strengthen the alliance's strategy capability and posture in respective areas, which is the rock information sharing, the consultation process, the joint planning, and execution as a responsible to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK while more advancing nuclear and with the United threats. States. The only ally in particular, of our Secretary and I will work on response options towards challenges. all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored the deterrent strategy of the TDS US alliance and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS ID Secretary Austin and I concur to response plan and hold various joint deterrent strategies of the 70th anniversary exercise, future advancement of the alliance, or DSC TTX. The event will serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices made in the battlefields by the Rock and U.S. service members. Secretary Austin pledged to consult on the challenges any which DPRK alliance faces today by employing and U.S. strategic assets to, to the level equivalent the path to forward constant for Iraq U.S. alliance through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment by reaffirming the unwavering the U.S. defense Peninsula. commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to impl implement the extended deterrence, with the as well the alliance as the robust combined and response to DPRK based on the threats, capability and Secretary Austin and I pledge to encourage the DPRK SCM. to choose denuclearization and an ISS that we future. have demonstrated we also pledge to continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization and a great message of warning to the DPRK in this and the context, robustness of the alliance Secretary Austin to the international the community. audacious initiative is a practical Lastly, I want to again extend my sincere gratitude to Rock government's audacious and initiative is along the same line for as the warm U.S. approach to the DPRK, myself and the Rock an approach of deterring Thank DPRK, DPRK threats based on overwhelming Secretary combined Austin defense Minister capability Lee. and Thank posture, while in parallel seeking for diplomatic Solution translation by keeping the for the question and answer open. portion. So, would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. Uh, first question will come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. As stated, both Thank countries you. will uh, adhere to the principle of DPRK policy regular North cooperation until the, the day DPRK decides to, to denuclearize. Strategy. Uh, and, on and the Russia, Rock Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. And that the Russian forces are preparing During to leave. During the meeting, there are uh, earnest Mr. discussions Lee, on cooperation between the Rock and the U.S. and our partners for the promotion of regional security and on measures of Baltimore. Uh, but what would a shift from the denuclearization look like? 
And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank you. Iraq, U.S. Japan security cooperation for which we agreed to Thanks, enter Phil. bilateral um, senior uh, level on the first question in terms of whether or not uh, training uh, and we need to exchanges. adjust our strategy. And Secretary and I, I just say first that uh, you've heard me say this a number of times level that we in body our commitment to defending GTT, the ROK is ironclad. Uh, we strongly condemn the DPRK's irresponsible uh, and reckless uh, activities. Uh, the, we said before, the these kinds region. of activities are destabilizing to the region. Secretary Austin expressed much interest so in we call the on them to, uh, to cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. The Republic of Korea is on the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians the can uh, will more closely cooperate with the United take, States. Um, the, the remaining LIA territory on the west side of the, of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan. I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians year, believe that March, they have the, the capability to do that. Of the Rock, We've seen US them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, Secretary effort Austin to, uh, and I to concur take to back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue the to press uh, until they secure the, the, uh, the territory on the, the, events on the will west serve side as an of, the, of the river. To so to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. And to envision the path forward for Iraq-U.S. alliances by reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the extended deterrence, as well as the robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of our two nations for the government stance of denuclearization policy. Secretary Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated values and trust of the Rock U.S. alliance to the people of both nations, and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance to the international community. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense for their warm hospitality towards myself and the ROC delegation. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consequences translation for the question and answer portion, so I would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. First question will come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. Clearly, North Korea has continued flavor rattling and provocation. To the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean missile tests show the U.S. ROK alliance needs to adjust its deterrent strategy. And on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian forces will be able to retake Kherson City and that the Russian forces are prepared to leave? Military agreement. Minister Lee, you've called for a shift in strategy away from trying to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. One uh, what would a shift from the denuclearization look like? And do you believe um, do you the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? And reducing Thank tensions you. between the two Korea. Do you still support the do you, Thanks, do you support um, inter Korean military yeah, tension the first reduction agreement, or, or should or not, we uh, abandon the deal? Uh, we need to adjust our strategy. I'll just say first that on the, uh, on the second question, I certainly uh, that we yes, I do think our commitment uh, to it's effective and defending the ROK uh, is with uh, quiet. Uh, we invite, strongly uh, condemn from my, uh, my colleague here, the, the, uh, the DPRK's well. uh, irresponsible in terms of the effectiveness uh, of the, our uh, activities. Yes, I do think we've been. We said before these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region. But we have recently. So uh, we call on them to uh, to cease gone that, back to that type uh, of activity conducting and to begin to engage a number in of exercises dialogue. that are focused on on the issue of uh, whether or not the uh, Ukrainians can increasing uh, our readiness and our ability to be able to take, fight tonight. As a matter of uh, fact, the remaining right now we have on one of the largest of the, exercises that we've the, seen uh, in the Dnieper River uh, in, uh, in recent in, history in Kyrgyzstan. Uh, there are some over I 240 that aircraft they have the capability that, to do uh, that. Uh, Most importantly, uh, part of that exercise, the Ukrainians believe and they're that they doing have the capability uh, to do you know, that. a number of high-end types, uh, uh, high uh, uh, high uh, types of training uh, events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. And all of that is designed to take sure their that, sovereign territory. That we, we have I think the ability them continue to, uh, to defend uh, uh, the until they secure uh, the, uh, the if called to do so. And so I think I think this increased focus on readiness. Your question. This our ability to. 
uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth generation fighters recently. Uh, you've also seen us uh, 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 move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently, and, uh, and I think that uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. But it could be that. Uh, that the question uh, was regarding the redeployment of tactical nukes of the United you know, your, States. Our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about of, uh, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been affected, and no we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain now, affected. We, do not have a, we are currently not thinking to redeploy tactical nukes on the Korean Peninsula. Uh, Thank you. What kind of um, behavior should you watch and follow this specifically set to deter? What, what kind of behaviors would we? I have two questions for the U.S. and South Korea. My Sick first deter. question is: um, it, Expect to deter. Of the US what is the desired deter. behavior that the um, U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Mm -hmm. um, well, certainly, we, we don't want to see. And North Korea has you know, threatened anyone to uh, make a decision to employ a nuclear device. Nuclear uh, and lately, Clearly, as you've seen, North Korea has continued uh, cyber rattling and provocations. North Koreans have, uh, the current have engaged in activity uh, such as an in inter, uh, North Korea and what testing kind of an intercontinental ballistic missile, a number of short range ballistic deter. missiles, and my uh, firing artillery uh, into, uh, in, into the ocean. Uh, and, and so all of this uh, activity is uh, potentially destabilizing. So, you know, again, you know, I think, uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to do do that effective. kind of thing, but and certainly we are focused on making Korea. sure do that they don't choose to employ a nuclear do weapon or uh, choose to attack agreement, uh, uh, or should South we Korea. abandon the deal? On the, on the second question, I certainly, uh, yes, I do think it's, uh, it's effective, and it certainly uh, would uh, Equivalent to a constant invite uh, comment from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, we have recently uh, gone back to uh, – you've seen us uh, recently uh, re a number of exercises that are focused uh, on – uh, a fighter aircraft, uh, increasing our readiness uh, and our ability uh, to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, exercise our strategic right now, uh, assets, one of the large uh, exercises that and, we've and seen again, in, uh, we, in to answer your history. question, we don't have uh, there's some uh, over 240 aircraft uh, that change uh, are uh, permanent part uh, of that exercise, are, are, are and they're doing positioning uh, or stationing you know, a number of, of high end types of assets of, uh, on the uh, uh, training of events, conducting a number of high end types of training events. What we're doing together is designed to ensure the vital. On a, on a bilateral we, basis, we but also with our, uh, our to defend, uh, allies in Japan. Uh, uh, if if called in to each do and so. every case, and we'll so assess, I think uh, I think this uh, increased focus on readiness, what's going uh, on, this, uh, and we'll, uh, our ability to we'll work together uh, to ensure that we uh, or deploy uh, provide the right kind of to the uh, as you've seen us do. So here with uh, your fifth generation uh, fighters, no new deployment of a strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving it out. Uh, move a carrier a into uh, into port there uh, recently, and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. But it could be that, uh, that uh, you know your, our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been affected, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain affected. What, what kind of behaviors would we? Expect to deter. Yes. I mean, what is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, so to, uh, you know, answer, anyone uh, uh, make a decision to employ a nuclear device. I can, uh, uh, I can and say lately, the that, as you've um, seen. Has the third uh, underground facility in North Korea. North they are Koreans ready to have, conduct, uh, uh, the nuclear have engaged in activity, area. but when uh, they will carry out the uh, an nuclear uh, test is currently uh, still a curiosity. Testing an intercontinental uh, ballistic we'll missile, a number of short range ballistic missiles, and uh, to uh, firing artillery when they will carry into, uh, the test is a difficult in, into the well. ocean. And to answer the question uh, and, about and so Chinese effect and all influence of this on North Korea, if you traditionally look at the influence that China had in North Korea in the past, there's been a time when, despite Chinese opposition to 
North Korea it's possible that they could continue to, uh, to do so, that uh, kind of thing, but anyway. certainly so, uh, we are focused on making China sure has, um, that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon in, um, or uh, choose, choose to North attack uh, uh, South Korea. So. For our final question, we'll go to Yan Hop, Song Hong Song, CNN, Orrin Lieber. Uh, a question for each of you. Secretary, uh, Secretary sir, the minister said Indian just a moment ago that you pledged to effectively respond to a DPRK provocation and, uh, by the uh, U.S. I think my question is similar to equivalent to a constant I mean, deployment CNN and, and my colleagues, but uh, even when South Korea and the United States are talking about extended defense of this, uh, is this a change in U.S. plans for the region? Uh, uh, and, and, and Minister, and sir, do you believe a North Korean nuclear test is imminent? So, and is China playing a constructive role in preventing them from carrying out such a test? You've seen us recently. Uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent uh, uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of, uh, of assets on the, uh, on the peninsula currently. Uh, but uh, what we're doing together, uh, not only to, uh, on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan, uh, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what uh, you know, what's going on, and we'll uh, we'll we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide uh, the right kind of uh, yes, uh, deterrent believe, message. Uh, so, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets uh, on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving and out uh, on, on a routine is basis. Our ability to work. Uh, together uh, and, uh, and to be interoperable, uh, and our ability to train uh, our troops uh, to a, a high level uh, of, uh, of uh, capability and also maintain uh, a, a combat credible force uh, uh, in the region. Uh, and, uh, uh, and you, most recently, you've seen us focus on that in a major way again, I point to the major exercise that we have uh, ongoing. Uh, I, you, know, you, you mentioned uh, the carrier that is a serious demonstration of, uh, of commitment and, and, uh, and combat, uh, combat capability. Again, uh, we are focused on making sure that uh, nobody attacks uh, South Korea, and uh, we're committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. So we're also to, uh, committed to, to deterring answer, uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. Nuclear and yes, I, I do can, believe uh, I can uh, we've been effective that, in that. Uh, and we'll continue to work for third to make sure that in North Korea, they are ready to conduct together, uh, nuclear tests in that area. We're working together, building increasing capability. When they will carry uh, out the uh, uh, nuclear uh, test is currently a uh, uh, curiosity to as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about Chinese effect and influence on North Korea. If we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had on North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out a nuclear test, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a decisive uh, effect in, um, in And I also believe they are deterred from employing a nuclear device, uh, either uh, against uh, the uh, in the peninsula or against our homeland here in the, in the U.S. Yes, I do believe that. The other question is for only for Minister Lee. And uh, I think my question is similar to the voters, I mean, the CNN and my colleagues, but uh, even when South Korea and the United States are talking about extended deterrence at the CM, at this point, uh, North Korea Foreign Minister and, and Shark Artillery Shell Center, so, uh, and even when the U.S. Uh, asked the Wolverine uh, Wave and the Aircraft Carrier was in South Korea, still North Korea and Shell Center, so the question is if the deterrence is when it comes to North Korea, is that when it comes to North Korea? Conversation. 
하지 않도록 하겠습니다. The question is about how the uh, process was going uh, and when the O plan was going to be completed. Uh, believe, uh, and um, as for O plan to provide my answer, to provide my answer, when you're developing the O plan, it's uh, not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop, given the um, take into account the environment of the situation. So uh, together, it is difficult to say uh, uh, when and, it will exactly be complete it. However, what I can say uh, is that uh, we will, uh, in the process of developing the O plan, uh, we are seeking to expedite the upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so uh, I'll keep my answer in, in to the this. Region. Uh, and, uh, and one final, most uh, recently, you've uh, seen us focus on that in a major again, way in terms of our deterrent efforts and the types of that we have uh, ongoing. Uh, I would point out that uh, you, we're committed to deterring that type of activity. Uh, and, uh, against and combat any uh, of our combat allies and partners in the, in Again, the region. Again, we remain uh, committed we to focused on making sure that uh, a free and open uh, nobody is the region. So, uh, South thank Korea. you very much. And uh, South we're committed South to that. South our South commitment South is ironclad. We're also committed to deterring condolences uh, for the terrible from tragedy a nuclear device that occurred and yes, in Seoul I do believe this past weekend. We've been effective in that, and we'll continue to work. Our hearts go out to make families of all the victims from across South Korea, building increasing around the world capability, including. To and increasing Americans. our ability to, uh, to to work together, and we stand together with the people of South Korea uh, during this time of national uh, mourning. Now, it's highly unfortunate that the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period of, with the illegal and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile last night. I don't. Night. It, you know, it, as well, I, I believe that uh, they are deterred from attacking today. North Korea, uh, South Korea. Excuse I've me. Consulted with Minister uh, Lee, and I also and believe we decided they are deterred from employing a nuclear device, vigilant uh, either uh, against which is uh, our uh, launch uh, in, in the peninsula or against our training our exercise in the, in the U.S. Yes, to I further bolster that. our readiness and interoperability. Good. And we'll continue to work closely together to develop options to protect the United States and our allies in the region. Now, let me turn to the work of uh, the security consultative meeting. As you know, it's the annual capstone event for the U.S. Alliance. And it brings our defense leaders together to discuss shared challenges and opportunities and to deepen our cooperation and friendship. Uh, Next year, we'll mark the 70th anniversary of the signing of the U.S. Rock Mutual Defense Treaty and the establishment of our alliance. For nearly seven decades, this alliance has been an anchor of peace and security on the Korean Peninsula and across the broader Indo-Pacific. The endorsed and today, SPD and SPG from security consultative the meeting last year, is a tremendously um, and, capable and how the O plan is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in, in SCM. The question is about how the, the uh, process was going and when the O plan was going to be completed. And um, as for O plan to provide my answer, to provide my answer, when you're developing the O plan, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop, we talked given about the, the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete. However, and at this what I time can say is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the O plan, we are seeking to expedite the uh, upgrade. Remains fully However, uh, as for to the, uh, the specifics of the, of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so I will keep my answer to this. And it includes a full range and of our nuclear. One final uh, uh, conventional note here, again, in terms of our deterrent efforts and the types of things that we're deterring. Mr. Lee I and I also that, talked uh, about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months uh, that type of activity to deepen our, uh, our cooperation and bolster our, allies, our, our shared security in the, in the region. We remain committed to just within the past year, we have conducted a very successful region. summit so, thank you very much. between our presidents that charted a shared vision for our alliance's future. In July, we deployed uh, fifth generation fighters to the Republic of Korea. Scale 
exercises to strengthen our combined readiness and our ability to fight tonight if necessary. We're committed to building on, on, on these efforts to strengthen integrated deterrence and to ensure that this alliance continues to bolster security and stability on the Korean Peninsula and throughout the Indo-Pacific. of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, for the terrible tragedy we affirm that, that Iraq-U.S. alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based families, on shared values such as liberal democracy, Korea, human rights, and, and the, the rule of law. Including two young Secretary Americans. Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to Korea work on the details of the agreement. Of on defense areas, as agreed upon now, during the May Rock U.S. presidential it's summit. Unfortunate that the DPRK Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during the this 54th and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental First, Secretary Austin and I assessed the daily advances of DPRK as well as nuclear and missile threats as a grave security today. challenge to the peace and stability After not only on the Korean Peninsula and, and in the Northeast Asia, but for the international community. Storm, and in order to practice deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities to and further postures. bolster our readiness and interoperability. And we'll Secretary continue to work Austin closely together committed to, to the provision of extended deterrence to the to Republic the of Korea, leveraging the full the range of military capabilities, including not only now, nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, of, uh, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, meeting. cyber, and electromagnetic you know, it's capabilities. The capstone event for the US Secretary Rock Austin Alliance. and I affirm that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and, and decisive response of the alliance. Next year will mark the 70th anniversary of the signing of the U.S. ROC Mutual Defense This is defense a strong Treaty warning against the DPRK. And the establishment of our alliance. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further decades, strengthen alliance's capability alliance and posture an in respective areas, including information sharing, Peninsula, consultation process, joint planning, and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK's today, advancing nuclear and missile threats. The ROK is a tremendously capable In particular, ally, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. And a defender of the rules-based international end, order. Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored now, deterrent strategy, or TDS, an and pledged today. to put efforts to complete the revision of we the TDS by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by actions. annually conducting deterrent strategy committee and at this time of heightened exercise. Tension. Or DSC TTX under the scenario of DPRK nuclear. The United use. States remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. In addition, Secretary Our Austin pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment in and around Mr. the Mr. Lee Korean and I Peninsula. also talked about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months 
to deepen our secure our cooperation and bolster of the alliance to deter and respond to DPRK nuclear threats. Secretary Just Austin the past and I year, pledge to encourage a very DPRK to choose denuclearization and the path for a brighter future. A we also for pledge to continue our, our cooperation to achieve future. a complete denuclearization of North Korea. In July, Korea. we deployed. In this context, fifth generation fighters Secretary to the Austin Republic of assessed Korea. that the ROC government's audacious in initiative is a practical approach the USS and its presence Ronald is Reagan for conducted its first port call ROC government's audacious initiative is along the same years. line as the U.S. approach to the DPRK, the peninsula, an approach of deterring DPRK threats based on overwhelming combined defense capability and posture, and our while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic solution necessary. by keeping the window of dialogue open. We're committed to building on, on, on these efforts to strengthen integrated deterrence as and to stated, ensure both that this countries alliance will adhere to the to principle of DPRK policies to a close cooperation the until the day DPRK the decides to denuclearize. You know, and the ROC Ministry of National US Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. Side by During side the meeting, to the there are earnest discussions on cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. This and our partners for the promotion of regional security sacrifice. and on measures of bolstering multilateral cooperation. So we will confront the challenges of the future the In same way that we have for nearly 70 years. In order to respond to missile threats, Secretary and I are to to continuously shoulder advance shoulder the ROC U.S.-Japan security cooperation, for which we agreed to activate I'm trilateral senior level what we've policy consultation, and very information sharing, training, and personnel exchanges. And Secretary so and I have also pledged to Lee resume early comments. next year the ASD level policy consultation body called Defense Hello, Trilateral I'm Talks or DTT, which has been suspended of all, for the past years. Secretary and I also share the strong sentiment Thank on the importance of the rules for your international order, condolences to and the pledge tragedy to closely happened in cooperate Korea. for the peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific in region. Thank you for in your particular, for the Secretary Austin Austin expressed Peninsula, Peninsula, much interest in Peninsula the Indo-Pacific Strategy US Alliance Framework, and your support. which you is the ROC government that. is currently developing. The Republic of Korea is a responsible global pivotal state of the international community who will more closely cooperate with the UN administration, the only ally of our nation, in order to overcome the ROC U.S. military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, reaffirm that ROC U.S. Alliance Next year is developing its the global comprehensive of the ROC U.S. Alliance based on shared values such as liberal, liberal democracy, democracy human rights, Secretary and Austin and, and I concur to plan and hold Secretary various Austin joint events and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the, of the agreements. The events on defense serve as an areas as agreed for us upon during the May Rock U.S. presidential made summit. In the by the Rock and Today US was my third time to meet Secretary and Austin and we consult on the challenges of achievements during this 54th day. And to envision First, the path forward for Secretary Rock, Austin US and I assess the daily advances of DPRK nuclear By and missile threats as a unwavering security challenge to the, to the peace and stability, not, not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, but for the international as well community. As and in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, and we agree to further strengthen the alliance capabilities SCM. and posture. Secretary Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated values and Secretary trust of the Rock U.S. alliance committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Republic of Korea, the leveraging and the full range of military of capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, community. but missile defense capabilities, but also Lastly, advanced non-nuclear capabilities, my such as space, gratitude cyber, Secretary and electromagnetic and the staff capabilities. The Department of Defense for their warm hospitality towards Secretary myself Austin and the ROC Austin and I affirm Thank that any nuclear much. attack by the Secretary DPRK, Austin including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and results in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. Uh, first question will come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. Thank you. Uh, Secretary Austin, do this is a strong warning against North the Korean missile test show the U.S. ROK also, to Secretary Austin and I pledge to further uh, strengthen Russia, alliance's Russia, capability and posture in respective areas, including City information sharing, and, consultation and process, joint to planning, and execution and to, uh, to effectively Lee, deter and respond to the DPRK's advancing uh, nuclear from trying and missile to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. In particular, uh, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, 
Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored Thanks, well, uh, deterrent um, strategy or TDS uh, on the first question and in terms of whether or not to complete uh, the revision of the TDS uh, by we the need to adjust our strategy and prepare response options by first annually that, conducting uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times tabletop that we you know, our commitment to or DSC defending the ROK is iron clad uh, we strongly condemn uh, in addition, the, D the DPRK's uh, irresponsible to any DPRK uh, and reckless uh, activities. US strategic As we said before, the these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region the potentially. And intensity of strategic so asset we call on them to, uh, to the cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue Along of whether or not the Ukrainians the can uh, in to nuclear threats, uh, Secretary take, Austin and uh, I pledge to the remaining territory DPRK on the west side of the denuclearization of the, uh, and the path for a brighter in, uh, in, We also pledge to continue Kyrsan. our cooperation to achieve I certainly a believe that they have the capability to do that. Korea. Most importantly, in the Ukrainians context, believe that they have the capability Secretary to do that. Austin We've that seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, and expresses uh, effort to take Rock back their sovereign territory. Is along the I think you'll see them continue the to press to the DPRK, uh, until they secure the, uh, the DPRK territory on the, based on on the west side of the, of the river. And so to answer your While question, parallel, I do think they have the diplomatic solution by keeping the window of dialogue uh, open. As stated, both countries will adhere to the principal DPRK policy through close cooperation until the day DPRK decides to denuclearize. And the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. Was regarding the redeployment During the of tactical meeting, nukes of the there United are earnest States discussions to state our government stance between the ROC and the U.S. and our partners the, for the promotion the of regional Peninsula. security and on measures of bolstering no multilateral cooperation. And that for now we do not have in order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the ROC U.S. Japan security cooperation, for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior. Senior level policy I consultation, information sharing, Secretary training, Austin. and personnel exchanges. Is, um, and Secretary and I also the pledge to resume early next year the um, ASC level policy consultation body called um, Defense Trilateral Talks or DTT, which has been suspended for the past year. Secretary and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the rules based international rules and pledge to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in the Indo Pacific region. In particular, Secretary Austin expressed much Korea interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy framework, which is the ROC government is currently And my second question is on the Republic of Korea is a responsible global people's state of the international community and will more closely cooperate with the United States, the only ally of our region, in order to overcome global security challenges. Do you think the inter-Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective? and reducing tensions between the two Korea. Do you still support the inter do you the do you support the inter Korean military the pension US reduction alliance, agreement the goal or should we abandon the deal? Strategic alliance. Secretary Austin and I concur to plan and hold various on the, joint on the second question, I certainly, uh, uh, yes, I do think it's, uh, it's effective, and it certainly the event will uh, serve as an would, opportunity uh, for us to commemorate the noble invite, sacrifices uh, made in the battlefield by the Rock and U.S. service members, Minister Lee as well, and to consult in terms the of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence. Yes, I do think we've been effective. To the I would point out to you that we have recently. Uh, By reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense to, commitment to uh, the Republic of conducting Korea, efforts to strengthen a number the of exercises that are focused on uh, as well uh, as the robust increasing our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have uh, one of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, that we have in recent history. Uh, there's some over 240 aircraft and a great that, uh, that are, uh, are part of that exercise, and, the and they're doing the uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number Lastly, of high-end types I of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure Secretary that, Austin and the that staff we, the we have the ability for their warm uh, to defend uh, the peninsula the uh, if, if called much. to do so. And so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, this uh, you know, our ability to uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth-generation fighters recently. 
Uh, you've also Thank seen you, us uh, Austin, uh, do the repeated uh, and increasingly regular North Korean move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently, and, uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty uh, strong signal Russia, as well. Your assessment that Ukrainian it, it could be, be able that to uh, take Kherson uh, city, and uh, and that the Russian forces are preparing to leave. And to, you know, um, our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our wave, increased uh, focus on readiness. So, yes, I do think we've been, uh, we've been effective, uh, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank you. The U.S. and South Korea specifically seek to deter. Thanks, Phil. Uh, on well, what kind of uh, behaviors? On the first we, question, in terms of whether or not uh, uh, we need to deter. adjust our strategy. Mm -hmm. Expect to deter. I'll just say first okay. that, uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times, that we, in our off. commitment to well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, as ironclad. You know, anyone uh, we make strongly a condemn to uh, a nuclear device. The, DR, the DPRK uh, is uh, irresponsible and reckless activities. North Koreans, as we have, said uh, before, these kinds of activities and activities are destabilizing uh, such as the region. And inter, uh, so we call on testing them to, uh, to cease that, ballistic missile, that type number of activity short ballistic and missiles, to begin to engage in uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, on the issue of whether or not the, ocean, the Ukrainians can. Uh, and, uh, and so all of this uh, activity uh, is uh, potentially the remaining territory so on the west side you know, again, of the. You know, the, uh, I think, the uh, River I think and, uh, it's possible that they could continue to, I to certainly do believe that kind that of they thing, have but the certainly to do we that. are focused Most on making sure that the they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose We've seen to them attack, engage in a very uh, methodical uh, but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, to take back their sovereign territory. For each of you, I think Secretary you'll see sir, them continue the to press until they secure the territory on the west side of the river. So to answer your question, I do think they have the intensity of strategic asset deployment. What strategic assets do you intend to deploy to the Korean Peninsula? And is, is this a change in U.S. posture in the region? And, and Minister, sir, do you believe a North Korean nuclear test is imminent? And is China playing a constructive role in preventing them from carrying out such tests? Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation. Uh, 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 fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, 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 exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of uh, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula currently, uh, but. Uh, what we're doing together, uh, not only to, uh, bilateral, on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan, uh, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, you know, what's going on and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out. Uh, on on a routine the basis. arrangement has been effective in yeah. deterring uh, North Korea, uh, and what kind of North Korean behavior the U.S. Uh, and South Korea uh, seek to deter? Uh, and my second question is on the uh, inter-Korean uh, uh, military uh, agreement. Uh, North Korea has repeatedly uh, violated uh, inter-Korean uh, comprehensive uh, military uh, agreement. Uh, it has uh, fired uh, around uh, 1,000 uh, artillery shells uh, through the inter-Korean maritime buffer zone. Do you think the inter-Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective? And reducing uh, tensions uh, between the two Korea. Do you still support the uh, do, you, uh, do you support uh, inter Korean uh, military uh, tension reduction uh, agreement, uh, or should we abandon the deal? On the on the second question, I certainly uh, 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 yes, I do think it's uh, it's effective, and it certainly. Uh, so would uh, to, uh, to the answer of invite uh, comment from my, my colleague here, protest, uh, Minister can, uh, Lee, as I well. State the that, um, in terms of the effectiveness the of the, our deterrence, Korea, yes, I do think we've been effective. Uh, the I would point out area. to you that uh, they will carry out the, uh, we have recently currently, uh, uh, still a curiosity as, uh, North Korea gone back to conducting a number of exercises that are focused on increasing our readiness 
weakness in our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have one of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. There's some uh, 240 aircraft that uh, they're uh, a part of that exercise, and they're doing a, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure that that we we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if if called to do so, and so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, this uh, you know, our ability to. Uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth-generation fighters recently. Uh, you've also seen us uh, uh, move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently, and uh, and I think that uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. But it could be that uh, that uh, you know our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our. our Increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. Measures beyond rhetorical excoriations, and and. What, what kind of behaviors would we? Expect to deter? What is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see. Uh, you know, anyone uh, to uh, make a decision to employ uh, a nuclear uh, device. Uh, and lately, as you've seen, uh, uh, you know, one of the things that North Koreans have uh, have engaged in activity uh, such as uh, together, inter uh, uh, and uh, and to be testing an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile, a number of short-range uh, ballistic missiles. Uh, firing artillery uh, uh, into uh, uh, of, in, uh, into the ocean, of, uh, and, and so and maintain, all of this uh, uh, activity uh, is uh, potentially force, destabilizing. Uh, and so, uh, in, you know, again, uh, and, uh, I think uh, most I think recently you've seen us. Focus it's possible on that, that they could continue to, to do to that kind of thing, but certainly we, we are focused on making sure uh, I, that they don't you choose you to employ a nuclear weapon or choose to attack South Korea in combat combat capability. Again, uh, we are focused on making sure that a question for each of you. Uh, Secretary, nobody sir, attacks the said just a ago, uh, South Korea. You pledged to and, effectively uh, respond we're committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. We're also assets, committed to deterring to uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. And yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective in that, and we'll continue to work to make sure that U.S. posture in the region. Working and together, Minister, sir, building increasing uh, nuclear capabilities uh, and, uh, and increasing role in our ability to, uh, them to, to work out such a test. Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we to answer your question, we don't have. Uh, I don't. A plan it, you know, to it, I, I uh, believe that, change uh, they are permanent uh, from attacking North Korea, uh, our, our permanent Korea positioning or stationing uh, of uh, I also believe of assets on the, uh, the on the peninsula currently. Uh, but uh, either uh, what we're doing uh, together, against, uh, 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 not the only the uh, bi on a bilateral basis, but also US, with our our yes, uh, allies in Japan. Uh, in each and every case, we'll assess what you know. What's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. ワンパチ事件の流れに과정이기 so the question was regarding the development of a plan and uh, how um, the endorsed SPD and SPG from security consultative meeting last year um, and 
and how the OPLAN is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about so how the uh, process was going and when the OPLAN was going to be completed. Ready for and um, as for OPLAN to provide my answer, um, we're um, developing the OPLAN. It's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you are ready to conduct given the taking into account the environment. When they will carry out the nuclear test to say when it will exactly complete as in what I can say, we'll have to take into account the political purpose the process of and uh, to OPLAN, exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a uh, difficult upgrade. for us as well. However, uh, and to answer uh, the question the about uh, the Chinese information that and influence on North Korea, um, if you traditionally look at the uh, influence that China so had in North Korea in the past, this. Uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese uh, opposition to uh, North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, North Korea still carried out the test anyway. So it's difficult to say that China has a decisive effect in choosing North Korea's will. Uh, against any of our allies or partners in the, in the region. We remain committed to maintaining a, a free and open Indo-Pacific region. So, thank you very much. And I think my question is similar to... Condolences for the terrible tragedy that occurred in Seoul this past weekend. Our hearts go out to the families of all the victims from across South Korea and around the world. So, including uh, and it, even two young Americans. US, uh, as uh, and we stand together with the people of South Korea during this time so of national mourning. The question mourning. is if the deterrence uh, works when it comes to North now, Korea's uh, conventional forms it's of It's highly unfortunate that the DPRK attacks. has so chosen to interrupt this solemn period the terms, uh, of the alliance with the illegal and so destabilizing launch of an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile and last night, come up with any, um, effective as well as additional missile launches today. I've uh, consulted with Minister Lee, Lee, and we've decided to extend Vigilant Storm, which is our long uh, scheduled combined training exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. And we'll continue to work closely together to develop options to protect the United States and our allies in the region. Uh, to answer your question, yes, now, uh, I believe. Uh, let me turn our to the work of activities uh, are effective in deterring. The security consultative uh, meeting. You know, one of the things that sends as a you know, it's the annual capstone event for the our US ability to work rock alliance uh, together, uh, and, uh, and and it to brings our defense leaders together to uh, and discuss our shared to challenges and uh, opportunities, our troops, uh, and to deepen to our a high level of, uh, and friendship. Of, uh, of uh, capability and Next also year, we'll mark the 70th uh, anniversary a, a of the signing credible force of the U.S. Uh, uh, Rock the Mutual Defense Treaty. Uh, and, uh, and in most and recently, establishment you've seen us focus on that alliance. in a major way. Again, I point to the major For exercise that decades, we have ongoing. This alliance uh, has I, been an anchor you know, of peace you, you and mentioned security. The carrier, that is Korean a serious Peninsula demonstration of, uh, of and commitment and, the broader and, uh, and combat, uh, Pacific. combat capability. And today, Again, uh, we are focused on making the sure ROK that is a tremendously uh, nobody capable attacks ally. Uh, South Korea and a provider and, uh, of security in the region. commitment is ironclad. And we're and also a defender to of the rule of space international anyone order from using a nuclear that device. keeps us all secure. And yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective in now, that. Minister and we'll Lee and I had an, an outstanding to sure discussion today. We're Working together, we talked about the DPRK's continued uh, provocations uh, and, and destabilizing uh, and increasing our ability to, uh, to to work together. And at this time of heightened tension, our alliance is ironclad. The United States remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. Our extended deterrence commitment is firm, and it includes a full range of our nuclear, conventional. And uh, missile defense capabilities. It, you know, it, I, I believe that uh, they are deterred Mr. Lee from attacking. And I also talked North about Korea, the tremendous Korea, progress that we've made in uh, recent years. And I also believe they to are deterred our from employing our a nuclear device and bolster uh, either our shared security uh, against uh, uh, the uh, in the peninsula Just within or the against our here, We have here conducted a very successful summit. Yes, I do believe that between our presidents that charted a shared <laughs> vision for our alliances. <laughs> Uh, In July, we deployed a uh, fifth-generation fighter to the Republic of Korea. And in late September, the USS Ronald Reagan conducted its first port call to the ROK in five years. Uh, on a peninsula, we're returning to large-scale exercises to strengthen our combined readiness and our ability to fight tonight if necessary. 
the endorsed SPD and this SPG from Security Consultative Meeting last year um, and, and how the O plan is developing so on top of those uh, agreements of that were made um, that in we SCM. Have for the question is about how the uh, process was going and when the O plan was going to be completed. And um, as, as for O plan to provide my answer, to provide my answer when you're developing the O plan, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop given the, the um, taking into account the environment of the so situation. So it it's difficult to, to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that uh, we will, in Hello, the process of I'm developing Rod the O plan, Defense. we are seeking to expedite First of the all, uh, upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so I will keep my answer to this. And one final uh, uh, note Thank here, again, in terms of our deterrent efforts and the types of things that we're and deterred, of Rock, US I point out that uh, we're support. committed to deterring that. Uh, that type of activity Today, uh, against any of our allies and partners in the region. We remain since committed the inauguration to maintaining of the UN administration. a free and open Indo-Pacific region. We once again affirm so, the robustness of the Iraq U.S. military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, we affirm that the Iraq U.S. alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, of the agreement on defense areas as agreed upon during the May Rock U.S. Presidential Summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th PCM. First, Secretary Austin and I assessed the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a great security challenge to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, but for the international community. And in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and posture. Secretary Austin committed to the provision of extended deterrence to leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, cyber, and electromagnetic capabilities. Secretary Austin and I affirm that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and results in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. by the DPRK. To this end, for the terrible tragedy Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored deterrence strategy, or TDS, to the and pledged to put efforts from to complete South the revision Korea of the TDS by the 2023 the FCM and prepare response options by annually Americans. conducting deterrence strategy committees. And we stand together with the people of South Korea during this time or DSC of national TTX morning. under the scenario of DPRK now, nuclear use. It's highly unfortunate that the DPRK addition, has chosen Secretary to interrupt Austin this solemn to period respond to any DPRK with the illegal and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental constant deployment ballistic missile last night, the frequency and intensity of strategic as well as additional in missile launches today. Peninsula. I've consulted with Minister Lee, and we've decided to 
extend along with the efforts Vigilant of the alliance Storm, to deter and respond to DPRK nuclear threats, Secretary Austin and I pledged to encourage DPRK to, to choose denuclearization as a path for a brighter future. We also and pledged we'll continue to continue to work our cooperation closely together to, to a develop options of North to protect Korea. the United States and our allies in, this context, in the region. Secretary Austin now, assessed that the ROC government's audacious initiative of, uh, is a practical approach and the expresses security support for it. Meeting. ROC government's audacious you know, initiative is along the same line as the, the U.S. approach to the DPRK, an approach of deterring DPRK threats based on overwhelming combined defense capability and posture, while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic solution by keeping the window of dialogue open. Next year will mark the 70th anniversary of the signing. As stated, of both the US countries will adhere to the principal DPRK defense policies through close cooperation the until the day DPRK alliance. decides to denuclearize. For nearly seven decades, and the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Department of Security. Defense will backstop the Korean efforts Peninsula. with strength. And across During the meeting, the broader there were earnest discussions on cooperation between the ROC and, and the U.S. and our partners for the promotion the of regional security and of measures of bolstering multilateral cooperation. And a provider of security in, order in the to region. Respond to DPRK nuclear and missile and threats, the Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the ROC U.S. Japan security secure. cooperation, for which we agreed to activate now, trilateral senior an level policy consultation, today. information sharing, training, we talked about and the DPRK's continued provocation. And 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 I destabilizing also actions. pledge to resume early next year the ASD level policy consultation body called Defense Trilateral Talks or DTT, which has been suspended for the, the past year. Secretary to the defense and I of the also ROK. share the strong sentiment on the importance Our of the rules based international order commitment is and firm. pledge to closely cooperate for the peace and, and stability in, in, the, in the Pacific region. Conventional in particular, Secretary Austin expressed much interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy and I also framework, about the which is the ROC government is currently developing. Months. To the Republic of Korea is a responsible global pivotal state of the international community will more closely cooperate with the Just United within States, the, past year, we have the only ally a very of our nation, in order to overcome global security our challenges. That charted a shared vision for our alliance's future. In July, we deployed Next year marks the 70th the anniversary of, of the ROC US alliance while pursuing the goal of global September, comprehensive strategic alliance. USS Secretary Ronald Austin Reagan and I concur to plan and hold various ROK joint in events in celebration of the 70th anniversary for the future we're advancement of the alliance. Large exercises the events will serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices made in the battlefields by the ROC and US service members and to we're consult on the challenges on, which on, on alliance faces to today and deterrence to envision and to the path forward that this alliance for ROC-US alliance to bolster security and stability by reaffirming the, the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities you know, decades, to impl implement US the extended deterrence, and as well as the robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of our of two nations through the 54th SCM. Secretary Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated sacrifice. values and trust of the ROC U.S. alliance so to the people the of both nations of the future, the and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance to, to the international community. As proud allies. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of, of Defense for their warm hospitality towards so myself you, and the ROC delegation. Over to thank you Lee very much. For his comments. Secretary Austin, Minister Lee, thank you, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive Defense. translation for the first question all, and answer portion, so I would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. Uh, first question will come from Reuters. Thank you very much for your Stewart. sincere condolences to the thank tragedy you, uh, happening Secretary in Korea. Secretary Austin, do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean also, missile tests show the U.S. Thank you for your effort alliance for the needs to adjust the security security deterrence strategy? Uh, and and Russia is your assessment that Ukrainian alliance. forces will be and able to retake Kherson City and, and that the Russian forces are preparing Today, to leave. And to, uh, the Minister Lee, you call for a shift in strategy for away the first time uh, from trying to stop North of Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, we but once what again would a shift from the denuclearization look like? And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Reaffirm that ROC U.S. Alliance is developing Thanks, into a global Phil. comprehensive um, strategic you know, alliance on based on shared values such as liberal not, uh, democracy, human uh, rights, and the rule of law. 
I'll just say first Secretary that, Austin uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times, that this we, you know, our commitment to defending the ROK is areas, ironclad. As agreed upon during the May uh, we strongly condemn Today the, uh, was my third the time to meet Secretary Austin, uh, and we made a lot of achievements uh, during reckless, this 54th uh, activities. As we said before, First, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region. and I assess the daily advances of DPRK so nuclear and missile threats to, uh, as a to great cease security that, challenge that type of to the activity peace and stability and not only on the Korean Peninsula and dialogue. in the Northeast Asia, on the but the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can, and in order to um, practically deter and respond to such threats, uh, we agree um, to further strengthen the, the alliance capabilities and posture. Of the, of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan. I certainly to the believe that they have the capability to do that. Republic Most of importantly, Korea, leveraging the full range of military that they have capabilities, capability to including do that. not only nuclear We've and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced uh, non-nuclear capabilities, effort such to, as space, uh, to cyber, take back their and sovereign territory. Capabilities. I think you'll see them continue to press uh, until they Austin secure and I the, uh, the that territory any nuclear on the, attack by the, on the DPRK, west side including of the, of the use river. of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong Un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. I have a question for the US government. This is a strong warning against the DPRK. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliances' capability and posture in respective areas, including information sharing, consultation process, joint planning, and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK advancing nuclear and missile threats. In particular, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored deterrent strategy, or TDS, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by annually conducting deterrent strategy committee tabletop exercise, or DSC TTX, under the scenario of the nuclear In addition, Secretary Austin pledged to effectively respond to any Publication by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment in and around the Korean Peninsula. And my second question is on the Inter-Korean Military Agreement. Along with the efforts North of the Korea Alliance to deter and respond to the Inter Korean Comprehensive threats, Military Agreement, Secretary Austin and I pledge to encourage the DPRK to choose the Inter-Korean Military Agreement for John. Do you think the Inter-Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the do you do you support Inter-Korean Military Tension Reduction Agreement, or should we abandon the deal? And expresses support for it. Rock government's audacious initiative on a, on a is along the same question, line I as the U.S. approach uh, to the DPRK, yes, I do think it's, an approach of deterring uh, DPRK threats based on overwhelming uh, combined would, uh, defense capability and posture, while in parallel uh, seeking for diplomatic solution by keeping the window of dialogue well. open. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. As stated, I would point both out countries to you that uh, to the we have recently uh, close cooperation until the day gone DPRK back to, decides uh, to conducting a number of and exercises of that are focused on and the US Department uh, of Defense uh, will backstop the increasing our readiness and our ability During to be meeting, able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have the one of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there are some over 240 aircraft in order that uh, are uh, part of that exercise, threats, and they're doing and uh, to you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, and all of that is designed to ensure that, sharing, that we, training, we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if, if called to do so. And so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, this our ability to uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets Secretary to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth generation the fighters recently. Uh, you've and also seen us move a carrier into, uh, into port there in uh, recently, in and, uh, and I think that's, uh, that sends a pretty strong in signal as well. It could be that, uh, which is the ROC that government is currently developing. Uh, 
The Republic of Korea is a responsible you know, our global neighbors in the North there may be concerned about uh, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do States. think we've been uh, we've been affected, and we will nation, continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. Challenges. Next year marks the 70th anniversary what, what kind of, of the Iraq-U.S. alliance we... while pursuing the goal of global comprehensive strategic alliance. Secretary Austin and I concur to, to plan and hold various joint events and celebrations of the 70th anniversary of the advancement of the alliance. Well, certainly we, we don't want to see anyone make a decision to employ the a nuclear by the device US service members. Uh, and, lately, and to consult you've seen, on the challenges which uh, alliance faces today and North Koreans have uh, have engaged in activity for uh, such as an inter uh, by testing an intercontinental ballistic US missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, in, into the ocean, uh, and, and so all of this uh, activity is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack uh, uh, South Korea. So. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff uh, at the for Department of Secretary Defense Sir, for their the warm hospitality towards myself you and the Rock Delegation. Thank you very DPRK much. Provocation by employing US Austin, Mr. Lee, thank you, gentlemen. To a Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive translation assets. for the what question and answer portion, so I would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. Uh, first question will come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. Do you believe a North Korean nuclear test is Secretary Austin, do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean missile tests show the U.S. Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re uh, redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. Uh, from trying and, to and again, from uh, we, to answer your question, we don't uh, have what would a, shift uh, from a plan to uh, and do you change reducing Tactical uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of, uh, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula currently. Uh, Thanks, Phil. Uh, uh, what we're doing uh, together on the first question, uh, in terms not only of on, a bilater uh, on a bilateral basis, but uh, also we need with to our, adjust our, our strategy. Uh, allies in Japan. I'll just say uh, first that uh, in each and every case, we'll times, assess uh, what uh, we, you know, you know, our commitment what's going to on, and we'll uh, defending we'll, the ROK we'll work together to ensure that we provide the right kind of deterrent message. So the DRK, to answer your question, DRKs, uh, no new deployment of a strategic assets uh, reckless, on a permanent uh, basis, but you'll see assets as moving as in before uh, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region potentially. So we call on them to uh, to cease that that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue on the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can. Um, uh, take uh, the remaining territory on the west side of the of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in, in Kyrgyzstan. I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, to take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press. Uh, until they secure the uh, the territory on the on the west side so of the of the uh, river. To the answer, so to answer your question, I do think North they have. Korea is ready for a nuclear test. I can uh, I can uh, state a statement that um, as the third underground facility in North Korea, they are ready to conduct uh, the nuclear test at that area. But when they will carry out the uh, nuclear test is currently a uh, curiosity as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and uh, to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if you traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out a nuclear test, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a um, decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North Korea's will.
And for our final question, we'll go to Yan Hap Song Hong Song. Um, I have two questions for Secretary Austin. My first question is on um, the effectiveness of the U.S. extended deterrence. Um, this case has so far launched more than 40 um, results of different types since late September. And this case has threatened to start targeting South Korean territory with tactical and nuclear weapons. Clearly, North Korea has continued stable wrestling and provocations. But do you still think that the current extended deterrence arrangement has been effective in deterring North Korea? And what kind of North Korean behavior do the U.S. and South Korea think to deter? And my second question is on the energy and military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the inter Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells through the inter Korean Maritime Buffer Zone. Um, do you think the inter Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the, do you, do you support the inter Korean Military Pension Reduction Agreement, or should we abandon the deal? On a, on a second question, I certainly, uh, yes, I do think it's, uh, it's effective, and it certainly uh, would uh, uh, to invite a uh, comment yes, from my, uh, my colleague uh, here, uh, Minister Lee, as well, are effective in terms of the effectiveness uh, of the, our uh, deterrence. One of the things yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that to work, uh, we have recently, uh, and, uh, and to be interoperable, Gone back uh, to, ability to train, uh, conducting uh, troops, a number uh, of exercises that are focused on increasing our readiness and our ability uh, to be able a, to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, force, right now we have uh, one of the uh, largest the exercises uh, that we've uh, seen and, uh, in, uh, most recently in recent history. Focus on that. Uh, uh, there's some again, over 240 the aircraft exercise that, we that have uh, they're uh, uh, part of that exercise. You know, you, and they're doing the uh, you know, a number of high-end of, uh, types of uh, 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 training and, uh, events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. And all Again, of that is designed uh, to ensure that, making sure that we, uh, we have the ability uh, attacks, uh, to defend uh, uh, the peninsula and, uh, if, if to called to do so. And so I think, uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, anyone uh, this, uh, you know, our ability device. to uh, yes, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth generation together, fighters building, recently increasing uh, you've uh, also seen us uh, 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 and, uh, and uh, increasing our ability to uh, move to a total. carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently uh, and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well but it could be that uh, that uh, you know, our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. I, I believe that uh, they are deterred from attacking North Korea, uh, South Korea. Excuse me, uh, and I also believe they are deterred from employing a nuclear device. Uh, either what, what kind uh, of behaviors against, uh, would we uh, the uh, in the peninsula or against our homeland here in the, in the U.S.? Yes, I do believe expect to deter. What is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, you know, anyone uh, make a decision to employ a nuclear device. Uh, and lately, as you've seen, uh, North Koreans have, uh, have engaged in activity uh, such as an inter testing an intercontinental ballistic missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into, uh, in, into the ocean. Uh, and, and so all of this uh, activity is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack uh, uh, South Korea. And uh, how um, the endorsed SPD and SPG from security consultative meeting last year um, and, and how the OPLAN is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCN. The question is about how the uh, process was going and when the OPLAN was going to be completed. And um, as for OPLAN, to provide my answer, to provide my answer when you're developing the OPLAN, plan, it's not a one-and-done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop given the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete. 
completed. However, what I can say is that uh, you've seen uh, we us uh, recently uh, redeploy re fifth generation uh, the, uh, upgrade. Uh, uh, fighter However, aircraft. For, uh, uh, you've seen us uh, information that I can uh, uh, There's um, a limitation to exercise our strategic so, uh, assets uh, from to time this. to time. And, and again, One final, uh, we, to answer uh, your question, we don't have here, again uh, in terms of our a plan to the types of things uh, change. Uh, Permanent uh, uh, point out that uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of uh, uh, that type of, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula uh, currently. Any uh, of our but, allies. Uh, what we're doing together, we remain uh, committed to not only to, uh, on, a, on a bilateral a basis, but also with our region. our so, uh, allies in Japan. Uh, in each and every case, and we'll assess uh, what uh, you know what's going on, and we'll. We'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, go out deterrent to the message. Families of all so, the to answer your question, South Korea, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets Americans. moving and out uh, on, on a routine basis. And we basis. stand together with the people of South Korea during this time of national mourning. Now, it's highly unfortunate that the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period with the illegal and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile last night. Uh, as well as additional missile launches today. I've consulted with Minister Lee, uh, and we've decided to extend uh, Vigilant Storm, which is our long uh, schedule combined training exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. Uh, and we'll continue to work closely together to develop options to protect the United States and our so allies to, uh, in the region. To the answer, uh, asking whether North now, Korea is ready for a nuclear let me turn test, to the work I, can, of, uh, uh, I can state the statement that um, the security as for third underbelt facility in North Korea, they are as ready you know, to conduct the uh, the nuclear test at for the that area. US but when they will carry out the uh, nuclear test is currently a uh, curiosity as uh, North together Korea to will have to take into account the political and purpose and uh, to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficult for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, Chinese year, effect we'll and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the uh, influence the that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out nuclear alliance. tests, uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the For test anyway. Seven decades, so uh, it's difficult to say that China has a uh, decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North Korea's will. across the broader Indo-Pacific. And today, the ROK is a tremendously capable ally and a provider of security in the region and, uh, I think my and a defender is of the rules-based international order and, and my that keeps us all secure. Even when South Korea and the United States are talking about... Now, Minister Lee and I had a, an outstanding uh, discussion today. Point, uh, North Korea foreign missiles and, we and talked about the DPRK's continued provocations so, uh, and destabilizing and actions. The US, uh, S uh, Ronald Reagan aircraft and at this was time of heightened Korea, tension, still no for fire and missile. So our alliance the question is, is if the deterrence uh, works when it comes to North Korea's The United States uh, remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. The attacks, you know. So there's still our extended deterrence the commitment uh, is firm. The alliance really working fine. So and it includes a full range of our nuclear, issue, uh, at the, at the CN, conventional, um, today and, and missile and defense capabilities. Any, um, effective measures beyond rhetorical excoriations. Mr. Lee and I and, also and, talked uh, about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months. To deepen our, secure, our cooperation and bolster our shared security. Just within the past year, we have conducted a very successful summit between our presidents that charted a shared vision for our alliance's future. In July, we deployed uh, fifth generation uh, fighters to the Republic yes, of Korea. Uh, I believe uh, our and in late September, are effective in the USS deterring. Ronald Reagan conducted uh, its first know, port call. One of the things that sends a strong to the ROK in five years message is our ability to work on the peninsula. Uh, we're returning to large scale uh, exercises and, uh, and to be interoperable to strengthen our combined uh, readiness and our ability, and to, train, our ability uh, to fight our tonight troops, if uh, necessary. To a, a high level, uh, we're of, committed uh, to building on, of, uh, on, on these efforts to strengthen also maintain uh, integrated deterrence, a, a combat credible and to force, ensure that this alliance uh, continues uh, in, to in bolster security uh, and, uh, and, and stability on the Korean Peninsula and throughout the Indo Pacific. Way. Again, I point to the major exercise that we have ongoing. You know, for decades, uh, U.S. I, you know, you, you and mentioned ROK's the carrier that is a serious demonstration of uh, side of by side and, to defend and, uh, the ideals combat, of freedom, uh, combat capability. 
Again, this alliance uh, we are focused on making on that sure that uh, sacrifice. nobody attacks uh, So we South will Korea. confront the challenges and, uh, of the future the same way that we have for nearly plan. 70 years. And we're also committed to deterring By standing uh, anyone shoulder from to using shoulder. a nuclear device. That's proud and allies. Yes, I do believe uh, we've been effective in I'm that. And we'll continue to work proud of what to make sure that together, and I'm very grateful we're working together, Republic building of Korea's increasing uh, capability. So thank uh, you, and uh, let me turn it over to Minister Lee for his to work together. Hello, I'm Rock Minister of Defense. First of all, thank you very much for your sincere condolences to the tragedy happened in Korea. Also, thank you for your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula and development they are deterred from attacking and your support. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and I also believe they are Today, deterred from employing a nuclear device. The 54th uh, Security Consultative uh, Meeting against, hosted for the first uh, time the, since the inauguration in the of the or against our homeland here in the, in the U.S. We once again affirm yes, the robustness of the Iraq-U.S. military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, uh, we affirm that Iraq-U.S. alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreement on defense areas as agreed upon during the May Rock U.S. Presidential Summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th CM. First, Secretary Austin and I assessed the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a grave security challenge to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, but for the international community. And in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and posture. Um, and, Secretary and Austin the is committed to the provision of, of extended deterrence to the um, Republic of Korea, the well, leveraging the, uh, the full range of military going, capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, and, um, but missile defense capabilities, plan, but also advanced so non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, deal. cyber, it's, uh, that and electromagnetic capabilities. Given the, um, take into account the environment of the situation. Secretary Austin so and I affirm that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and results in the the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming the, uh, and decisive However, response of the for, alliance. Uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so I'll keep my answer to this. This is a strong warning One against final, the DPRK. Uh, uh, note here, also, again, in terms of Secretary our Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture that, uh, in respective areas, including information sharing, uh, consultation process, joint planning, uh, and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK advancing nuclear to and missile maintaining a, a free and open in particular region. secretary so, and I will work on much. response options towards secretary all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK that is all the time we have available. to this end this concludes our press secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored deterrent strategy or TDS and pledged to the or DSC-TTX under the scenario of DPRK nuclear use. In addition, Secretary Austin pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment in and around the
resolution by keeping the window of dialog open. As stated, both countries will adhere to the principal DPRK policies through close cooperation until the day DPRK decides to denuclearize. And the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the effort to its strength. During the meeting, there are earnest discussions on cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. and our partners for the promotion of regional security and a measure of foster multi level DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the ROC US Japan security cooperation for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior level policy consultation, information sharing, South Korea, training, and personnel and exchanges. World, and Secretary and I also pledge Americans. to resume early next year the ASD level with policy the of South Korea body called during Defense this time Trilateral of Talks morning. or DTT, which has been suspended for now, the past years. Secretary it's highly and I also shared a strong DPRK sentiment on the importance of the rules-based international period, order and pledged to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in, 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 in the Pacific region. Uh, in particular, Secretary night, Austin expressed much well interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy today. framework, which is the uh, ROC government is currently Lee, developing. And we've decided to the Republic of Korea, as a responsible global pivotal state of the international community, will more closely cooperate with the United combined States, training exercise the only ally of our nation, in order to overcome global security and challenges. And we'll continue to work closely together to develop options to protect the United States and our allies in Next the region. Next year marks the 70th anniversary of the now, ROC US alliance while pursuing the, the goal of Global uh, Comprehensive Strategic Alliance. The Security Secretary Austin me. and I concur to plan and hold As various you know, it's joint the annual events capstone and celebration of the, of the 70th US anniversary for ROC future alliance. advancement of the alliance. And the it brings our defense will leaders together to, to discuss shared the challenges and opportunities made in the battlefields by the and to deepen US service our members cooperation and, and to consult on the challenges which Alliance faces today. Next year, we'll mark and the 70th anniversary of the signing the path of the U.S. For ROC US alliance. ROC Mutual Defense Treaty. By reaffirming the unwavering U.S. Alliance. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, For nearly efforts seven to strengthen decades, their capabilities to implement the extent of deterrence, as security. well as a robust the robust combined defense posture based on the capability the and resolve of our two nations through the 54th ASEAN, today, Secretary Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated values and trust ally. of the ROC U.S. alliance to the people and of both nations of and a great message of warning to the DPRK and, and the robustness of the, of the alliance international order to the international that keeps community. Us all secure. Lastly, uh, I once Lee again extend my sincere gratitude to today. Secretary Austin and the staff at the we Department of the Defense DPRK's for their warm hospitality for myself and, and the ROC delegation. Actions. Thank you very much. Secretary and Austin, at this time Mr. of heightened Lee, thank tension, you, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive quiet. translation for the question and answer portion. So, we ask you to kindly remove your headsets. First question will come from Reuters. Bill Stewart. Commitment is firm. Thank you. Uh, Secretary Austin, do you repeat the full range of our regular North Korean missile tests show the U.S. ROK alliance needs to adjust its deterrent strategy? Uh, and on Russia, is it your assessment Mr. that Ukrainian Lee and I forces also will be able to take care of some that city made in recent and, and that the Russian forces are preparing to deepen our, secure, to our cooperation and bolster our security? Mr. Lee, you've called for a shift in strategy away uh, from trying to stop Just North Korea from developing year, nuclear we weapons. Have conducted a very uh, but what would a shift from denuclearization look like? Our and do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear future. weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank you. In July, we deployed. Uh, fifth generation Thanks, fighters uh, on, to the Republic of uh, Korea. On the first question, in terms of whether in or not uh, uh, we need to Ronald adjust Reagan our strategy, his first port call I'll just say first that the uh, and you've heard me say years. this a number of times that we, in our we're commitment to, to defending the ROK, is to strengthen ironclad. our combined readiness and uh, our ability to fight condemn, tonight, uh, if necessary. The, DR, the DPRK's uh, irresponsible to on, on, uh, and on reckless to uh, activities. Integrated As deterrence, we said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, to potentially. And so we call on them to, uh, to cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious you know, dialogue. Decades, US on the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, side by side uh, to defend take, the ideals um, of freedom. The remaining territory on the west side of this the, of the uh, Dnieper River in, uh, in 
in Kyrgyzstan. So we will I certainly believe the that they have the, the capability the to do that. that Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do shoulder that. To shoulder We've seen them engage in a very methodical allies. but effective uh, I'm enormously uh, effort proud of to, uh, we've to together, and I'm take very back their sovereign territory. For the Republic of I think Korea's you'll see them continue to press so uh, until they secure the territory on the on the west side of the of the river. So to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. First of all, thank you very much for your sincere condolences to the tragedy happened in Korea. Also, thank you for your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula and development of Rock U.S. Alliance and your support. Thank you very much for that. The question was regarding the redeployment Today, of tactical nukes of the United the States to state our government stands of our denuclearization policy on the, 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 the Korean Peninsula. For the first time since the inauguration of the UN administration, we once again affirm the robustness of the Rock U.S. military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, reaffirm that Rock U.S. alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. On, on the effectiveness of the US Secretary Austin and, and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreement on defense areas as agreed upon during the May Rock U.S. presidential summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during this 54th CM. But do you still think that the current extended deterrence Secretary Austin and I assess the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats as a grave security challenge to the peace and stability not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast Asia, but for the international community. And in order to practically deter and respond to such threats, we agreed to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and posture. Um, do you think the inter-Korean comprehensive Austin military agreement is still of extended in reducing tensions between the two Korea, leveraging a full range of military do you, capabilities, do you support including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also deal? advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, cyber, and electromagnetic on a, capabilities. On the second question, I certainly, uh, yes, I do Austin think it's, uh, it's effective. that any nuclear and attack by the DPRK, uh, would, including uh, the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable uh, and my, results my in the end of Kim Jong-un regime well. by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. In terms of the effectiveness of, the of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, this we have recently— This is a strong recently, warning uh, against the DPRK. Gone back to also, uh, Secretary Austin and I pledged to further strengthen the alliance's capability and posture on, in respective uh, areas, uh, including information sharing, increasing our readiness process, and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we the have DPRK's one of the largest exercises that we've seen threats. in uh, in recent history. In particular, uh, Secretary and I will work on response options for all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. Over 240 aircraft that are uh, uh, part of that exercise. And they're doing uh, end, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. Strategy or and all of that is designed to ensure to that, to complete the that we, of the we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, uh, but if, if called to do so. And so I think, uh, I think this increased focus on readiness. Uh, this, uh, you know, our ability to uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do addition, here with uh, fifth-generation fighters recently. Uh, you've also seen us move a carrier into, uh, into port there uh, recently, and, uh, and, and I think that's, uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. But it could be that... Uh, that uh, you know, Along our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So, yes, I do think we've been, uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. And the path for a brighter future. We also pledge to continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization of North Korea. In this context, Secretary Austin what, what kind of assessed that the Rock government's audacious initiative is a practical Korea approach and expresses support for it. I expect to deter? Rock government's audacious initiative is along the same line as the U.S. approach to the DPRK, an approach of deterring well, DPRK threats based on overwhelming uh, combined defense capability you know, and posture, uh, while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic a solution device. by keeping the window of dialogue uh, and lately, open. as you've seen, um, 
North Koreans have, uh, have stated, engaged in activity uh, such as an inter uh, policies through close cooperation testing an intercontinental ballistic DPRK missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into, uh, the US in, into the ocean, uh, and, and so strength. All of this uh, meeting, activity is uh, potentially destabilizing, and so, and you know, again, and our you know, for the I think, uh, of I think and it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose Secretary to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack Japan security uh, cooperation uh, South Korea. For which we agreed to activate trilateral senior-level policy yeah, consultation, information sharing, uh, training, and personnel sir, exchanges. The minister said just a moment ago. And and I also pledged to resume early next year the ASD level policy consultation body called Defense Trilateral Talks or DTT, which has been suspended for the past year. Secretary and I also shared a strong sentiment on the importance of the rules based international order and pledged to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in the Indo Pacific region. In particular, well, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, framework, uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us. Uh, uh, the Republic of Korea is a exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to the answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of. Uh, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula Next currently, year uh, but the uh, what we're doing together, uh, not only to, uh, bil on, on a bilateral basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan. Uh, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what uh, you know what's going on, and we'll uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent today. basis, but and you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. For Rock -US alliance. By reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the extended deterrence, as well as a robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of our two nations through the 54th SCM, Secretary Austin and I assess that we have demonstrated values and trust of the Rock U.S. alliance to the people of both nations and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the the to the international community. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense for their warm hospitality towards myself and the ROC delegation. Thank you very much. Secretary so Austin, to uh, Minister Lee, thank, thank you, and gentlemen. Sir, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive for translation for the uh, question and answer portion, that, um, so would ask you to kindly the remove third your headset. Facility in North uh, first Korea, question will they come are ready from to conduct uh, uh, nuclear tests at that area. Thank you. But uh, when Secretary they will Austin, carry out the uh, nuclear test is kind of the curiosity as North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose and to exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficult process as well. And to answer the question about Chinese effect and influence on North Korea. To, if we uh, traditionally look Mr. at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, uh, there's been a time when, uh, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, North Korea still carried out the test anyway. And, and do you believe so, uh, the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? And choosing North Korea's will. Thank you. 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 Thank
I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, to take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press uh, until they secure the, uh, the territory on the, on the west side of the, of the river. So uh, to answer, to answer your question, your question, I do yes, think they have the capability. I believe uh, our activities uh, are effective in deterring. Uh, you know, uh, one of the things uh, that sends a strong deterrent message is our ability to work uh, together uh, and, and to be interoperable uh, and our ability to train uh, our troops. Uh, to a, a high level of, uh, of, uh, of uh, capability yeah, and also maintain the deployment uh, of tactical a, a nukes of the United States force, to state our government's stance uh, of uh, denuclearization policy on the, uh, and, uh, and uh, on in the Korean Peninsula. Most recently, you've uh, seen us focus on that no in a major way again. I point to the major now, exercise that we have uh, ongoing. You mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration of commitment and combat combat capability. Again, um, uh, I have we are focused on making sure that uh, nobody attacks is, um, uh, South Korea, and uh, of the we're US committed to that. Our commitment is ironclad. Um, North we're North also has committed to deterring uh, anyone from using a nuclear device. Yes, I do and believe uh, we've been effective in that, and we'll continue South to work to make sure with that we're weapons. working together, Clearly, building North increasing capability, and and but do you still think that to, uh, the current to, uh, to expanded together. deterrence arrangement has been effective yeah, in deterring North Korea? Uh, and what kind of North Korean behavior do the U.S. and South Korea seek to deter? And my second question is on the inner Korean military agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the inner Korean comprehensive military agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery uh, shells through the inner Korean it, maritime you know, buffer zone. It, I, I believe um, that, do you think uh, the inner Korean comprehensive military Korea, agreement uh, is still uh, effective in the use of tensions with the North Korea? Do you still support the inner Korean military pension uh, reduction uh, agreement, uh, in the or should we abandon the deal? Yes, I do believe that. On the on the second question, I certainly uh, yes, I do think it's uh, it's effective, and it certainly uh, would uh, invite a uh, comment from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, we have recently uh, gone back to uh, conducting a number of exercises that are focused on uh, uh, increasing our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have one of the largest exercises that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there are some over 240 aircraft that uh, they're uh, a part of that exercise. And they're doing uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. And all of that is designed to ensure that, that we, we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if, if called to do so. And so I think, uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, uh, this, uh, you know, our ability to uh, redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth-generation fighters. Given recently, the, um, taking uh, you've also the seen us uh, of the situation. Uh, so it is difficult uh, to say uh, when it will move exactly a carrier into uh, into port there uh, that, uh, recently, uh, and uh, and I think that uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. It the, could uh, be that. Uh, However, uh, as that, for uh, the specifics of uh, the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation. You know, due to our, our neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been we've been effective. No, and we will continue to work at this and ensure that we remain effective of things that we're deterring. I would point out that uh, we're committed to deterring uh, that type of activity uh, against any of our allies. What, what kind of behaviors will you remain committed to maintaining a, a free and open Indo-Pacific region? So expect to deter? Like, what is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring up? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see uh, uh, in Seoul this past you know, weekend anyone uh, make a decision to employ to the a nuclear device. The victims from across uh, South Korea, lately, as you've seen, and around the world, uh, including 
North Koreans have uh, have engaged in activity. And we stand together uh, with the people such of South Korea an during inter- this time of national mourning. Testing an intercontinental ballistic missile, now, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing DPRK artillery uh, into uh, in, into the ocean, uh, the and, and so and all of this ar- uh, activity of is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, missile, you know, again, uh, you know. I as think well uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to to do that I've kind of thing, but Minister certainly Lee, we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear storm, weapon or uh, choose to attack a long, uh, uh, scheduled uh, combined Korea. training exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. A question for each of you, Secretary. And we'll continue to work closely to together to develop to options to, to, any DPRK to protect the United States and our allies in the region. Equivalent to a constant deployment through increased now, frequency and intensity of strategic assets. Let me asset turn to the work of what uh, strategic assets do you intend to deploy to the, the security Peninsula? consultative meeting. Is this a change in U.S. posture in the region? As you know, and, it's and the minister, annual capstone event for, for the Korean nuclear U.S. test is imminent. Rock and is alliance. China playing a constructive role in preventing And it brings our defense leaders together to discuss uh, your seen us uh, recently uh, re- Redeploy fifth generation uh, and uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, next year. We'll mark the seventieth uh, anniversary of the signing. Exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to for nearly seven uh, decades, change this permanent uh, has been an anchor of peace our, our and permanent security. positioning or stationing of uh, of assets on the uh, on the, the peninsula currently, uh, but. Now, what we're doing together, today, uh, not only to, uh, bi- on, a, on a bilateral a basis, but also with our, ally. our uh, allies in Japan, and a provider uh, of security in, in each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, of the rules you know, based international what's going order. on, and we'll, uh, we'll, keeps us all we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide well, the right Lee kind of an, uh, an deterrent message. Today. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out. Uh, on, on a routine and basis. And at this time of heightened tension, yeah, our alliance is ironclad. The United States remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. Our extended deterrence commitment is firm. It includes a full range of our nuclear, conventional, and missile defense capabilities. Mr. Lee and I also talked about the tremendous progress that we've made in recent months to deepen our, secu- our cooperation and bolster our shared security. Just within the past year, we have conducted a very successful summit between our presidents that charted a shared vision for our alliance's future. In July, we deployed so to, uh, our fifth-generation fighters to the Republic of Korea. Korea is ready for a nuclear test. And in I can, late September, uh, the, that, um, the USS Ronald Reagan conducted its first port in North call. Korea. They are ready to, the to conduct a uh, nuclear years. test at that area. But when they will carry out the uh, nuclear test is currently uh, still a curiosity as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political purpose tonight, and uh, to exactly necessary. estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty We're for us as well. To on, and to on, answer on the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the uh, influence that China had in North Korea in the past, there's been a time when despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out nuclear test, North Korea still still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, you know, it's difficult decades, to say that China has a um, decisive uh, effect in, um, North, in choosing North Korea's side by side to defend the ideals of freedom. Question will go to Yan Hap, Song Ha, Song. This alliance is founded on that yeah. shared both, sacrifice. Uh, and B and so we will confront the, the challenges of the future the same way that we have for and, uh, nearly 70 years. I think my question is similar to my standing shoulder CNN to shoulder and, and my colleague, but uh, as proud allies. even when South Korea and the United States are talking about I'm enormously the proud of what uh, we've accomplished CM together, and I'm very point, grateful uh, to and the Republic of Korea's partnership. So, Thank you, and uh, let me and turn it over to Mr. Uh, Lee for his comments. Uh, Ronald Reagan aircraft carrier was in South Korea, still a nuclear file and missile. So Hello. the question is if the deterrence uh, works when it comes First to North all, Korea's uh, conventional forms of provocation or low-intensity attacks. You know. so Thank you very still much for your sincere condolences uh, to the, the tragedy happened in Korea. Confined. So 
Did you actually discuss that issue uh, also, at the SSCM um, today? Thank you for your and effort and for the peace and security in the Korean uh, Peninsula, Peninsula and development of ROC-US alliance and, and, uh, and your support. Thank you very much for that. Today, the 54th Security Council data meeting hosted for the first time since the inauguration of the UN administration. We once again affirmed the robustness of the ROC US military alliance and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, we affirm that ROC US alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. One of the things that sends Secretary a strong Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work uh, on the together, details of the agreements uh, and, uh, and to be on defense areas as agreed uh, upon during the May ROC U.S. presidential uh, summit. Uh, Today was my third time to meet Secretary uh, Austin, uh, and we made a lot of achievements of, uh, during this 54th also maintain, uh, a, a combat First, credible force. Uh, uh, Secretary Austin and I assessed the, the daily advances uh, and, uh, of DPRK and nuclear and missile threats as a grave security challenge Again, to the peace to and stability, not only on the Korean Peninsula and in the uh, Northeast I, Asia, but know, for the international community. The carrier, and in order to practically deter and respond to such in, threats, in, we agreed uh, to combat, further strengthen uh, the alliance capabilities Again, and posture. Uh, we are focused on making sure that uh, Nobody Secretary Austin uh, committed to the provision and, uh, of extended deterrence to, to the Republic of Korea, leveraging a full range of military capabilities, uh, including not only nuclear, nuclear and conventional device. forces, but missile and defense yes, capabilities, believe, uh, but also advanced non-nuclear we'll capabilities, such as space, sure cyber, and electromagnetic together, capabilities. Building increasing uh, capability. Secretary uh, and, uh, Austin and I affirm and that any nuclear to, attack uh, by the DPRK, together. including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. Criticism of this is a strong warning against the DPRK. Also, I, I Secretary it, Austin you know, and it, I pledge to further strengthen alliances' capability and posture in respective Korea, areas, uh, including Korea, information sharing, uh, consultation process, joint planning, and execution device, to effectively deter uh, and respond to the DPRK's uh, against, uh, advancing uh, the nuclear uh, and the missile peninsula threats. Or against our homeland here in, uh, in, the US. in particular, Secretary yes, I and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear uh, use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, uh, Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored deterrent strategy, or TDS, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by annually conducting the Deterrent Strategy Committee Tabletop Exercise, or DSC-TTX, under the scenario of the DPRK nuclear In addition, Secretary Austin pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through increasing the frequency and intensity of strategic asset deployment in and around the Korean Peninsula. Along with the efforts of the Alliance to deter and respond to DPRK nuclear threats, Secretary Austin and I pledged to encourage DPRK to choose denuclearization and the path for a brighter future. We also pledged to continue our cooperation to achieve a complete denuclearization of North Korea. The question is about how the process was going and when the OPEN was going to be completed. The ROC government's audacious initiative is a practical approach and expresses a support for it. The ROC government's audacious initiative is along the same line as the U.S. The, um, as the U.S. approach the to the DPRK, the situation. So an approach of deterring DPRK say, uh, when threats based exactly on overwhelming combined However, defense capability and posture, that, uh, we will, while in parallel in seeking for a diplomatic open, solution by keeping the window of dialogue the, uh, open. Upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information that I can divulge, there's um, a limitation due to um, military confidentiality. As stated, both countries so will adhere to the principal to DPRK policies and through close cooperation uh, until uh, the day DPRK Again, decides to denuclearize. The types of things that we're and the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the uh, U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. Uh, that type of activity During the meeting, uh, there are earnest discussions on cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. and our partners for the promotion of regional security and a measure of bolstering multilateral cooperation. Thank you very much.
In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the ROC US Japan security cooperation for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior level policy consultation. Trilateral Talks, or DTT, which has been suspended for the past years. Secretary and I also shared a strong sentiment on the importance of the rules-based international order and pledged to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. In particular, Secretary Austin expressed much interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy framework, which is the ROC government is currently developing. The Republic of Korea is a responsible global capital of the international community will more closely cooperate with the United States, the only ally of our nation, in order to overcome global security challenges. Next year marks the 70th anniversary of the ROC US alliance. While pursuing the goal of global comprehensive strategic alliance, Secretary Austin and I concur to plan and hold various joint events in celebration of the 70th anniversary future advancement of the alliance. The event will serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices made in the battlefield by the ROC and U.S. service members and to consult on the challenges which the alliance faces today and to envision the path forward for ROC U.S. alliance. By reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the extended deterrence, as well as the robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of our two nations through the 54th ASEAN, Secretary Austin and ISS that we have demonstrated values and trust in the ROC U.S. alliance to the people of both nations and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance for the to the international community that occurred in Seoul this past weekend. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere to gratitude to all the Secretary Austin and the South staff Korea at the Department of Defense for their warm the hospitality towards myself and the ROC delegation. Two young Americans. Thank you very much. Secretary and we stand together with the people of South Korea during this time of national we'll be switching to consecutive translation for the question and now, answer portion, so would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. It's that the DPRK uh, first question has chosen to interrupt this Phil solemn Stewart. period. Thank you. With uh, the Secretary illegal Austin, and due to destabilizing launch of an intercontinental continental show the US uh, ballistic ROK missile alliance needs night. to adjust its deterrent strategy. As well as uh, and on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian today. forces will be able to retake Kherson City with Minister and, Lee, and that the and Russian forces are preparing to, to leave? And extend to, uh, Minister Lee, storm, you've called for a shift in strategy away uh, from trying to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but what would a shift from denuclearization look like? And, and do you believe the U.S. needs to consider we'll reintroducing to tactical nuclear to weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank you. To protect the United States and our allies in the region. Thanks, Phil. Uh, on, uh, on the first question, in terms of whether or not uh, uh, we need to adjust our strategy, I'll just say first you know, that, uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times, US that we, you know, our commitment to and defending and it brings the ROK our defense leaders is together to discuss shared uh, challenges. We strongly and condemn uh, and to deepen the, uh, the DPRK's uh, and irresponsible uh, and reckless uh, Next year activities. Next we'll mark the 70th anniversary. As we said of before, the these kinds of activities of the are US destabilizing to the region. Rock mutual potentially. defense treaty. So we call the on them to uh, to cease that alliance. that type of activity and to begin to engage decades, in serious dialogue. This alliance has been an anchor on the issue of, of whether or not the Ukrainians the can uh, and across uh, the broader take, uh, pacific the remaining territory on the west today, side of the of the uh, Dnieper the River is in, a uh, tremendously in, capable in Kyrgyzstan. I certainly believe that they have the capability to do that. Most importantly. And the Ukrainians believe the that they have the capability to do that. Order. We've seen them engage in a very secure. methodical but effective uh, now, Minister uh, Lee and I had effort an to, uh, to discussion today. take back their sovereign territory. We talked about I think the you'll see them continue to press uh, until they secure the, uh, the territory on the, on the west side of the, of the of river. Tension, so to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. Is ironclad. The United States remains fully committed to the defense of the ROK. 
미국의 전술핵 재배치에 대한 질문을 우선 이해를 하는데 우리 정부의 한반도 비핵화 정책에 대해서는 변함이 없습니다. 그리고 전술핵 재배치를 고려하고 있지는 않습니다. 5th uh, generation fighters to the Republic of Korea. Um, I have two questions. And in late September, the USS Ronald Reagan conducted its first port call to the ROK in five years. North Korea has so far launched On the peninsula, we're returning to large-scale exercises to strengthen our combined readiness and our ability to fight tonight if necessary. We're committed to building on these efforts to strengthen integrated deterrence and to ensure that this alliance continues to bolster security and stability on the Korean Peninsula and throughout the Indo-Pacific. And my second question is on the Inter-Korean Military Agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the Inter-Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells through the Inter-Korean Maritime Buffer Zone. Um, do you sacrifice. think the Inter-Korean Comprehensive Military so Agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the, do you, do you support the Inter-Korean Military Tension Reduction Agreement, or should we abandon the deal? I'm enormously proud of what we've accomplished together, and I'm very grateful on the, on the second question, I certainly, uh, so yes, I do you. think it's, uh, it it's effective, Lee and it certainly uh, would uh, invite uh, comment from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. In terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence, yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out to you that uh, we have recently uh, gone back to uh, conducting a number of exercises that are focused on and your support. Thank uh, you very much for that. Increasing our readiness and our ability Today, to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have uh, one of the largest the exercises that we've seen in, uh, in recent history. We once again uh, there's some the over 240 the aircraft that uh, are uh, part of that exercise, posture. and they're doing uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training Alliance events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events. And all of that is designed to ensure that that we, we have the ability and the uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if, if called Austin to do so. And, I and so I think, uh, I think this increased this focus on readiness, on the uh, this, uh, you know, our ability to on uh, areas redeploy or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, summit. as you've seen us do Today here with uh, fifth generation Secretary fighters Austin, recently. Uh, you've also seen us First, move a carrier into, uh, into port Austin there and I uh, recently, the and, uh, and I think that uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. As a grave security it could challenge be that, to the uh, peace and stability, uh, not only on the Korean Peninsula uh, and in the Northeast Asia, but you know, for the international community. Our neighbors community. in the North there may be and concerned in about our, our increased focus on readiness. Threats, so yes, I do think we've been, uh, we've been effective, the and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. Secretary Austin committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Republic of Korea, leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including what, what not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, cyber, and electromagnetic what is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying Secretary to bring Austin about? Secretary Austin and I affirm well, that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, uh, including the use of tactical know, nuclear weapons, uh, is unacceptable and results in the device. end of Kim Jong-un regime uh, by the and overwhelming likely, and decisive seen, response of the uh, alliance. North Koreans have, uh, have engaged in activity uh, such as this inter, is a strong uh, warning against the DPRK. Testing an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile, also, a number of short-range ballistic and missiles, I pledge to further uh, firing artillery uh, into, uh, and posture in in, into areas, the ocean, uh, and, and so process, all of this uh, activity and is uh, potentially destabilizing. And so, you know, again, you know, I think, uh, I think 
In it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but all certainly possible nuclear nuclear we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear to weapon end, or uh, choose to attack Secretary and I noted that uh, progress uh, in Korea. revising the tailored deterrent strategy, or TDS, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by annually conducting current strategy committee tabletop exercise or DSC TTX under the scenario of DPRK nuclear In addition, Secretary Austin pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by employing U.S. strategic assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment through uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth-generation uh, uh, fighter aircraft. Uh, you've seen us uh, uh, exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have uh, a plan to uh, change permanent, uh, our, our permanent positioning or stationing of, uh, of assets on the uh, on the peninsula currently, uh, but. Uh, what Austin we're doing together, uh, not only to, uh, bil on, a, on a bilateral approach, basis, but also with our, our uh, allies in Japan, Rock uh, in, in each and every case, line, we'll assess uh, what the, the you know, what's going on, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. So, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out. Uh, as stated, on, on both basis. countries will adhere to the principal DPRK yeah. policies yeah. through close cooperation yeah. until the day DPRK yeah. decides yeah. to denuclearize. Yeah. And the ROC Ministry of yeah. National yeah. Defense and the U.S. Department yeah. of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. During the meeting, yeah. there are yeah. earnest yeah. discussions and cooperation yeah. between the ROC yeah. and the U.S. Yeah. and our partners yeah. for the promotion yeah. of regional yeah. security yeah. and yeah. measures yeah. of bolstering yeah. multilateral yeah. cooperation. Yeah. In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirm to continuously advance the ROC US Japan security cooperation for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior level policy consultation, information sharing, training, and personnel exchanges. And Secretary and I also pledge to resume early next year the ASD level policy consultation body called Defense Trilateral Talks for DTT which can, uh, has been suspended for the past years. That, um, Secretary and I also shared a strong sentiment Korea, on the importance of the rules-based uh, international order and pledged to but closely when they will cooperate for the peace uh, and stability in the, in the, in the Pacific uh, so region. As, uh, North Korea in particular, take into Secretary Austin expressed much interest and, uh, in the Indo-Pacific strategy exactly estimate when they will carry out the nuclear test is a difficulty for us as well. Which is the and to answer the question about Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the influence that China had in North Korea in the past, there's been a time when, uh, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out nuclear tests, in order to uh, North Korea is still uh, carried out the test anyway. So uh, it's difficult to say that China has a um, decisive uh, effect in, um, North in choosing North Korea's will. Next year marks the 70th anniversary of the ROC US alliance while pursuing the goal of global comprehensive strategic alliance. Secretary Austin and I concur to plan and hold various joint events in celebration of the 70th anniversary for future advancement of the alliance. The event will serve as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices made in the battlefields by the ROC and US service members and to consult on the challenges which alliance faces today. And US, uh, to envision uh, the path a, a forward for rock us alliance still, no file missile. so the question is if the, the by reaffirming uh, the unwavering us North defense Korea's commitment uh, to the republic of korea efforts to strengthen the capabilities to so implement the extended deterrence as well as the robust the combined, combined defense posture so based on the capability and resolve of our two nations through the 54th scm secretary austin and i assess that we have demonstrated values and trust of the rock us alliance to the people of both nations and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance to the international community. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense for their warm hospitality towards myself and the ROC delegation. Thank you very much.
Secretary Austin, Minister Lee, thank you, gentlemen. Uh, to answer your Ladies question, and gentlemen, yes, we'll be switching uh, to believe, consecutive uh, translation for the question and answer portion, so I would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. Uh, you know, uh, first question will come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. Message is our Thank ability you. to Secretary work Austin, uh, do together. repeated and increasingly uh, regular and, and North and Korean missile tests show the U.S. Uh, and our ability to train, to adjust uh, its uh, strategy. Uh, and on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian level, forces uh, will be of, able to uh, retake Kherson City and, and, and that the Russian forces are preparing uh, to leave? A, a and to um, combat Minister Lee, you've called for a shift uh, in strategy in away uh, from trying and, to stop uh, North Korea from developing nuclear recently, weapons. Uh, but what would a shift from your denuclearization look like? And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? And, uh, and combat. Uh, Thanks, combat Phil. Uh, on, uh, on the first question, uh, in terms of whether or not sure uh, that, uh, uh, we need to adjust our strategy, uh, South Korea. I'll and, just say uh, first that, that uh, you've heard me say this a number of times. We're also committed to we, you know, our commitment to using a defending device. the ROK yes, is ironclad. Uh, we've been effective. In that. Uh, and we we'll strongly to condemn to make sure that. The, DR, the DPRK is uh, irresponsible uh, uh, and reckless uh, uh, and, uh, activities. And, and increasing As we said before, to, these uh, kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, uh, potentially. Uh, uh, so we call on them to, uh, to cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, uh, take uh, the remaining territory on the west side of the you know, of the uh, Dnieper I, I River that, and, uh, uh, they in, are deterred from Kyrgyzstan, North Korea. I uh, certainly Korea, believe that me. they have the capability uh, to do that. Most importantly, from employing the Ukrainians device. believe that they have uh, the capability either, to do that. Uh, against, We've seen uh, them engage uh, the, in a very uh, in methodical but effective uh, here in the, in the uh, U.S. effort yes, to uh, to take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press uh, until they secure the uh, the territory on the, on the west side of the, of the river. So to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. The redeployment of tactical nukes of the United States to say our government stance of uh, denuclearization policy on the Republic uh, of Korea and the Peninsula. I'd like to say that there's no change in our denuclearization policy and that for now we do not have a need or currently not to redeploy tactical nukes on the Korean Peninsula. Yeah, awesome. Our next question was regarding the development of OPLAN and uh, how um, the endorsed SPD and SPG from Security Consultative Meeting last year um, and, and how the OPLAN is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about how the uh, process was going and when the OPLAN was going to be completed. And um, as for OPLAN, to provide my answer, answer, when you're developing the OPLAN, it's not a one and done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop given the, um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the old plan, we are seeking to expedite the uh, upgrade. However, uh, as for uh, the specifics of the information, I can divulge there's um, a limitation due to uh, military confidentiality, so I will keep my answer to this. It has fired around one bound of artillery shells for the inner Korean maritime buffer jump. Um, do you think the inner Korean comprehensive that, uh, military agreement is still effective in reducing uh, tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the do you, do you support the inner Korean military tension reduction agreement, or should we abandon the deal? A free and open Indo-Pacific region. So, thank you very much. On the on the second question, I certainly uh, yes, I do think it's uh, it's effective, and it certainly uh, would uh, this past weekend. Invite uh, comments from my, to my colleague here, all the victims Minister from Lee, as well. South Korea in terms of the effectiveness the of the, our deterrence, Including yes, I do think Americans. we've been effective. I would point out we to you that uh, with the people of South Korea we have recently uh, gone back now, to uh, conducting a number of exercises that are focused on this solemn uh, period. Uh, 
increasing our readiness and our ability to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, right now we have one of the largest exercises that we've seen as well as in, uh, in recent history. Uh, there are some over 240 aircraft that uh, are, to uh, are part of that exercise. And they're doing storm, uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting training a number of high-end types of training events. And all of that is designed to ensure that, that we, we have the ability we'll continue to, uh, to defend uh, the to peninsula uh, if, if called to, to do so. The and States so I think, uh, I think this increased region. focus on readiness. Uh, this, uh, you know, our ability to, Let me turn to the work uh, redeploy of, uh, or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth as generation you know, it's fighters. Recently. Event for the uh, you've also US seen us uh, Rock uh, Alliance. Uh, um, and it brings move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, recently, and uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong and signal as well. Our cooperation it could be friendship. that uh, that. Uh, Next year, we'll mark the 70th anniversary of the you know, signing. Our neighbors in the north there the may US be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been effective, and we will continue alliance. to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. For nearly seven decades. This alliance has been an anchor of peace and security on the Korean Peninsula and across the broader Indo-Pacific. What, what kind of behaviors would we? The ROK is a tremendously capable ally. Expect to deter. Provider of security in the region. What is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? Well, certainly we, we don't want to see. Uh, you know, anyone uh, uh, make Lee a decision to employ a nuclear device. Uh, and lately, we talked as about you've the seen, DPRK's continued um, provocations and destabilizing North actions. Koreans have uh, have engaged in activity and at this time of uh, heightened such tension, as an inter uh, our alliance is ironclad. Testing an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, of the uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, uh, in, into the ocean, is firm. Uh, and and so. And All of this our, uh, activity of is uh, potentially destabilizing, and so and you know, again, capabilities. You know, I think uh, I think it's Mr. possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack. Uh, uh, Just within South the Korea. past year, we have conducted a very successful Expected summit between our presidents uh, that charted a shared vision Senator, for sir, the minister said our alliance's future. That you pledged to effectively respond to any DPRK In July, provocation by deploying strategic assets. Uh, fifth generation to fighters to the Republic to of Korea. Intensity of strategic asset deployment. And in late September, what do you to deploy the USS Ronald Peninsula? Reagan conducted its first port call. To the and ROK in sir, five years. Do you believe a North Korean nuclear test is imminent? On the and peninsula, we're returning to large scale exercises them from carrying out to such strengthen tests. our combined readiness. Uh, you've seen us uh, recently uh, re redeploy fifth generation uh, uh, to fighter aircraft. On, on, on uh, you've seen us uh, integrated deterrence. Exercise our strategic uh, assets uh, from time to time. And, and again, and uh, we, to answer your question, we don't have. A plan to uh, change you know, decades, permanent uh, US our, our permanent RK positioning or stationing of uh, of assets side side on the uh, on the peninsula the currently. Uh, but you know, what we're doing together, this alliance uh, is not only to, uh, on, bi on, a, on a bilateral sacrifice. basis, but also with our our uh, allies so in Japan. The challenges uh, of the future, the same in, way in that each we and have every case, we'll assess uh, what uh, you know By what's going on, and we'll uh, we'll we'll work together allies. to ensure that we. Uh, provide I'm the right kind of, uh, of deterrent message. Together, and I'm very so, to answer your question, uh, no new deployment of, of uh, strategic assets on so a permanent basis, but you'll see assets Lee moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. Hello, I'm Rock Minister of Defense. First of all, Thank you very much for your sincere condolences to the tragedy happening in Korea. Uh, also, thank you for your effort for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula, uh, peninsula and development of Rock U.S. Alliance and your support. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Today, through the 54th Security Consultative Meeting, hosted for the first time since the inauguration of the UN administration, we once again affirm the robustness of the Rock U.S. military alliance uh, and the steadfastness of the combined defense posture. Furthermore, reaffirm 
The ROC so US to, Alliance uh, is developing answer, into a global uh, comprehensive strategic Korea alliance based on shared values test. such as can, uh, liberal democracy, that, human um, rights, and the rule of law. Facility in North Korea, they are ready Secretary to conduct, Austin uh, and I held two ministerial area. meetings this year to work the, on the details uh, of the agreement is currently, uh, still a on defense as, uh, areas as agreed upon during the May ROC U.S. presidential summit. And, uh, to exactly Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of and achievements the question during about, uh, this Chinese effect and influence on North Korea. If we traditionally look at the influence that China had in North Korea, and I assess the daily advances of DPRK nuclear and missile threats. North as a Korea great security a challenge uh, to North the peace and stability, uh, not only anyway. on the Korean Peninsula so, uh, and in the Northeast has, Asia, um, but for the international community. In, um, and in order to practically deter and respond well. to such threats, we agree to further strengthen the alliance capabilities and posture. Secretary Austin committed to the provision of extended deterrence to the Republic of Korea, leveraging the full range of military capabilities, including not only nuclear and conventional forces, but missile defense capabilities, but also advanced non-nuclear capabilities, such as space, cyber, and electromagnetic capabilities. Secretary Austin and I affirm that any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. Or low intensity attacks, you know. So they're still concerned whether or not the terms uh, of the alliance really working fine. So this is a strong you, warning against issue, the DPRK. Uh, at the CCM, um, today. And, also, and you Secretary any, Austin uh, and I pledge to further strengthen alliance's capability and posture in respective areas, including uh, information uh, sharing, uh, consultation uh, process, uh, joint uh, planning, uh, and execution uh, to effectively uh, deter and respond to the DPRK advancing nuclear and missile Threats. In particular, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored uh, deterrence question, strategy, yes, or TDS, uh, believe, uh, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM uh, you know, and prepare response options by annually conducting deterrence strategy committee tabletop to exercise uh, together or DSC uh, and, TTX and under the scenario of DPRK uh, and our ability use. to train uh, our troops. Uh, in addition, to a, a high Secretary level Austin pledged uh, to effectively uh, respond to any uh, DPRK provocation by employing uh, U.S. strategic a, a assets to the level equivalent to constant deployment uh, uh, through increasing in the, the frequency and intensity uh, and, uh, of strategic and in asset deployment recently, in and around the Korean on that in a major way. Again, I point to the major exercise that we have ongoing. Uh, I, you know, Along with you, you the efforts of the Alliance to deter and respond to DPRK of, uh, nuclear threats, and, Secretary and, uh, Austin and, and combat, I uh, pledge to encourage DPRK Again, to choose uh, denuclearization and the path for a brighter that, future. Uh, we also pledge to continue our cooperation uh, to achieve Korea, a complete and, uh, denuclearization of that, North our Korea. Is ironclad, and we're In also this committed context, to deterring Secretary uh, Austin assessed that the ROC device. government's audacious yes, initiative believe, is a practical uh, approach that, and, we'll and expresses to work support for it. To make sure that ROC government's audacious initiative together, is along the same line as the U.S. Uh, approach to the DPRK, uh, and, uh, an approach of deterring DPRK threats to, uh, based on overwhelming combined defense capability and posture, uh, while in parallel uh, seeking uh, for a diplomatic uh, solution uh, by uh, keeping the window of dialogue uh, open. Criticism As stated, both countries will adhere to the principal DPRK policies through a close cooperation until the day DPRK decides to denuclearize. I, I believe that uh, and the ROC Ministry of National Defense and the U.S. Korea, Department uh, of Korea, Defense will backstop the approach. Uh, and strength. I also believe they are deterred During the from meeting, employing a nuclear device. There are earnest discussions uh, and cooperation between uh, the ROC and the U.S. Uh, uh, and our uh, partners uh, in the for the promotion of regional security in and of measures of bolstering multilateral cooperation. In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirmed to continuously advance the ROC US Japan security cooperation, for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior level policy consultations, information sharing, training, and personnel exchanges. And Secretary and I also pledged to resume early next year the ASD level policy consultation body called Defense Trilateral Talks or DTT, which has been suspended for the past year. Secretary 
Mary and I also share the strong sentiment on the importance of the rules-based international order and pledge to closely cooperate for the peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific region. In particular, Secretary Austin expressed much interest in the Indo-Pacific strategy framework, which is the ROC government is currently developing. The Republic of Korea, as a responsible global pivotal state of the international community, will more closely cooperate with the United States, the only ally of our nation, in order to overcome global security, security consultative challenges. Meeting last year, um, and and how the O-Plan is developing on top of those uh, agreements that were made um, in SCM. The question is about how the uh, process was going the and when the O-Plan was going to be completed. And um, as for O-Plan to provide an answer, to provide an answer when developing the O-Plan, it's not a one-and-done deal. It's uh, something that you continue to develop given the um, taking into account the environment of the situation. So it is difficult to say uh, when it will exactly complete it. However, what I can say is that uh, we will, in the process of developing the O-Plan, we are seeking to expedite members, the and uh, upgrade. To consult on the However, I'll uh, ask for uh, the specifics of the today. information that and I can divulge. There's um, a limitation to due to uh, military confidentiality, so I'll uh, keep my Alliance. answer to this. And one final, uh, By reaffirming uh, the unwavering here, U.S. defense again, commitment to the Republic of, of Korea, efforts, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to implement the intended deterrence, as well as the robust combined defense uh, that posture type of based activity, on the capability and uh, resolve of our two nations through the 54th SCM, and the we remain Secretary committed to maintaining a free and open Indo-Pacific that we have demonstrated values and trust of the ROC U.S. alliance to the people of both nations, and a great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness of the alliance to the international community. Thank you. Lastly, I once again extend my sincere gratitude to the and the staff of the Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive translation for the question and answer portion, so would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. Uh, first question will come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. Thank you. Uh, Secretary Austin, do the repeated and increasingly regular North Korean missile tests show the U.S. ROK alliance needs to adjust its deterrent strategy? Uh, and in Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian forces will be able to retake Kherson City and, and that the Russian forces are preparing to leave? And to, uh, Minister Lee, you called for a shift in strategy away uh, from trying to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but what would a shift from denuclearization look like? And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank you. Thanks, Phil. Um, uh, on the first question, in terms of whether or not uh, uh, we need to adjust our strategy, I'll just say first that, uh, and you've heard me say this a number of times, that we, you know, our commitment to defending the ROK is ironclad. said before, these kinds of activities are destabilizing to the region, potentially. So we call on them to, uh, to cease that, that type of activity and to begin to engage in serious dialogue. On the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians can uh, take uh, the remaining territory on the west side of Most importantly, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability for the terrible tragedy. We've seen them engage in a very methodical but effective uh, uh, effort to, uh, to take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press uh, until they secure the, uh, the territory on the on the west side of the, of the river. The people of South so to answer your question, I do think they have the capability. Now, it's highly unfortunate that the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period with the illegal and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile last night, as well as additional missile launches today. 
I've consulted with Minister Lee, and we've decided to extend vigilant storm, which is our long-scheduled combined training training exercise to say that there's no change in our to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. And we'll continue to work closely together to develop options to protect the United States and our allies in the region. Now, let me turn to the work of the security consultative on, on the effectiveness of the U.S. As you know, it's the annual security. capstone event for um, the U.S. For Rock Alliance. Mm -hmm. of different types and it brings our September. defense leaders together to discuss shared challenges and opportunities and to deepen our cooperation weapons. and friendship. Clearly, North Korea has continued saber rattling and Next year, we'll mark the 70th the anniversary of the signing the of the U.S. Has been Rock Mutual in Defense in Treaty. North Korea and what kind of North Korean behavior the alliance. U.S. and South Korea seek to deter? For nearly seven and my decades, second question is on the inter-Korean military an agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the inter-Korean comprehensive military agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells for the inter-Korean maritime buffer zone. Do um, you think the inter-Korean comprehensive military agreement is still effective in reducing tensions the between the two Korea? Do you still support the do you, do you support inter Korean military tension reduction agreement secure. or should we abandon the deal? Now, Minister Lee and I had a, an outstanding discussion today. On the, on the second question, the I certainly. Uh, uh, yes, I do think it's, uh, it's effective and it certainly. Uh, and at would, this time uh, of heightened tension, invite a uh, comment from my, my colleague plan. here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. The United States remains In terms fully of the effectiveness to the of the, our deterrence. Yes, I do think we've been effective. I would point out firm, to you that uh, and we have recently of our nuclear, uh, and conventional, gone back to and missile defense uh, capabilities. conducting a number of exercises Mr. that are focused on also talked about uh, the tremendous uh, progress that we've made increasing in our readiness and our to ability our to be able to fight tonight. As a matter of fact, Right now, we have security. one of the largest exercises that we've Just seen the in, past uh, year, we in recent history. A very successful uh, there are some over 240 aircraft that, that uh, they're uh, a part of that exercise, and they're doing uh, you know, a number of high-end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting a number of high-end types of training events, of and all of that is designed to ensure that, that we, we have the ability the uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if, to if the called to do so. Years. And so I think uh, I think this increased focus on, on readiness, uh, to uh, this uh, you know, our ability to, uh, to redeploy or deploy strategic assets to, to the peninsula, as you've seen us do necessary. here with uh, fifth generation fighters. We're committed recently. to building on, uh, you've also on, seen on these us, uh, efforts to strengthen uh, integrated uh, deterrence. Move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, to recently, and, uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong signal as well. It could be that that. Uh, you know, for decades, U.S. You know, your, our neighbors in the North there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So yes, I do think we've been uh, we've been effective, and we will continue to look at this, this and ensure that we remain effective. on that shared sacrifice. So we will confront the challenges of the future the same way that we have for nearly 70 years. By standing shoulder what, what kind to shoulder of behaviors would we as proud allies? Do the U.S. and South Korea I'm an enormously to proud of what we've accomplished expect together. To deter. I'm very grateful. Like, what is the Republic desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying so to bring you. about? Turn it over to well, certainly, we, we don't want to see. Uh, you know, anyone uh, make a decision Hello. to employ I'm a nuclear defense. device. Uh, and lately, all, as you've seen. Thank North you Koreans have, uh, have engaged in activity uh, such Korea. as an inter, uh, also, testing an intercontinental uh, ballistic missile, effort, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, in, into the ocean, uh, and and so. All of this uh, activity is uh, potentially destabilizing, and so, you know, again, you know, I think, uh, I think it's possible that they could continue to, to do that kind of thing, but certainly we are focused on making sure that they don't choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to attack uh, South Korea. Alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. 
that you pledged to effectively respond Secretary to any DPRK Austin provocation Secretary Austin and I held two US ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreement of on defense areas as what agreed upon during the May rocketless presidential summit. Is, is this a change in US Today was my third time to meet Secretary and Austin, Austin and we made a lot of Korean achievements during this 54th is China playing a constructive role in preventing First, them from carrying out such attacks? Secretary Austin and I assessed the daily advances of DPRK nuclear missile threats as a great security challenge uh, to the uh, peace and stability, uh, not only on the Korean Peninsula uh, and uh, in the Northeast Asia, but for the exercise international our community. Strategic, uh, and in order assets, to practically uh, deter time and time. respond to such and, threats, and again, we agree to uh, we, further to strengthen question, the alliance we don't capabilities have, uh, and posture. A plan to uh, change permanent uh, Secretary Austin committed uh, our to the provision of extended deterrence to the of Republic of Korea, on the, uh, on leveraging the, the full range of military uh, capabilities, but, uh, including not only nuclear together, conventional forces, uh, but missile not only defense to, uh, capabilities, on a, on a but also advanced basis, but also nuclear with our, capabilities, our, our, such as uh, space, Japan, cyber, uh, and electromagnetic in, capabilities. In each and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, Secretary you know, what's going on, and we'll any nuclear attack by the DPRK, including the use of tactical nuclear weapons, is unacceptable and results in the end of so, Kim Jong-un regime question, by the overwhelming uh, no and decisive response of the alliance. Assets on a permanent basis, but you'll see assets moving in and out uh, on, on a routine basis. This is a strong warning against the DPRK. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledged to further strengthen alliances' capability and posture in respective areas, including information sharing, consultation process, joint planning, and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK's advancing nuclear and missile threats. In particular, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. Uh, to this end, Secretary and I noted that progress in revising the tailored deterrence strategy, or TDS, and pledged to put efforts to complete the revision of the TDS by the 2023 SCM and prepare response options by annually conducting deterrence strategy committee so to, uh, tabletop to exercise. The answer, uh, Asking or DSC TTX under the test, scenario of I can, uh, DPRK I can state nuclear the statement use. That, um, has for the third underground facility in North in addition, Korea, they are Secretary ready to Austin conduct uh, the nuclear tests at that area. DPRK but when they will carry out the uh, nuclear US tests, there is currently a uh, so curiosity as uh, North Korea will have to take into account the political and purpose and uh, to exactly and estimate and when they will carry the out the nuclear Korean tests is a difficulty for us as well. And to answer the question about uh, Chinese effect and influence on North Korea, if we traditionally look at the influence that China had in North Korea in the past, there's been a time when, despite Chinese opposition to North Korea carrying out DPRK nuclear tests, to choose uh, North Korea still uh, carried out the test path anyway. For a so uh, it's difficult to we say that China to has a uh, decisive to uh, effect a in, um, North, in North choosing North Korea's will. In this context, for our final question, we'll go Secretary to Austin, Austin assessed that the ROC government's audacious initiative is a practical approach uh, and expresses its support for it. ROC government's audacious Mr. initiative Mr. is along the same and, uh, line as the U.S. approach to the DPRK, to an approach of deterring CNN DPRK threats based on uh, overwhelming combined defense capability and posture, while in parallel seeking for a diplomatic CNN solution by keeping uh, the window of dialogue open. Artillery shells into the ocean. So, uh, and even when the U.S. Uh, as uh, As stated, both Korea countries will Korea adhere to the principal DPRK so policy to close cooperation uh, until the day DPRK North decides North to denuclearize. And the ROC Ministry so of National Defense and the U.S. Department of Defense will backstop the efforts with strength. During the meeting, there were earnest discussions on cooperation between the ROC and the U.S. and our partners for the promotion of regional security and on measures of bolstering multilateral cooperation. In order to respond to DPRK nuclear and missile threats, Secretary and I affirmed to continuously advance the ROC U.S. Japan security cooperation, for which we agreed to activate trilateral senior level policy consultation, information sharing, training, and personnel exchanges. And Secretary and I I also pledge to resume early next year the ASD level policy consultation uh, body called Defense yes, Trilateral uh, Talks or DTT, uh, which has been suspended for the past year. Secretary and I um, also shared a strong sentiment the on the importance of the rules based international order and pledge to closely to cooperate for the uh, peace together, and stability in the, uh, in the, in and, the Pacific and to be region. 
uh, in particular, and our Secretary train, Austin expressed uh, much interest in the uh, Indo-Pacific to strategy a high level of, framework, uh, of, uh, which is the ROC of, uh, government is currently developing. Also maintain, the Republic uh, of Korea is a responsible global pivotal state of the international uh, community, uh, will in, more in closely cooperate uh, and, with the United uh, in, States, most recently, the only ally of our nation, in, major in order again, to overcome to global security major exercise challenges. That we have ongoing. Uh, I, you know, you, you mentioned the carrier. That is a serious demonstration of, uh, of commitment and, and uh, Next and combat, year marks uh, the 70th anniversary of the Rock Again, U.S. alliance uh, while pursuing the goal of global sure comprehensive that, uh, strategic alliance. Nobody attacks, Secretary Austin uh, and I concur to plan and, uh, and hold various to joint events in celebration of the 70th anniversary for future advancement uh, of the alliance. The events will serve yes, as an opportunity for us to commemorate the noble sacrifices made in the battlefields by the Rock and U.S. service members and to consult on the challenges which alliance faces today and and increasing our ability to, envision to, uh, to, to work the together. path forward for ROC U.S. alliance. By reaffirming the unwavering U.S. defense commitment to the Republic of Korea, efforts to strengthen the capabilities to impl implement the extended deterrence, as well as the robust combined defense posture based on the capability and resolve of our two nations through the 54th SCM. I, I don't. It, Secretary you know, Austin it, and ISS I, I that we have that, uh, demonstrated values and trust in the Iraq U.S. alliance Korea, uh, to the people Korea, of both me. nations uh, and a and great message of warning to the DPRK and the robustness device, of the alliance uh, to the uh, international against, uh, community. Uh, uh, in the peninsula or against our homeland Lastly, here in, uh, in the Lastly, I once US. again extend my sincere yes, gratitude that. to Secretary Austin and the staff at the Department of Defense for their warm hospitality towards myself and the ROC delegation. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be switching to consecutive translation for the question and answer portion, so would ask you to kindly remove your headsets. First question will come from Reuters, Phil Stewart. Thank you. Uh, uh, Secretary Austin, repeated and increasingly regular North Korean missile tests show that the U.S. ROK alliance needs to adjust its deterrence strategy. Uh, and on Russia, is it your assessment that Ukrainian forces will be able to retake Kherson city and, and that the Russian forces are preparing to leave? And to uh, Minister Lee, you've called for a shift in strategy away uh, from trying to stop North Korea from developing nuclear weapons. Uh, but what would a shift from denuclearization look like? And do you believe the U.S. needs to consider reintroducing tactical nuclear weapons to the Korean Peninsula? Thank you. So the question was regarding the development of OPLAN and uh, how Thanks, Phil. Uh, the on, endorsed uh, on the first and question SPG in terms of whether or not uh, meeting last year. Um, uh, we and, need to adjust our strategy. Developing on top of those just say first that, made, that um, uh, and you've SCM. heard me say this a the number of times. How the, uh, process that we, was going in our commitment to defending the ROK is ironclad. We strongly condemn it's not a one and done deal. It's, uh, the, the, that the DPRK's uh, irresponsible given that, um, uh, and reckless uh, activities. So, it is difficult As to say we said uh, when before, these exactly kinds of activities are destabilizing to the that, region, uh, we potentially. In the process of so the we call on them to, uh, to cease that, the, uh, that type of activity However, uh, and to begin uh, to engage in serious dialogue. That I can um, on the issue of whether or not the Ukrainians so can uh, to this. Uh, take one final uh, uh, the uh, remaining territory on the west side of our deterrent effort the Dnieper River in Turin. And I would point out that uh, we're I certainly to believe that they have the capability uh, to do that. that. Type of Most activity. importantly, uh, the Ukrainians believe that they have the capability to do that. Partners in the, in the We've region. seen them engage in a very methodical a but effective uh, free and open uh, Indo-Pacific region effort to, uh, so, uh, to very much. take back their sovereign territory. I think you'll see them continue to press uh, until they secure the, the, uh, the territory on the on the west side of the, of the river. Weekend. So to answer your question, I do Our think they have to go out to the families of all the victims from across South uh, Korea and around the world, uh, including uh, two young Americans. And we stand uh, together with the people of South Korea during this time of national mourning. Now, it's highly unfortunate that the DPRK has chosen to interrupt this solemn period with the illegal and destabilizing launch of an intercontinental ballistic missile last night, as well as additional missile launches today. I've consulted with Minister Lee, and we've decided to extend Vigilant Storm. 
which is our long uh, schedule combined training exercise to further bolster our readiness and interoperability. My and we'll continue to work closely um, together to develop options the US to protect the United States um, and our North allies in the region. Now, let me turn to the work of uh, uh, the Security Consultative Group. As you know, it's the annual Clearly capstone event for the U.S. Rock Alliance. But do you still think that the current and it brings our defense leaders together to discuss shared challenges and opportunities and, Korea, and, what and to kind deepen of our cooperation the US and, and friendship. Korea seek to deter. And my second Next year, question we'll is the on the inner Korean military of the agreement. North Korea has repeatedly violated the Inter-Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement. It has fired around 1,000 artillery shells through the Inter-Korean Maritime Buffer Zone. Um, do you think the Inter-Korean Comprehensive Military Agreement is still effective in reducing tensions between the two Korea? Do you still support the, do you, do you the Inter-Korean Military today, Tension Reduction Agreement, or should we abandon the deal? is a tremendously capable ally. And a provider of security on a, in the on a second question, I certainly uh, a defender of the yes, I do space, think it's, uh, order, it's effective, and it certainly it us all uh, would uh, now, Minister invite Lee and I uh, comment a, from my, my colleague here, uh, Minister Lee, as well. We talked about the in DPRK terms of the effectiveness of the, our deterrence. Yes, I do actions. think we've been effective. I would point out this to time, you that uh, we have recently gone back to the United States remains fully conducting to the defense of the a number of exercises that are focused our on extended deterrence uh, commitment uh, is firm increasing our readiness and, and our ability to be able to fight tonight as a matter of fact right now we have one of the largest exercises that we've seen in uh, in recent history Mr. Lee and I uh, also talked about over the tremendous 240 progress aircraft that, in recent that uh, they're uh, to deepen a our part of that exercise and, and they're doing uh, you know, a number security. of high end types of uh, uh, training events, conducting year, a number of high-end types of training events, successful and all of that is designed to ensure that that we, we have the ability uh, to defend uh, the peninsula uh, if if called in to July, do so. And so I think uh, I think this increased focus on readiness, to the uh, this uh, you know, our ability to uh, redeploy September, or deploy strategic assets to the peninsula, as you've seen us do here with uh, fifth generation fighters recently. Uh, you've also seen us uh, on the peninsula. Uh, we're returning uh, to large scale exercises. Move a carrier into uh, into port there uh, and recently, and, uh, and I think that's uh, that sends a pretty strong necessary. signal as well. But it could be we're committed that, uh, to building on, that, on on these efforts to uh, strengthen integrated deterrence. You know, your, our and neighbors in the north there may be concerned about our, our increased focus on readiness. So, yes, I do think we've been, uh, we've been effective, and, and we will continue to look at this and ensure that we remain effective. You know, for decades, U.S. and ROK well, service members have fought side by side to defend the ideals of freedom. What, what kind of behaviors would this we... This alliance is founded on that shared sacrifice. Seek to deter. So it we expect will to deter the challenges of the future the same way that we have for nearly 70 years. What is the desired behavior that the U.S. and South Korea are trying to bring about? By standing off. shoulder to well, shoulder. Well, certainly we, we don't want to see, uh, uh, you know, anyone I mean, uh, make a decision to employ a nuclear together, device. I'm very grateful uh, and lately, for the Republic as of Korea's seen, partnership. Um, so thank you, and let me turn it over North to North Koreans Mr. Have, uh, for his comments. Koreans have engaged in activity uh, such as an inter, uh, Hello, I'm Rock Minister of Defense. testing an intercontinental ballistic all, missile, a number of short-range ballistic missiles, uh, firing artillery uh, into uh, your in, into the ocean, the uh, and, and so Korea. all of this uh, activity is uh, also, potentially destabilizing. Thank you and so, for your effort you know, again, for the peace and security in the Korean Peninsula. I think, uh, I think development of it's possible alliance. that they could continue and to, to do that kind of thing, that. but certainly thank we are focused on making today, sure that they don't the choose to employ a nuclear weapon or uh, choose to the attack first time since the uh, inauguration uh, of South the Korea. UN administration. We once again affirm the robustness of the Iraq-U.S. military alliance uh, and the steadfastness of the, the combined defense posture. 
that you pledge to effectively respond to any DPRK provocation by deploying U.S. Rock US alliance is developing into a global comprehensive strategic alliance based on shared values such as liberal democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. Is this a change in U.S. posture in the region? Secretary Austin and I held two ministerial meetings this year to work on the details of the agreements on defense areas as agreed upon during the May Rock U.S. presidential summit. Today was my third time to meet Secretary Austin, and we made a lot of achievements during the 54th year. First, exercise our strategic Secretary uh, assets and I uh, from time the to daily time. Advances and, and again, of uh, nuclear we, missile to answer your question, we don't have uh, uh, a plan to not only uh, on the Korean Peninsula and in the Northeast uh, Asia, but for the international our, our permanent community. positioning or stationing of assets on the peninsula currently. What we're doing together. Not only to, uh, on, a, on a bilateral basis, but also with Secretary our, Austin our uh, allies in Japan. To the of extended uh, in, in each the and every case, we'll assess uh, what, uh, range of military you know, what's going on, and we'll, uh, and conventional forces, we'll but work together to ensure that we uh, provide the right kind of uh, deterrent message. Cyber so, to and answer your question, uh, no new deployment of uh, strategic assets on a Secretary permanent Austin basis, but and I you'll see assets moving in and out on a routine basis weapons is unacceptable and result in the end of Kim Jong-un regime by the overwhelming and decisive response of the alliance. This is a strong warning against the DPRK. Also, Secretary Austin and I pledge to further strengthen alliances' capability and posture in respective areas, including information sharing, consultation process, joint planning, and execution to effectively deter and respond to the DPRK's advancing nuclear and missile threats. In particular, Secretary and I will work on response options towards all possible nuclear use scenarios by the DPRK. To this end, Secretary and I noted that progress so in revising the tailored uh, deterrent strategy, or TDS, and pledged to put efforts can, uh, to complete the revision the of the TDS that, by um, the 2023 SCM and prepare response Korea, options by annually conducting uh, deterrent strategy committee table-top exercise the, uh, 